what is up clever coup family and also it's one of the first times ever that i didn't mess up my green screen it's so good to see you hey happy birthday if it's your birthday and happy normal sunday to the rest of you unless you're in a different part of the world and it's saturday i'm nailing it good to see y'all thanks so much for hanging out today i know i'm starting a little stream uh streamer a little later of a stream than i usually would excuse me on a sunday i had some errands to get done this morning and i got them done like a big old responsible adult who takes care of himself kind of um so <laughs> here i am um thank you so much for hanging out if you are new welcome on in you're just as welcome as everybody else is too also as well um yeah feel free to hang out and, and we'll get you caught up on the story if this is new to you we got miss joe w dropping a big old sub bomb to start things off thank you miss joe w gifting to um uh epic anna elizabeth bernadette uh gullible's travels that i love that name tris with thoughts and then steph mad thank you so much oh and also for everybody who is not caught up on the youtube vods um i am uploading youtube vods now um and i skipped one i uploaded one like i think a day ago and everyone's like wait what's going on in the story what happened no you spoiled things and now i'm just like oops so i'll fix that after the stream <laughs> Sorry about that. It's all very new to me. Um, I'll get better about, uh, you know, doing that properly. So thank you for being here. Um, man, oh man, how's everybody's weekend going? First time catching live. What's up, M Tokyo? Welcome to you. Thanks for thanks for being here. We've also got uh, we got uh, Emma Dackers um, dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you so much for doing that. Emma Dackers is gifting to Mukela, Shano with a bunch of numbers, Glitter Puke, Bot EXE, and then Anime Geek. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate you, oodles of much. Very oodles of much. Um, man, it was a it was a very uh very mixed bag of a weekend for me. I'll tell you all about it in a little bit. I'm doing fine now, but it was just like just a rough one mentally. I was just and that happens sometimes but i like to be forthright with y'all because you know we're all human and sometimes when you just get a few hours of me on a stream it might seem like ah oh, you got it all figured out i don't think you probably think that but I still like to be honest about um where i am um emma dackers thank you so much that was very sweet of you um if anybody here has been gifted a gift sub and you feel comfortable doing so drop a thank you in the chat because that's really nice uh people are helping the community grow and it helps support me and it's very sweet and if not that's okay i'm gonna say a blanket thank you to all of the different gift subbers actually i'm gonna see if i can okay that's how much i can push the limit there we go we're good now we're here um hope you're doing okay now says jr tom you know what i'm on my way for the first time in a while i feel like i'm on my way so i'm happy about that that's nice um we got livig dropping five flipping gift subs thank you very much livig appreciate you butterfly loves you says i'm new i'm just dropping in but i gotta go to sleep we'll go to sleep butterfly loves you it's wonderful to see you and wonderful to meet you come on down a different time um or watch the vods on the youtubes um livig is dropping five flipping gift subs uh to icy baru down with evil ruby serenity stick insect and then that friendly corpse thank you so much appreciate you oh not meg i'm sorry your husband has the rona oh that's really rough i hope you're doing i hope you're doing okay i hope your husband is it's not the most like you know symptomatic rona version but either way I, i'm sorry to hear that and i hope they you know rest up and heal very quickly um river is gifting a sub to ghost tag um thank you very much river ghost tag you're it um and then finally we got uh k colzia 420 dropping five flipping gift subs as well thank you very much uh k colzi i appreciate you um it almost sounds like k cosa is this italian or is it just am i is, is it just near name is k colzi i don't know um haven't seen a single stream of this tom i feel like we saw you at one of the early ones um well either way thanks for popping in and saying hey good to see you're you're amongst the living um we got uh k colzi thank you very much for gifting to uh sun moon crap uh kuti or kutia Gilhote or Gilhote, the Wiffo, and then Lissy Lynn. Thank you. Appreciate you. Very nice of you. It is Italian. Hey! Look at our multilinguistic, multinational community. Che colsia. I love it. <laughs> Called it. India. India. Um, thanks for popping in and thanks for the gift subs. We got Nobdes dropping 500 bits. Nobdes, thank you so much. Saying you don't know how much I needed this. Same, Nobdes. I really missed doing this quite a bit. Um, also, hey, for anybody who's new, thank you so much for finding me. Um, usually the way these streams work is I will start out the first 
15, 20 minutes. We'll just chat for a little while, say, hey, catch up. Um, and then I will hop into the game. If you are new here, I'll get you caught up on where we are in the story. So hopefully you don't feel like you're too left out and missing anything. Um, uh, you may notice people are dropping tips and gift subs and all that nice stuff. I read out tips with messages attached. I read out new subscribers mostly as they come in. I read out resubscribers all at the end of the stream um, to keep it all sort of like organized. And then I read out sub bombs as they come in as best as I can uh, stay up. Um, that being said, um, one, I don't always get to them right away because I like to focus on the chat. Um, and two, you don't have to do any of those things to be an appreciated part of this community. Like, you don't have to support financially in order to be here. It's very nice. It's appreciated. It's sweet. But I don't want you, especially if you're a youngin, I don't want you to see people getting shout outs for like sub bombs and be like, I should drop my hard earned money too. Like, nope, only do that if you feel like it. Um, thank you so much. And thank you so much, uh, Valkyrie um for rating appreciate you welcome on in everybody hi if you are new here i'm damien i'm a voice actor twitch streamer uh youtube internet boy you may know me from the youtube channel smosh i stream tuesday thursday sunday and i often add extra streams as well um we got demo nacho dropping free flipping gift subs thank you very much demo nacho gifting to mosphorus theo needs to shower lol you know what i did have a friend named theo in middle school he was great loved him very nice um he for sure needed to shower like way more, like way more. Um, I hope he found his wife. And then uh, Shelly BB 0630, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, we got Sazzy dropping three flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Sazzy. Gifting new Captain J Kirk, Sheer, Sheer Virus, and then Eloquent. Thank you, Sazzy, I appreciate you. Very nice of you. Um, oh, also, Speaking of, a, I saw someone ask uh, in chat, what color should I dye my hair? I don't know. I don't know what your complexion looks like, but pick, I'll say this, pick something that would complement your complexion. If you're very pale and you have like sometimes like splotchy skin, like you, maybe you get a little bit pink when you exercise and all that stuff, red hair isn't always the way to go because that's why I don't do red hair because it would make every like, every sort of like ro rosy cheek that sort of pop. You know what I mean? Your paper white. Okay, so I'd say stay away from reds. Do some cooler colors or some warmer colors, you know? That doesn't make any sense. Do some cooler colors or warmer colors or medium colors. I'd say stay away from red. <laughs> but then everything else, you're good. Um, good luck on your hair dyeing journey. So I haven't been dyeing my hair away from purple because I still want to do that summer chaise cosplay. But I realize I keep pushing it back because I'm like, oh, it's a swimsuit thing and my body isn't weird where I want it to be yet and all that stuff. I kind of feel like maybe I just like the character isn't even new anymore from Fire Emblem. So like maybe I just hold off on it for a little bit. Do the cosplay when I feel like the cosplay is right for me and then I'll just wear a damn wig or I'll just make it purple and pose. I don't know, dog. I'm I just, I kinda wanna dye my hair. I think it'll be cool. Nadon dropping three flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Nadon. Gifting to Andrew with a bunch of numbers, Manga, Sunny, and then Arctic Oracle. Ah, they foretold the Arctic melt. Um, thank you very much, appreciate it. Silver Damien, please. Yeah, I might do that. Unless it actually makes me look old. I don't know. I'll talk to my hair person. Um, but yeah, y'all, this was a this was a wild weekend mentally. It was not good. And this is the first morning I've woken up feeling like, okay, yeah, I'm a person again. Um I'll be so sad when the purple hair is gone, but I'll still take any color hair color, Damien. You know what, Orca? Me too, and I really like the purple, but I also think that like it's really easy to go back to. Especially because if I dye my hair a lighter color, you just plop that right on top of it maybe it'll be even more purple than it ever was because of that you never know we got rattlesnakes in romance ah oh, the name of my favorite dive bar um gifting to uh dropping five flipping gift subs thank you so much gifting to uh fake benex forest goblin astro with a bunch of numbers sack kings and then gullibles travels thank you so much for doing that rattlesnakes Appreciate you. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep reading out uh, sub bombs in a minute here. Um, but yeah, basically what I've been going through is um, I've been really burnt out, right? And I've always kind of struggled with having the ability to relax and like let myself truly feel like I'm relaxing. Like if I sit down to play a video game by myself, there's always this pull like in the middle of my spine, like someone is pulling a string where it's like, yeah, but you've only got two hours to do this. Like make sure you keep in mind there's only two hours and oh, now it's only an hour 55. It's like when you know we have to wake up at a certain time and it all, it all feels like that. And so even if I'm like laying on my sofa and I just want to watch TikToks or something, it's not restful. And I'll fall down like the rabbit hole of looking at TikToks or like browsing stuff on Amazon for like, oh yeah, I might need a belt or something. And I'll do that for hours, but it's not restful. It doesn't feel good. Um, and so both Friday night and Saturday during the day, 
all I wanted to do was um, stream. Stream and play Baldur's Gate. Excuse me, because streaming also helps me relax because I get to occupy that part of my mind that would otherwise be worried while playing a video game I want to play and hanging out with y'all. So it's like, it's semi-social in like a parasocial kind of way. And it's an activity that I, I really enjoy, but I didn't have the energy for it because I was so tired because I've been staying up till four, just scrolling on my phone. And so the combination of like, you know, being out of my rhythm from sleep and therefore not eating well and not exercising and all that stuff, it just caught up to me. And yesterday I was just in the worst mental place I've been in in a long time. So I was social with it for a couple hours with my friend Chelsea, who you know is who is Chelsea. Um, we went to one of my favorite spots and um, just hung out for a couple hours. And then I went to therapy. And after therapy, I just like existed. And all at like every hour, I was like, okay, I'm gonna stream at three. Mm, no, I'm gonna stream at four. And then it gets to 9 p.m. And I'm like, I can't stream. I can't do it. So I finally got a good night's rest last night. I'm feeling a little better. I also went to the doctor because I was worried about maybe getting a little sick. So that was the errand I had to run this morning. And so I'm doing better. It's not perfect. It's a basically, you know, my therapist, she's incredible. And she always gives me these huge nuggets of wisdom. But, but we both sort of had the realization that this time it was kind of the advice that everyone gives you from cradle to grave, which is like, you have to eat well, you have to exercise and you have to sleep. And it was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it goes. So I got like seven and a half hours last night, which to me is colossal, that's huge. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I did that and I'm feeling better and I plan to stream for quite some time. Um, we got Noella RH dropping three flippin' gift subs. Thank you very much, Noella. Gifting to Sizzle Britches, Milady Katie, and then the Doob 9826. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Katie Marie is gifting it to Choops. Thank you, Katie Marie. I appreciate you. Um, Anonymous is gifting to Anakin, Nick C007, SCP Light, uh, Damien Lover, and it's entirely almost in Leet Speak. And then the J tubes. Thank you so much. And our final sub bomb comes from Maven Artuso, gifting the panicking moose. Thank you so very much. Do appreciate it. I hate that we all relate to that experience, but I'm glad we have the community to support each other through it. That's the thing, like no further, is like I know I need to at the at my core be able to do that myself for myself. But like streaming has been a really nice thing for me, especially lately. Like it always has been, but like especially lately, it's just been a really nice thing to get my mind off things and I didn't have the energy to do it like my body was literally kind of shaking and I was a little dizzy and I was just like I, I can't I can't be on camera right now like I can't do this um and that sort of was my wake-up call where it's like oh I can't even do the thing that's been letting me relax I have to learn how to like actually relax um so here we are didn't get to stream as much as I wanted this weekend but we're at the start of a long boy stream right now um so that's it'll be good Looking forward to it. Um, all right, y'all. So uh, thank you for your support, too. I see a lot of really sweet things in the comments. Um, so yeah, you know, all in all, looking at the weekend, not so bad. I did some laundry this morning, too. Y you take your little wins. I, I have a to-do list on my phone to keep my ADHD brain on track. And I ended up, um, per Shane's advice, because I talked to Shane about this. He's like, you should have a to-do list in your phone. And I was like, I do. And it's literally like pages and pages of things. He's like, you can't do that in a day. There's no way you can do it in a day. And I'm like, yeah, it started out as a day, but then things started rolling over. And then it was just, and he's like, take some of that, make yourself a one day to-do list. And so on my to-do list today, I have four things, five things. And I think I've already done two of them. So I'm like, okay, whenever I end stream, there's going to be hours until bedtime. I've got this. Okay, I've got this. So... Um, and my friend Austin has been great helping support me as well through all of it. Hey, speaking of which, um, I took some fun photos where Austin took some fun photos of me uh, that I posted on the Instagrams showing off uh, the shirts from the company I often work with. So um, shout out to Austin, incredible photographer. And uh, shout out to Shane, a uh, very wise individual. And uh, shout out to Neophoric for those cool shirts. So yeah. Um, oh, one last thing before I hop into stream proper. Proper. Um, so... Uh, I posted on my Instagram story and maybe not everybody saw. Um, so when I first did my first Baldur's Gate video uploaded to YouTube, um, I didn't have the ability to turn on ad revenue yet. Um, so for the vast majority of those views, I wasn't being able to play ads and that's fine, but it allowed me to like unlock the ability to turn on ads. And so then I turned on ads and that's that's um, revenue that I didn't really expect, which has been really cool and very nice. Um, so uh, I ended up donating a big chunk of that to um, Maui fire relief efforts. Um, I ended up supporting 
I want to make sure I get the name right um, because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Um, I supported a very specific fund that's more grassroots and not like the Red Cross, which like everybody supports and there's uh, questions about how they do their stuff. Um, you know what I mean? So uh, let me really quickly uh, pull this up. Yeah. So I supported what is known as the um, uh, the Kaoko, uh, the Keko Maui uh, fund. I think I may have said it incorrectly and I'm very sorry. Um, if anyone is curious about that, I'm just gonna drop the link in chat real quick um, because apparently another wildfire just popped up in Hawaii. And it's this weird thing where like, it's not, it's getting a fair amount of conversation, but I don't see the same amount of support from it. And like, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. We didn't do a charity stream for it. Um, there's a lot of things out there, but I also just think it, there should be, uh, you know, conversation about it. So this is the fund specifically that I, that I supported. Thank you very much, Wayward Jaybird, for uh, pinning that. So if, if you're in a tough financial spot, you don't have to do it. But I just I encourage people to like share where you can. Um, I know it's always a where you can situation, but like Hawaii is really experienced some really incredibly bad stuff. And um, it's not the most talked about thing. And I, I apologize for not talking about it as much as I should have or could have. Um, but at the very at the very least, um, there is that if you feel so inclined. Um, all right, y'all. I'm getting ready to hop into the game here soon. I do see some tips have rolled in, which I really appreciate. Thank you so much. And I will read those out soon. I see some more new subscribers. I will shout you out and welcome you in in a minute. But I just want to hop into this here gam. It's your gam. I only went to Hawaii once in my life. Um, it was with a friend of mine's family, and it was like over 10 years ago. But I've still enjoyed the beauty of Maui. So I think it's pretty cool to support them if you can um all righty also technically donating that uh from that ad revenue is kind of like a charity stream no it says no it does eh, yeah, you can, it's a, it's a few jumps but yes 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 sure yes um what's carlac never heard of it oh welcome on in witherborn witherborn uh carlac is our video game waifu in this game um you're you're gonna love her you're gonna love her or not i don't know a single thing about you as a person and what your taste in individuals is um but anyway, but oh yeah, in the words of Atakechi, uh, she's so baby girl, I love her. Atakechi also did some really cool, um, I'm assuming this is the same one, did some really cool um, uh, fan art. Saying fan is weird. Just some really cool art of me. Um, so thank you, that was really, really nice. Um, I appreciate it, that was really cool. I don't always shout out everything, but it was just cool to see. Um, so thank you. All right, so we're gonna hop into this game in a minute here. Um, I'll, again, I'll get you caught up. Don't you worry now, don't you worry now. I am interested, says Witherborn. You're like, hmm, yes. Oh, <laughs> I had an interesting interaction this morning, actually, speaking of like the fan art. Um, so I went to like an urgent care, right? Um, to get a specific shot that a lot of like voice actors and singers get because it's specifically for throat infections. And when I woke up this morning trying to turn off my Amazon device and I tried to say like such and such, turn off alarm. I'm just not trying to set it off in your home. No sound came out of me. And I was very much awake. It wasn't like a dream thing. It was just like, I couldn't get my voice to engage. And I was like, uh oh, that sounds like the start of a viral infection. So that's why I had errands to do this morning. So anyway, I come out of the uh, the urgent care and someone's standing there and he's like, hey, Damien. I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, hey, like I'm a fan. I love the D&D &D show. Like it's all really nice. And we have like a really brief conversation. And he was very sweet. He was very sweet. He was even respectful and being like, you know, I don't want to ask for a photo and bother you or anything. And I was like, well, no, I'm actually fine, you know, doing it here. Let's just get like nothing in the background so people don't know where I go or whatever. And then afterwards, you know, he said something like, yeah, I like saw you walk in there. And I was like, in my brain, I was like, did you wait outside in urgent care for 30 minutes? Because it was a super fun, it was a super fun and super respectful interaction that would have been like the most like, yes, that's the way you do it. Until I realized like, I think you waited for me for 30 minutes outside of a doctor. Don't do that. Mm, but it was already too late. I was already leaving. I didn't want to be like, oh, by the way. <laughs> I was like, okay. But just for those of you that are, you know, people have asked before, like, is it cool to say hey and all that stuff? I'm like, always. But <laughs> don't wait for someone outside of a doctor. Um, You know, it's, it's something to keep in mind to don't do it. Um... But otherwise, everything was very sweet and respectful, and he was very nice. Um, I didn't get the vibe of any discomfort at all. It was just a maybe a little bit of a lapse in judgment. Yeah, it's a bit much, says DJ Melodious. Yeah, yeah, it's not the worst. Maybe he's playing Pokemon Go. Sure, sure. 
but he did he was just sort of like yeah scope the place not really but you know any usual um did they go to the doctor's no that was the thing they weren't in the doctor's office if, if we were in the same doctor's office and then he like stepped out and he was like hey i didn't want to bug you in a doctor's office i just waited for a couple minutes here i'd be like totally i think he saw me walk in and was like i'll post up and that's fine um <laughs> any hoozle all right my friends it is time to start this stream before i do i do want to ask you all the question of the day as i always do if you're new here we ask a question of the day get the people going and that question is who do we have in the chat today we got mr w we got angie jay newcomb tris with thoughts my Dolph, we got uh new new del hold on new del I, that's a new name for me and i gotta get it right i'm, I'm i know i'm pausing the flow Nudel to Dell. There we go. That was hard to say. No, Cola, Wayward Jaybird, Melory, Samantha Penguin, Utopia, J Newcomb, Hootie, Ludi, Patootie, Razzle, Castle, A Ren, Demo Nacho, Radal, Snakes, and Romance. It's Amber. We got Orca, Obscure Soros, uh, Commander Redleaf. What's up to Ann 28, Moonbeam Dreamer, I Am Bradical, Ghouly Hubby, Shibugi Alarm Pants, Always Lovely, Lindsay the Photographer, Alley Cat, Some Grilled Fish. What's up to Nico Frog, Austin Nix, Wicked West Books, Nadon. What's up to Tyler Leanne, Brightman, Saba with a bunch of numbers, Eerie Medusa, Izzy. We got Darjez. We got the Geeky Lady. Uh, we got And So Is Demi, Liam Meow, Hootie, Ludi, I already said that. Uh, Nemi, Emmy. Uh, what's up to uh, Epic Anna, what's up to World Champna? Devoid of Stars, what's up to Lavender Lily, Raspberry Love, uh, NYG Maniac, uh, Gabriella C, we got Mod TV, Bardic Flint, Oreo Drome, or Oreo Drome, excuse me. Um, Elliot Owo, uh, Lucy Lou Voitko, uh, M127, JR Tom, Orca S, Zoe B, Bats for Brain, Shibuki Alarm Pants, I already said that. Geeky on the inside, Lady Alma Castilla, Castilla is the sun. Uh, what's up to Alyssa, Casey, Kenya? Uh, what's up to A, uh, Egel, Egeltos? What's up to Tech Goddess 420? Uh, Noella RH, Katie Marie? Uh, what's up to Orchid Stream, Tom by Dan? What is up to Surrealistic Moonbeam Dreamer? Uh, Phantom of the Opera? Uh, oh, a Phantom of the Bopera, rather. Uh, we got Miraculous Katie. Uh, what's up to Emma Dackers? What's up to Leah Barber? Andrea M. Scott Tyler Babes, Brook Create, Brookby Creativity, too many count. That's right, y'all. Uh, there's too many people here for science to count. They don't have that many numbers. Silly geese, little scientists. Um, but tell you what, I didn't say hi to you right off the bat. I'm sure I'll say hi to you at some point during the stream, so don't even worry about it. Hang out, chat, or lurk, whatever you want to do. Just make sure, please, you peep those rules. Um, because the mods, the mods, shout out to the mods. They work so hard. Um, this is also their weekend, and they're taking time out of their day to make things comfortable and cool and chill for everybody. So if they ever call you out on something, it's not personal. It's truly not personal. Um, they're just trying to keep the, the, the vibes chill. So thank you, Mons. We love you, Mons. Yay, Mod. Andrew J. Noe says me. Me? Oh, uh, Andrew J. Noe, I, I say you're a little bit more of a chaos element as, as far as mods go. But yeah, for the most part, you're keeping the vibes chill. <laughs> Kidding, sorry. <laughs> ah, goodness. Ah, y'all are lovely. Y'all are absolutely lovely. All right, time to hop in here in the video game. And again, I do see tips and things like that. I will shout them out in a minute here, and we're gonna get y'all caught up in the game. It's gonna be a delight. Now, last time too, we had a bit of a, a bit of a situation in game that I played out until my characters died, and then I learned very much how to do something and also how not to do all the things. So, oopsie doopsie. Um, before we hop into the game proper. We got some new subscribers. Everybody, please give a spicy. Clever Coop, welcome to Adrian Sucks, Serafina 418, uh, Nimian Lion 97, Lux Familiar, Caked Crusader. Um, uh, uh, let's see here. Um, oh, Mr. W, I think this was before the stream started, or maybe I didn't see it because my screen wasn't loaded up yet. Mr. W gifted five subs as well. Thank you so much. Gifting to, um, no, wait, I did read those out. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. W. I'm just going to say thanks again. Thanks again. All right, so I'll give you the story as a whole, um, right? As sort of what we're doing here. And then I'll give you an update on what specifically we were doing just now that didn't quite work out for us. And that's okay because we believe in ourselves. Um, so this is the game of Baldur's Gate. If you end up watching it and thinking to yourself, wow, this seems very D&D coded. That's because it is. It's based off of D&D properties, specifically 5e. A lot of the names, the gods, the characters, the classes, the fact that you even roll dice to get things done, it's all very, very, very similar. Um, so, here's where we are. So this is our crew, this is our character. He is a bard, we started out as a druid. Didn't love the power level of the druid at the level we were at, so I switched him to bard. This is Shadowheart, she's our cleric. This is Karlak, she's our waifu and also a barbarian. And this is Gale, he's a wizard Harry, um, but he's not 
Hasn't been the most useful in this particular fight, so we might have to swap him out. Um, main thing about this story, and I'm gonna go back to camp real quick. Main thing in this story, right? We were, at the beginning of the game, abducted by Mind Flayers. Mind Flayers are a monster in D&D, also known as Illithids. Um, that, look, they're those, like, really tall, like, squid-faced guys, those Davy Jones-looking motherfathers. Um, and uh, they eat brains, but when they're not eating brains, um, they are implanting little parasites into your brain to turn you into a new Mind Flayer. That's how they reproduce. Um, so that's a whole thing, not great. Um, eventually, after being infected with that parasite, we escaped. Yay, big deal, we really did the thing. Um, and we ended up finding all these other people who are inflicted with the same parasite, just like us. Um, that being said, uh, it, it does have a benefit. We've been gained, we have the ability to have like kind of a psychic connection with them. The problem with it is, the problem, if you're paying attention, is that um, these parasites are a ticking time bomb. We're not supposed to still be chill and alive, though we are, and it's a little weird. So we're trying to figure out in game overall how to get these out of our brains. We're trying to find someone who can do it. Um, we're trying to keep ourselves alive until that can happen. And everybody's got kind of a different idea. You know, one of our people's like, no, my people are strong enough healers. Lazelle, she's like, our people are strong enough healers. We must find my people. Other people are like, hey, you know, I think maybe the druids could help. Druids are really helpful for things like that. You know, it's it's sort of a crapshoot when all is said and done. Um, but we're figuring it out. Um, I will say there is one thing I kind of haven't done yet in game that I think might be more important than the boss we're about to fight, right? Um, but I'll tell you all about that boss in a minute because it was kind of a huge bummer. Um, so I think I want to talk to Gale and get him out of our group for now. I want to switch to Astarian. Astarian, because he's our boy. And we love his quips, his little quips. What's on your mind? I want you to remain in camp for a while, rather than on the road with me. I question the wisdom of that. We'll travel we'll again and pick it together later. Yeah, excellent. Great, cool. Um, now we want Astarian back, because he's got all the quips. We got all the quips. Well, hello. What can I do for you? We got to take that helmet off, the scorpion-looking mother father. Um, lead on. Lead on. Oh, yeah. Everything he says is just like that. And I know what you're thinking, Damien. That sounds off-putting. It's really not. Not in the way you'd think. Um, hide your damn helmet. There we go. We want to see that lovely face, Astarian. Um, so if you are not familiar with Astarian, everybody in the world is thirsty for him. Um, if you are on TikTok, now that I've mentioned this to you and I've said the word Astarian, Astarian near your phone... He's, you're gonna really it's gonna be a whole thing you're gonna see nothing but him for a very long time and you know what that's okay it's it's actually okay everything's fine um i am going to throw in all these extra Ooh, a warhammer might help us later um i'm gonna throw in all these extra things that we don't need right now just to get them out of the way um just to store them but um yeah we have so basically what happened is we have not um visited the gith yankee crash Githyanki Kresh. Uh, the Githyanki are a, a group of peoples, um, just like an elf or a dwarf. They're a Githyanki. Um, and they are ones that one of our party members insists um, could really, really, really help us out, right? Um, I'm not so sure about that, personally. But it is worth, you know, giving it a shot and also meeting them because I do think they're pretty important to talk to. So let's... Hello? There we go. Why are you not actually sorting? Value, wait, what? Okay, that's weird to me. Hello, can we can we actually sort your inventory, please? All right, great, it's not doing it. We love the glitches, we love the glitches. I love Carlac, but I'm curious if we're going mono monogamous or not. I think we'll be monogamous in this run. I do. I think, um, you know, Carlac is great, and I, I don't want to mess things up with her, and I kind of think, you know, we got a good thing going here, you know? We got a good thing going with Carlac. Um, Shadowheart does want to speak to us before we go, so I'm going to do that real quick. And then I think we're good. Never a dull moment. Well, maybe I should have Lazelle with us when we meet the Githyanki Kresh. Oh, wait, she doesn't want to speak to us. Okay, we're great. You can be Polly in this game? Yeah, Kicked Crusader. I mean, it does It does have to do with um, characters' specific interests. Like, some characters are like, absolutely, we'll be Polly. No problem. And then other people are like, eh, I don't know about that. That's not really my cup of tea. And it's like, you know, valid. Um, the Githyanki Kresh, that's what we need to find. So we're going to teleport to the... Oh, I didn't end up clearing out the goblin camp. So we got a bit of a walk ahead of us, and that's okay. 
I'm gonna head north, straight north, and then we'll shoot west. Nothing in my recollection, anyway. All right. This is our little crew. We do so love them. We have almost no magic users, and that's fine. <laughs> At most, it's me. At most, it's me. And that's okay. We can get everyone else back later. I just kind of like switching out the party members because you, you get a con uh, you get a cool little fun vibe, um, depending on which person you use. We also got Shock King subscribing for the first time. A very spicy, pretty clever coop. Welcome to you. Thank you. Y'all, you know what I realized recently? It's uh, it's almost spooky season. Survival. Wait. Woo! Dirt mound. Let's dig. Let's dig. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Things, not very much things, but that's things. That's okay. Um, it's almost spooky season, y'all. I will say, I feel very sad. I have had one pumpkin Goblins. survive all the way from October of last year until about judge? two days ago. It's been totally fine. It's been great with no signs of wear and tear. And then all of the sudden, out of nowhere, mold. How? Asked uh, Haywire Memphis. Uh, probably the power of friendship and love, and I put a little hat on him and believed hard enough with the, with Halloween magic, and he became alive, which makes this all the harder. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate? There's still a whole month between then, bubs. You know what? Look, we make fun of Christmas for starting earlier and earlier each year, and clearly they're not going to change that. Why well, say I just get to have Halloween more now? That's my that's my vibe, and I'm sticking to it. Um, okay, we get some find some herbs and all that stuff. So yeah, that's Carlac. We also just learned last last episode. Um, we do have a we do have a policy here of no backseat gaming, but every once in a while there is something that's extremely important that I don't know. I'll say this, and, I, and this is for the mods too, because the mods have been doing a great job at, at you know sort of keeping that at bay. But there are some things where it's like, oh man, I kind of super need to know things. So when I when I say I don't like backseat gaming, it's it's really hard for me when like, ooh, there's all sorts of stuff that happened here. Um, it's really hard for me when I'm trying to like do a thing and then someone's like put the thing there use this on the witch like do all that stuff and that that kind of sucks but like Carlac we hadn't been using armor because someone had told me that like oh, barbarians do better when there's no armor The asterisk there is that's only like way later in the game. She can definitely use armor So I'm getting my crap rocked and like every you know every fight and then eventually it's like oh by the way You can do that and I'm like damn I actually would have likes to have known that one wait wisdom failed and i'm frightened what's go wait why why frighten me who's frightening me oh it could be get yankee raiders wait i'm gonna i'm gonna swap out Shadowheart and lazel i think lazel <gasps> our owl bear cub is here i think lazel is gonna do better because she's a get yankee so she'll probably be able to be like hey let's all be chill let's all be chill um because the get yankee are kind of like intense they're like very warlike people and they're all about battle and speaking truth very quickly without thinking about it too much. Have you used the find familiar spell? I have. I have. May the darkness protect you. Um, let's journey separately for now. I'm sure. Fine. This is actually ridiculous because if we get Lazelle, we're like almost a fully melee team right now, which like, sure. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Let's do our best. Um, oh, and also the uh, the boss fight that I botched last time. Here's the problem with it. Um, I died. Um, it is done. It is done. See what I mean? Like, everybody's kind of like her. So if you're just like, how are you? She's like, speak to me true and with words that you have. You're like, mm, okay. We, mm. All right. This, this is clearly going to be a whole thing, huh? You're going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit hard to talk to. And that's okay. Everything is fine. Um... So yeah, uh, what was I saying? Okay, so the boss is an adamantine uh, like construct. It is a almost indestructible metal beast man thing guy. Um, pretty hard to beat. And we got him down to like half health. And it was at half health that I had the realization of, holy crap, I could actually, um, there's a way to actually fight this boss as opposed to just like hitting it with rocks over and over until it falls over. And then everyone was like, uh-huh, but we didn't want a backseat game. I was like, thank you for that. But I did spend like 40 minutes and then died um, immediately afterwards. So it's like, okay, now we know how to actually fight it. Speak. Yeah, you're good. Um, we friends, bro? 
Yeah, we're not chill right now. She and I broke up. We had a little bit of a fling. You know, it happens. We were in a low place. It happens. All right. Now we go back to not camp. Wait, is Lazelle all kitted out here? She's got the Faith Breaker, which is good. Oh, honestly, that's probably better for our... Or flipping um, cleric. She could also maybe have a better chest plate. Let's really quickly see if she can use that. Um, let's go to our storage. And then we'll get to the proper gameplay, y'all. Got a wee thingy on your face there, pal. You're talking about all the blood on my character. Yeah, he's got a, it's like a little thingy. It's, it's whatever. Yeah. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Is it just me? Is your character's hair lighter than before? You know what I've noticed, um, uh, Saba? Um, I, I used to know a Saba in college. The very brief time I went to college. Um, you know what I've noticed is, um, this specific area in game, it kind of has different lighting than everywhere else, which is weird. Um, but like, when we talk to Gale, his hair looks straight up white, which is always like, huh. Um, but it's not actually white. Wait, should Lazel use a great axe? That's kind of sick. Let's take that for a minute and just see. Um, staff crones. Yes, we don't need that. Two forged sword. Um, any better armor for Lazel? It's looking like not. No, it's looking like not. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. We do have a bunch of explodey barrels, so that's another way we can take down this enemy, right? So we can take all of these barrels and uh, throw them into a single. Um, single pouch and then throw the pouch at the enemy and then hit the pouch and then the pouch has a bunch of barrels in it and then we explode the barrels so that's an easy way to destroy things too um all these different options look at us go but for now um Lazo, how you feeling what do you think so what what would it what would this weapon look like to you 5 to 16 versus 5 to 12 it's definitely better but i'm thinking i'm thinking we just store it for now send to camp yeah and then Astarian could actually maybe benefit from this new sword that I got here. The Sword of Screams, which is kind of awesome. Is it a finesse weapon? It is a finesse weapon, so he would be able to use both of these. Hold on, let's check this out. Two to five versus, um, how much damage could you do? Five to 15? Oh God, that's so much better. Two to five, four to seven. I mean, this is, this is great. We're gonna swap that and then we're gonna swap that. Wait, Astarian, why can't you use both? It's a finesse weapon. It's one hand. Is it is it the case that he really can only use like one dagger at a time? Why can't Astarian use? So I am actually curious. This is a backseat gaming moment. Please, I, I need to know. Why can Astarian only use? It's not light. Oh, repairs are not light, but it's still going to be beneficial for him to have that instead of the two daggers right because he can always do an extra bonus action with other things we'll hold on to both we'll see all right let's go back to the potential of the crash out of curiosity what time is it there it is almost 2 p.m pacific daylight time Tracker. not for sure though is that blood blood so now we're gonna go right into the get the Yankee crash. Um, oh, hello, new friend. I hope. Maybe. Wait, where's the where's the crash? Mountain pass. Walkeen's rest. Oh, we have an un okay. We have an unlocked fast travel. That's great. And then get the Yankee crash. Good. We're doing it. So we're gonna again. We're gonna fight that enemy later. That big boss later. I just kind of want to do this for now. All right. So she is a tiefling just like just like us, so I get to say you're the Magresham for taking that tone with me. Spare me. There's bigger problems right now than my manners. Look. I guess Magresham means swarming all over the bridge. Face. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. I'm not looking for a fight. Um Seems you have good survival instincts. You should join me instead. What? Just follow you around? Yeah. I go my own way. Alone. Okay, fine. 
Who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Did anyone ever read um, Watership Down? I'm, I'm curious. Right. Is that sort of the way they That's approach it. their I'm like their new words that they introduce? So Watership Down is like all the characters are rabbits, right? And I'm not talking about like, you know, um, anthropomorphized rabbits. Um, you have yes, 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 yes. Ooh. I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your, your last chance. No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn. Okay. So the Gith Yankee don't really mess around. Oh, don't hurt these people. I would like them to be friends. Okay. Unless they're not friends. Unless they already were mean and they're going to tell us they were mean and it was a good thing that that just happened. I'll continue the watership down for a second. Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill. They Very Harley Quinn looking right Find now. the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. So I guess everybody's trying to find the weapon called the Night Song. I didn't realize that was important. I envy its night. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. So it's interesting that Lazelle seems so strong in our party and she seems very like authoritarian in her own way. But like now that she's seen other people, she's like, oh, well, I've never had one of them. So I'm like, maybe, maybe she's not such a big deal amongst her people right now. Also the Watership Down thing. So because they're rabbits, they have like certain words that are rabbit words that people don't have. Like we don't know the word for tractor. So we call it a hradudu. Great, but it's the same thing where it's like, hi, speaking perfect English. It's like, well, look ye here. Who look who walked in? A Hrechenstalst. <laughs> Haven't seen you in these parts in a while. And they're like, what does that mean? It means meanie. They're like, okay. Like it was the same kind of thing. Um, so like warrior cats. I never did, uh, I never read the warrior cat stuff. I know mostly about it from the uh, Izzy's YouTube video. Maybe we watch that for our watch along party that we do. Um, the dragon incinerated those soldiers. Surely this isn't safe. The dragons serve Gith Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. Yeah, I think bringing her along was the right me. choice. We are close to the cure we seek. Mm, all right. Maybe also, oh, she left our party. Okay, I was gonna say maybe also we should have instead of Karlak, we should have Shadowheart because you know what? I'm gonna really quickly go back to camp. Shadowheart is going to help us with guidance if we ever need to like um do um. That contraption's a hot ticket item. Might not be our last scrap for its sake. We'll Sounds need to stay boring. behind. Um, you heard uh. me. Cool. Um, yeah. Um, we should have Shadowheart because I think she's going to help us with like convincing people of things because she's a cleric and she can like bless us with all these different things to allow us um, this little boost. Um, all right. Uh, I will read out tips now. Seems the Gith Yankee are keen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. I accidentally skipped that first thing she said. My apologies. Um. Let's not find out. We have enough to contend with already. Agreed. So There's she's had an artifact since the beginning of the game, forward. and then it jumped into our inventory, like lore wise it's in our inventory like it, we know it jumped in ours especially if there's trouble and it looks like a d20 so um i'm very curious as to why this is a thing all right so we have our we have our little team now our early team um yeah i'm definitely not jumping down into that situation into into that bridge i've seen what dragons do to bridges and it's not great oh there's a heavy chest i kind of want that I don't want that. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna jump through the thing that I said I wasn't gonna do. So we gotta find Lizelle in this Githyanki crash. Why are we walking? Did I hit a button that makes our characters walk instead of run? Does anyone know? Or is it just that I'm in... I think so, Sidorka stream. What is Astarian wearing? Ooh, I got him this cool armor from someone that we killed. Oh, I'm in Cumber. What? Oh, thank you for letting me know. Where did that happen? I'm not... I wish there was just an easy way to just send like half of your stuff to someone else. There is. I don't know why I said it like that. I can just straight up do that. 
Um, this all the way to here now goes to Shadow Heart. There you go. That helped so much. I don't know why I didn't do that before. I'll just deal with all the other stuff later. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, Lazelle left the party, so she gave me her stuff. Amazing. Got it. Thank you. Now Shadowheart will have back problems. Well, you know, it's not really my problem. I didn't do that. It's not my fault. Dead. By her own kin's hand. Wait, what? No, no. Wait, so because I went back to camp, Lazelle got killed? Dude, that's so stupid. I actually hate that so much. I hate that. Why can't I just go to camp, dude? Dead by her own kin's hand. Like, what a huge... They... I... I don't love that. I don't love that. Because that's what happened to us in the, um, you know, crazy forge area. Um, it skips the scene, says Demonacho. But it's not even like I took a long rest. Like, time isn't supposed to pass. I was just at camp. So now she's back. We're going to reload. Go to camp. At Parlock, go to camp. Never go to camp when there's timely stuff. Well, I know that now, Dichotic. So that happened to us with another um, thing in the last stream. Where, like, there's this whole quest line in the, like, Infernal Forge or whatever. And I was like, oh, I should rest it up first. And I come back and literally everyone is dead. And all the quest lines are done. And it's all, it's just a straight up mess. And it was so frustrating and so sad. Um, hello, Carlac. Hello. Dude, I just wish it was easy to find these people. I really think they should have an option where you just right click and you're just like, they're not in the party anymore. Yeah, there she is. Great. Like, if you start the event, you got to finish the event, it seems. Yeah, I guess about? so. Really? Steam camp, yeah. Oh. Ugh. Okay, Shadowheart, you're back. Where's Shadowheart? You're over here. Ugh. So silly. I learned a quick save before going to camp. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. What's happening? I never played uh, Baldur's Maybe Gate, says so Witherborn. Good. All right, so Witherborn, right something? now... The person in our party who's a Githyanki, you know, she's got the shorter nose and the pointy ears. Um, she right. is telling us that, hey, all these parasites in our brain that are giving us all this trouble, my people would know how to fix that. We need to find my group of people and it's gonna be just fine. And so um, we're like, okay, bet. That'll probably be fine. I do hate that they continuously put the helmets back on, but it's actually stupid. Um, it's my least favorite bug, even though it doesn't matter that much. But aesthetically, you want to see their cool faces. Um, so yeah, that is more or less what's going on. So we have finally stumbled upon it, but what they are, are a very doing? strong and warlike people, um, the Githyanki. Just, and so I once mean, we stumble upon them, clearly there could be some issues. Um, Nobody. And we know that now, and we know that now, That's and we know it. that, I'm out of we know that now. Um, so Lazelle ran ahead or will run ahead. So I think instead of watching this happen and letting, letting it go, we're going to go to Lazel. Um, yeah, okay, so now we're gonna follow her this time. But again, I'm encumbered. So I'm gonna go, hey, I don't need any of these things over here. I need to give you all of this shadow heart. There we go. Sort by type, there we go, we're good. So yeah, we need to get down there and, and uh, protect her. Whoever Yule is. Oh, well, that's that's the person that we were just talking to. Whoopsie doopsie. interesting. We can we can loot them. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to. Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding, for I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. I will be speaking on her behalf. Oh, we can trade with them too? What do you got? Elixir of heroism? Letter to Voss. He'll sell us a letter that was written to him? I mean, yeah. See that. <laughs> huh? 
In this exchange, we'll give you these bones. These daggers I don't really need. And that's it. That's barter. All right. He likes us now. Thanks for that. Um, all right. Um, Nautilizel, go ahead. Well, she doesn't have very good speech abilities. I'm going to do this. Also, out of sheer curiosity, Starian, you just sort of get to hang out, right? Oh, it well, won't let us leave. Leave chat. Okay, never mind. Because I was going to try to steal from I will be speaking on her behalf, Gif. Imbecile, stay back. Oh, she disapproves. She is not happy. Now, now, child, your pet means to speak. Tell me, pet, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Because you're ugly. Um, sleight of hand, we would get a plus four from that. Uh, discreetly prepare to attack? Uh, no. Insight, uh, you would have want you would have done so if you didn't want something from me first. That's kind of sick. Intimidation. I just want passage if I have to go through you, so be it. They do respect being bold and brash or persuasion. I don't know you. I pose no threat. That one gives us, we would have a plus 10 to that. I'm thinking we got to do that. Mastarian not do anything yet? Okay. I do want to pickpocket that guy because I saw on TikTok that he has some really good items. I don't know you. There's no threat. Can Shadowheart not give us a little boost like she normally would? It's weird. She doesn't have guidance, I guess. 12 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3. We're good, baby! Oh, shoot. I still haven't read out any tips. I'm sorry, y'all. I will soon. Of course you are not a threat. You are nothing until I tell you otherwise. He's also like level 12, so we would not be able to kill him. Air, it is necessary for you to tell me something of worth. Okay, did you know that if the a moon is empty on the left the side, sky. it's waxing? We seek a precious weapon that was taken from it. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks is the same one the Absolute's followers are hunting. It's the artifact that she carries. Her uh -oh. mind focuses. The Gith's suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon Oh, they the seek Gith also have right psychic strength. Grasp. Oh no, are they going to know that Help she has it? find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Don't I'll also help, help you restyle them. your hair. Don't tell them a thing. We're dead if you do. Um. You'll need to start from the beginning. What is this weapon you're after? Do not speak. Your bleating offends my ears. You literally Just left the room for me to speak. You're like, tell me what I should do. Okay. Don't say okay. Justice. He's Narudoing. No. He's using his, um, uh, Kagebunshi no Jitsu. Okay, we can re-roll though. We have inspiration. We can do that. Here we go. You realize he's casting detect thoughts. No, I need those. They're mine. Um, ooh, one second. Give me one moment here. Boop, boop, boop. Sorry. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, sorry. One second. Okie dokie. Boom. Done. Um, wisdom, uh, resist the probing into your mind. I have such little boost from that. Why can't we, does she just not have the ability to help us with, um, guidance at this point? Oh dear. We actually can't, uh, redo that. I think we have to reload because this might be very bad for us. Quit Naruto-ing, dude! What's this? You carry a gay parasite in your head. Death will be a kindness to you. Beretha, rid us of this worm. I need to continue the hunt for the weapon. At once. Attack her!
Oh God, there's, there's no way. Okay, I gotta redo this. I gotta redo this. I'm sorry, y'all, but I did want to steal from the guy. Gosh, dang it. Okay, we're going to try that again. And you know what I'm also going to do? I am going to save scum. I'm so confused, says Chuklad. I'm so confused. Um, So what's specifically confusing to you? Basically, here's the deal. We have an artifact that those guys want. And as it stands right now, they're all way stronger than us. On top of that, I really want to steal an artifact from that one dude. It'd be really nice if I could. I kind of want to do that. Um, so I have to reload because if he knows that we have the artifact or the fact that we have those we like um, parasites in our brain, it's going to be a big old problem for us. Um, and that's obviously not great. It's not great. Oh, God dang it. We're encumbered again. Son of a bastard. I hate that so much. That's so silly for them to do that to us. Um, nope. Nope. Okay. We're going to do all the way to here. Send it to Astarian. Great. Um, all right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to have Astarion on group. And then Astarion is going to hide. Hiding successful. I need him to be like over here instead. I'm just hoping that it doesn't like screw us up that he's taking a minute. Hiding successful. Hiding successful. This is awesome. Wait, can we pickpocket the dragon? That's kind of sick. I'm going to quick save on this. Rider, no. the time is short. Shh, shh, shh. Well, your name, Shoot. child. I'm going to reload. Oh, wait. I kn I think I know what someone did instead. They did command. They had Shadowheart use command to have him drop his incredibly strong weapon. Wait, is the dragon on their side? Yes. Githyankis are known for being uh, dragon riders. It's a big deal for them. Evie Squeevy says, I just caught up on YouTube VODs and I'm happy to finally join the live stream. Hey, what's up, Evie Squeevy? I am sorry because I uploaded one of the VODs out of order. So the last one you watched, maybe, um, completely different. Oh, we didn't get Carlac back for the Shadowheart. Son of a bastard. I'm just going to do it. Maybe we just don't get the special cool sword. Maybe that's just not something we get to do. Maybe that's fine. Big successful. Big bucket. Rider. Shh, shh, shh. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel, proud, regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme, the Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. I have 13 more a titles named the them. Sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. Yeah, I was going to say. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the nope. sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to fall into the Gith Raider's hands any more than it does. Okay, so again, we, from the followers. very beginning of the game, we've had this take mysterious artifact crash. in our possession. You want to join our search. It just sort of popped into our pockets. And it looks Speak like a D20. Up, Spiky old D20. Affirm your mandate. Um, so I can either just be like, I have my own, it's time for you to die for no reason. Um, I can mouth to her to like, tell the truth. Sorry, and what, I, I wish I could switch here. That's okay. Um, our first tip of the day comes from Tom Biden dropping three dollars. Thank you very much, Tom. Um, saying hello back from my break. Well, welcome on back, Tom. Um, helped parents move into their new place. It's beautiful, old, surrounded by countryside with a huge garden. No internet yet, though, uh, so they are back on coast where, you know, where there is lol. Okay, that makes sense. Internet stuff always takes a minute to flip and boost up, um, which is wild to me. I'm always so confused because I'm like, didn't the last group have internet usually? I don't know. Um, hope you are well and stuff. High five and hugs. Thank you very much, Tom. I appreciate you. You're very, 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 very sweet for popping in. Um, ooh, I got to type something in real quick. second sorry one second
All right, cool. Um, thank you. Cool. Persuasion. We do get plus 10 from that. I think we can do it again, even though I had to reload. I hate that I had to reload. Ugh. 14. We're golden. I'm so persuasive. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I, I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. Mm. To Danos! To the sky! Okay, so once again, we didn't get to steal from him. I guess we just don't get to steal from him. I, I think it... So when I did see someone on TikTok do it, they said it took them 45 minutes of save scumming in order to do it. Maybe it's just not something we get to do. And you know what? That's okay. Wow, we gained a lot of experience for that. Look at us go. You did well to intervene. Vexed as I am to admit it. The distilled Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near. This much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignobles, just still Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. It is really bizarre to me that, like... I know, I, I understand why, in a gameplay sense, why we lost... Like, why Lazel died that one time when we, like, went back to camp. But it's just wild to me that, like, she's on the team of these other Githyanki. And, like, she was immediately dead the second she talked to us. So, I'm, I mean, or, like, the, when we came back from camp. And I'm just like... Um, you just gotta switch characters to go out of dialogue and try to disarm. It wouldn't let us switch characters. I kept clicking on Asterion. And it just, it wouldn't work. It didn't happen. So... There you go. Um, well, these guys, I mean, they're super dead, these guys. That's always nice. And now I'm encumbered again. I can't even pick them up, I'm so encumbered. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise, you guys. This is flooding crazy how encumbered I am right now. Hi there, Faraz. The hell yeah. The hell yeah, I'm so encumbered. Uh. No, I didn't mean to add it to my wares. Gosh dang it. Um, send it to camp. All right, I still have a lot of things on my person. What's what's so heavy? Oh, oh! I can't believe I didn't take all these things. Okay, well, oops. Um, potion of flying, uh, alchemy pouch. I mean, yeah, these are all my goodies. What's also heavy? All oh, these tablets. These tablets gotta go, man. Me trying to do more sales at the Apple Store. These tablets gotta go. Um, alchemy pouch is kind of heavy. Adventuring pack is not so heavy. I'm gonna sort by weight because something's weighing us down a lot. Backpack, durable bag of canvas. Where? Why is there so much in here? Oh, this is what was gifted to us by Lazel. That's the problem. There's so much in here. That's the problem. Um, Lazel, there you go. Now you're good, buddy. Now you're good, buddy. Just a dead guy inside. I mean, that's neither here nor there, but yes. Very dead person. You know, happens. Sure does. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of fire murder down there. For sure, for sure. Great. So then, what is that? Travel through the mountain pass. Find the Yankee crash. I know the mountain pass is sort of like the next part of this game. And so since we can't, like snag that sword like I really wanted to I think it might make sense to just go back to where we were um let's go back to the Mike and Ed colony and return that evil dude's head and then we'll go try to do that crazy boss fight that crazy boss fight we're also going to I think check Lazelle's inventory and then swap her back out for someone else who's real important oh yeah we don't really need too much from her right now yeah, rotten eggs, letter, 
ring, all these things. The dead goblin child. That's neither here nor there. Um, alchemy pouch should probably... I mean, we should probably have these here. Sent to... I mean, great. Yeah, let's swap out Lazel. We're going back to camp. Does Lazel... I think Lazel has actually the, the head of that Not guy. I do have to make sure of that. Does she have Nair's head? She does! That goes to Asterian. Asterian would love carrying around someone's head. I think that'd be his, like, favorite thing. For her. Sure. Her. Um, great. Great. Lazel, you gotta stay this here. Not as bad as it could have. And my little owl bears chilling there. Love it. Speak. With me and Kip. She said speak quickly. I'm like, with me and Kip. You believe you can survive without me? I'm not arguing. Remain say, here. Do not keep me waiting. That's an awfully hot cough. Oh, All right, and we wanted back. We wanted back Shadowheart. I think she'll keep us alive in a good way. Seems the gig, in I fact, hate that it keeps have having their that helmets cop come on back. It's so silly. There's not much Join me. Up. And I do. I God, I just wish we could have five party members because I'd have Gale in there or Will even as a spellcaster. Gale is really useful as utility, but like. Just in general, in, in fights, I haven't had the most use for him. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. And I kind of think Asterion and Carlax, you know, they do fill... We all fill kind of the same roles, the top three of us. There is a mod for that, says Florneon. I know. I just... I think for our first game, I, I want to do it unmodded. Such depth to the shadows. I don't care what others say about the underdog. So first things first, we are delivering the head of that guy to the haters. Thula. Not the Thula. Thula, how you doing, by the way? I'm coming along. Lonnie, what do I need to do? She wants me to save her kin, but I'm pretty sure those are the dead folks that we found. Oopsie doobies. Harb's Cantina. No, no earthquake scheduled for today. Not today. Um, we got a few more new subscribers. Everybody, please give a spicy. Clever Coop, welcome to Otome Cafe. Astrid Kai, or uh, Astrid Key 42, Ella Kunan, um, uh, Disciple 42, and then Alice Hatter. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Peace spring up. Be at home. I am. Thank you. We had to choose between which of the big old mushroom men we wanted to continue, like, working with. And we killed the other one that was very, like, warlike. So, oh, let's tell him about that first, because we have not done that. I've slain the creature called Glut, who was scheming to slaughter your circle. You are one with Spore. Your throat tightens, then relaxes. The air is serene, your mind untroubled. The songs we sing now carry your spirit. I first named you Peace Bringer. I now name you Kin Spirit. I love that. Ah, uh, the other one was like, I will, if I, you know, am part of your team, I will be the most warlike and you'll be strong little war men this whole time. And I was like, I don't want that. And then this guy's like, I literally sing in order to talk. Everybody loves it. And I'm like, okay. That says Mossy Mykonid. I read it as Mommy Mykonid. Like, yes, the Sovereign Spa and Mommy Mykonid. Mommy, I mean, Mommy, I mean, sorry. I mean, mommy. Be Be I wish to wish you a happy birthday. Oh, man, if we give him this, this guy's uh, severed head, I hope he doesn't give us um, a new title. <laughs> you were peace bringer. Now you are giver of head. Like, can we... Can we pick a different one? No, 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 no. You've earned this one. You've re you've really earned this one. Sorry. That was that was The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. You know what? That's on me for not Indeed expecting immediately death, what you were about to do. But he's going to eat him. This circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. Oh, even better one! <gasps> oh! 
Oh, this is so awesome! Boy dinner? How dare you? This is my boy. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. That's so cool. We got, let's see, Envoy's Amulet, Voice of the Circle. That's really cool. You receive that. Great. I'm going to wear that all the time. So now we get to swap that out for our current amulet, um, which is fine. I think it's time. But then that means someone gets... Someone get... I don't think we need um, Talisman Aid. So let me give him Animal Friendship. Wait, you know what? Maybe we use the Animal Friendship one as we need it. Because I don't think we really need it right now, you know? Wish to live in more interesting times. We will use Speak with Animals. Dewey! There we go. How long will we be streaming today? Uh, probably like four more hours at least, King Griffin. Probably go till this evening. Then I have some errands to do. But for now, Looming Drowhead. Wow. Wait a minute. Examine. Oh. But I, it allows me to take it. Like, no problem. I wonder if it does anything to me. I'm actually going to um save real quick just to make sure. But am I able to just take that? What's it do for me? Nothing. Literally nothing. All right. Well, I'm going to put that back then. I'm going to for sure put that back. I do not need that. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it's a bit of like a, hey, now you know to never do that again. Um, I'm also going to check in with this. Um, slow down. This uh, I have never seen anything merchant real quick. Is my species evolving? Here it doesn't show. That's interesting. Blurg. I blurred. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I do enjoy. A Let's see, because every time you do a long rest, anything, they do refresh um, their liking. their stuff. Um, this is a light short sword, which does mean that a Starian could really benefit from it. So what's it do? Um, plus one to damage and attack rolls, on a hit, possibly bane your target. It only functions if it's bound to an Elder Knight or a Warlock's packed weapon. Ah, oh, would be so good if we could actually use it. Um. Uh, Circlet of Blessing allows you to use Scorching Ray. I mean, that's kind of cool. When the wearer gains lightning charges, they also gain three temporary hit points. I mean, these are all fine. It's not exactly what we would need. Um, how about all these potions of healing? I do definitely want to buy those. They're important to us. Uh, Scroll of Fireball could be useful. Dark Vision's not as useful. Um, all right. All right. I think we're about good to go with that. What does the Devil Foil Mask do? Do I need that? I'm going to wait to sell that. I feel like that could be important. But, uh, great. Very well. Very well. I have mushroom things to do. I'm a mushroom your... guy. Cool. So now, finally, we can go back to the Ancient Forge. And I think, I think we're more prepared now, right? So the problem before was that I was very unprepared and I got completely rocked by these things. And it's fine. It happens to all of us. Um, I could do the really cool druid little cheese situation in here, but I'm not gonna. I mean, can't go there. Okay, cool. Um, so this is the part of the game. I'm, I, I'm sure a lot of you have seen TikToks about it, where basically... That platform, as soon as we... Oh, God, no, I'm going to get knocked prone. Shoot. Um, that platform is going to lower in a minute, right? And it can... Um... Okay, everyone can make it through. Great. It's going to lower in a minute, and when that happens, um, a boss fight is eventually going to trigger, okay? But... Damn, it's good to be alive. Yeah, it's good to be alive. Um, I want to make sure everybody has the proper um, items for this. Um... Okay, good. Shadowheart is the splint, the scale, the shield, the mace. And I have... <sighs> Did I get rid of it? Sorry, folks. If I don't have the sword thing, I need to uh, go back to camp real quick. These are different splint molds. So we're going to basically be trying to make ourselves a really cool new weapon. 
But that being said, as soon as we do, a boss fight is going to trigger. So what a lot of people do is they stay up here, right? And as soon as the boss fight happens, that's when they like throw an incredibly amount of damaging stuff at people. What other people have done is uh, as a druid, they transform into an owl bear, which is already really heavy. Um, and then, uh, oh, person with a maze, person with a maze. Yeah, okay, you're right. I need to switch out so that Shadowheart has that maze. And maybe so that we have a Warhammer. That's not a bad idea. Again, we're, we're, we're sort of playing with the idea of like, maybe not as bad on the backseat gaming today. Like maybe we can check some things sometimes. Um, so she needs to have that. Um, I'm also maybe gonna give her some bear rolls. Uh, so person with a mace, person with a bludgeoning weapon is a good idea. We have a morning star, that's all well and good. Or we have, there was a, there was a better one for sure. And actually, um, oh, that's not good. So we have a Warhammer, right? But I also know that there was, um, Lazel is currently using a way, 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 way better, um, that's a weapon for that. Too glad. No, no, no. Oh, I thought you were telling me to remember a person with a mace. But also, too glad I wasn't mad. It wasn't. It wasn't a bad thing at all. Um, you don't mean that. I was saying, um, because you might have just now hopped in. Usually, we're like, no backseat gaming, and anyone saying anything that I should do in the game, we've been like, no, you can't tell me. Um, but in reality, it's like, well, damn. If I can't do an entire boss fight without someone with a bludgeoning weapon, that's gonna be kind of important. You know what I mean? So like. When you said, yay, a person with a mace, like I thought you were saying, hey, don't forget, you need a person with a mace, which again, for me is like, yeah, you are actually correct about that. That's gonna be important. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't a problem. You know about ritual spells and how they work in this game? Yes, if you cast them outside of battle, they do just exist. Um, yes, I do know that, but thank you. A fair question. A fair question. Um, I think any healing scrolls we should probably hold on to right now. I think also, what else? What else? What else? We're going to send Lazel back to camp. We just have to prep for this properly because, again, I just got I just got completely rocked last time. And it's, it took so much time, you guys. It took so much time. And I still have yet to use any of these Mind Flayer Parasite specimens. And I know, I know they can make us way stronger and I have like six of them now. So I'll say this, out of sheer curiosity, because I haven't done it yet and I don't really plan to do it, but out of sheer curiosity, I know you can use the parasites to make you stronger. Speak. On a scale of one to 10 for how much it changes your experience in game in terms of like negative drawbacks, you believe you where would you place that me? chat? Cause I'm imagining there's there's As no way said. it's gonna be like, yeah, you just get a bunch of extra power for free. It's fine. What are you thinking about? Scale of one to two. Oh, it's only like a one or two. So it barely does anything to you. It's not that bad of a thing at all. Everyone's saying like a two or a three. Good. I'm saying three, three-ish, unless you go too far with it. Def more positive than negative impacts. Um, I might. People are saying, I don't know anything bad, but I'm only in act two. Okay, that does, that does flavor things a little bit. That does flavor things a well, little bit well, for me. Well. But does it turn you into Mind Flayer at the end of the game? That's my question. See, that's kind of my thought where I'm like, I don't want the exact specifics. I don't want to know what happens. But if it's like, oh, you get to the end of the game and then it's like, well, you shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. Like that sucks. I'm also having Carlac hold on to um, these great clubs because I feel like she could just yeet them. Oh, a maul would actually be kind of sick. Two-handed maul? Uh, do you want spoilers? No, it does not. Um, I... I wouldn't say I really want spoilers yet. I'm just, I've just been curious. Um, okay, so we now have a maul. We also have a warhammer. Warhammer, uh, maul is way better than warhammer. Though I guess it's only a one-handed weapon, which is kind of sick. Um, so tell you what, I'm going to have Karlak hold on to this maul, and then maybe if I want to use a great club later to just throw at the enemy, that would do a lot of damage. So I'm going to hold on to those as well. Here, just bring them along just in case. 
And then also what we're gonna do, here's what we're going to do. We got a couple of explodey barrels, right? A couple of slick slide and explodey barrels. It might be a good idea to do that. Okay. You do get warnings and chances to resist, but the DC increases on the checks against the effect the closer to the end of the game. Okay, uh, Tor Mirabel. Um, that actually helps a lot. So instead, what I am going to do is definitely for sure use it a little bit. And if I have to save scum toward the end of the game, then we're fine. Um, we got Roy dropping $3. Thank you very much, Roy. Or maybe it's Roy K. <laughs> I'm going to take two. I'm going to take two little parasites, and that's fine. It's a little parasite. It's a treat. I mean, this is a whole aspect of the game that we're just not... Oh. You can now consume Mind Flayer parasites from your inventory to unlock new illithid powers. Looking, Look out for sources of parasites in the world, including infected corpses. Oh, very interesting. Okay, I'll use two for now. It's a treat. Um, Roy K says, loving the streams. Love from Israel. Thank you very much, Roy. Hello, right on back. All the way from the America. Um, I appreciate you. It's lovely to meet you and see you. And thanks for being in. But you've been here before, I'm pretty sure. But I still say lovely to meet you. Um, let's do a little alchemy. For elixirs of peerless focus. That's kind of sick. Potion of speed. We don't need that right now. Uh, what do we want? Coatings. Oil of combustion. That sounds kind of sick. We'll do that. And you know what? I'm also going to have our characters do a long rest. Because we're kind of um, hurting here. Oil of sharpness. Great. Um, elixirs of peerless focus. Great. All right, let's try. I'm going to do a main save right now. And then we're going to take on this damn boss that's been haunting my dreams for days. See, that's why I really wanted to stream so bad. It's because you know, the boss haunts me. We also got uh, Kirk Child subscribing for the first time. Very spicy. Clever Coop, welcome to you. Thank you so much. Um, all right, time to try a brain. Oh, it had me use both. It, has me, it had me use both. Is that okay? Is that good? Timmy Tadpole allows your character to unlock a special power. Um, B opens the illithid power menu. So it had me use both all at once. Okay, so I have two potentials available. This is a whole skill tree I didn't use before. What on the earth? Let's take a look at this because this is going to be very important. Sonic Overload is a class action. Your attacks deal an additional psychic damage, but you take psychic damage. I don't think I particularly want to do that. Um, favorable beginnings. The first attack roll you make against a target gains uh, a bonus. That's really great. Force tunnel, you charge forward, pushing all objects and creatures in your path away from you, but you don't get opportunity attacks. This place also get more damage when I throw an enemy. That would be a car-like thing. Concentrated blast. Uh, you must be concentrating on another spell to cast this. If the target was concentrating, uh, you heal as much as the damage that was dealt to it. So we both have to be concentrating, and then I hit it. Interesting. When an enemy casts a spell, you can use a reaction to do extra damage to it. Um, or call the weak. Oh, I know that spell. Um, when you bring a creature down a fewer hit points than yours, um, than the number of your illicit powers, it dies and all creatures take damage. Interesting. Shield of Thralls. Call, conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally, gaining temporary hit points. Not bad. Transfuse health. You can sacrifice half your health to heal a target for the same amount. Perilous stakes. In invest a creature with power that heals it when it attacks, but it also makes it vulnerable to all damage or stage fright. Your targets have disadvantage on attack rolls and take damage to their... Okay, so favorable beginnings and stage fright both sound really good. I'm going to start with favorable beginnings. Easy. This is a terrible looking thing. I actually hate this all. Wow, I really do. Um, when you make a successful attack roll against a foe, you can exchange that hit into a critical hit. As a passive feature? To always get a critical? Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I should just use this on all of the characters. Oh, once per battle. That's still great. I should just use that on all my characters. Because that's all we need. It's just two brain parasites for everybody. And then we're fine. Wow, this is a real game changer. Um, Let's end the day. Let's heal up. And then let's battle. And then Carlock, Carlach. I need to remember that C does not do the thing I think it does. I just need to remember that forever. Um, 3 to 12, 5 to 15. Um, all right. So Carlach is going to be using... Oh, wait. Already? 
This does more than the Warhammer. Okay, well, I'm not, obviously. Oh, she's not. Wait, hold up. Are you proficient with this? 5 to 14 versus 5 to 15. Yeah, or 4 to 13. I mean, this is way better than what she's got right now. So, and she can two hand it. So that's 5 to 14. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. And maybe we can switch back to her great axe later. All right, time to go back at what boss are you trying to face? It's the adamantine guardian guy. I forget his name, but he's a big old spooky fella. Not to be rude, but he's a big old spooky fella. Time to go to bed. Right. And Gale last time was not particularly useful in the fight. So we're just gonna have people who know how to bludgeon. We're gonna have a Starian who can sneak and disengage and do all that because he's gonna need to be a sneaky little guy. You just say smang him? Like, is that from let me smang it, girl? Turquoise Jeep? Did you just really bring me back to the Turquoise Jeep days? How dare you? How dare you, Bahamutering? Smash Bang Fusion. No, I know what it means. Did you get it from the song or did you invent Smang by yourself without ever hearing the song? Do you don't feel like doing the faster method you learned last stream? Oh, Gano, I will definitely be doing the faster method, 100%. But I don't know yet, and I don't want to know. I don't know yet if I'm able to do that right off the bat. Um, I don't know if I need to, like, weaken it first so he then, you know, later is like, Oh, man, I can't believe I got hit so much. I, to I am so sorry. Because clearly, I forgot to do the entire reason that we went back to camp originally, which is me grabbing the mold to make a better sword. I'm really sorry. Back to camp we go real quick. I also wish there was a way that you could look at your character's inventories. You got an achievement for doing it the hard way, Dichotic? That's impressive to me because I had no, I, I don't know how I'd be able to do that because midway through the fight, it became immune to everything. So I just, I just don't know how I'd be able to do it. Um, all right, I need to find this very specific item and I don't know if it's in here or what. And I absolutely hate that I can't just have it. Um, I agree with you. I wish the search feature just included everything you had in your camp. Um, uh, oh, but I guess I could do it here. Um, oh, no. Can I not search? Dude, I can't search. That's so silly. That's so silly. Um, I need a mold. Where is the mold? If anyone sees it in the chest, you can definitely speak up. That is okay. Um, but I am not seeing it myself. Hammers, damn. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm not seeing it in here. So then I think I need to, um, I think it's probably on Gale. I think I think Gale would have it then at this point. Um or let's see, does Astarian have it? This is so silly. Also, she Harlax should have these coins. Um I'm also gonna give this Warhammer situation to Harlax again. Did you unpack the bag from Lazelle? I'm pretty sure I did. Shadowheart has some. Yeah, so she has the mace, the shield, the scale, and the splint. I'm looking for the sword one, or the falchion. Scimitar? I forget what kind of sword it was, but it was a sword. I'll tell you that much right now. It was a sword, and I want it. I'm also curious if I'm missing any of the molds. How many molds are there? He wonders aloud. Honestly curious. I think there was five. Okay, so there is just scimitar. Six, says Lunar Them. After Lunar, do you remember what it was? So I got mace, shield, scale mail, splint. I'm assuming it'd be like a two-handed weapon. There's another in the rafters of the main fortress, says Demo Nacho. Ooh, okay. I am asking. One is a longsword. Ah, oh, man. But you know what? As far as two-handed weapons go, I'm not hurting for it. I'm not hurting for a two-handed weapon. All right. So then I guess I have to tell people goodbye for a minute before I... 
Starion, wait in camp. We need something. I think it's better if you stay in camp. So, I I'd sure like to get to the meat of the gameplay. Um, hey, what's up, Lazel? Is this in your bag, maybe? Kate. I can join me. We had Gale, too. I think it's most likely with Gale, but I just want to check this while I'm here. Um, rings and things. Food of justice. Yeah, not Lazel. Hey, Lazel, we don't need you anymore. Shook. As you see. All right. Gale, what's up with you, my guy? How are you today? Don't, don't leave me in suspense. Why don't you... How are you feeling? No air and tentacles? What? Can... Was there another matter you wish to discuss? Why don't you join me as I steal from you, Gale? Where is your stuff? It has to be somewhere. Like, I just wish there was a better way to organize these things. It's killing me. It should not take me five plus minutes to figure out where in the gosh dang heck all my character's stuff is. Gale, back in you go. How can I help? I need you to remain in the camp for a while. Perhaps we'll travel again later. So then our only other options are, I didn't think we were traveling with Will very much during that. Who else is even here? Halzen, who we're not traveling with, and then Will, and then Shadowheart, who's definitely here. God. No, I suppose that's not what you asked. I'd like you to join me, Will. Um, Will? Um, and it's not there. Yo, I don't know what to do. You can search each person's inventory and it'll show up whether or not. Okay, okay. So we know then, is it M-O-U-L-D or M-O-L-D? M-O-U-L-D, great. So then, let's see. M-O-U-L-D. Mold. No items. No items on Damien. We got mold. No Carlock. No Will. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye, Will. Well, then. Are you sure? Yep. And so then it has to be, unless I already put it in the thing before and we're playing a save game where I did that. It's already inside the forge, says Demonastra. That's the only thing that makes sense for now. That is the only thing that makes sense for now. I'm going to check the traveler's chest one more time while we're here and then I am out. I am out, folks. We got to just play the game. I'm sick of this. Look at this family. No one understands me. <clears throat> um, okay. Yep. Nothing. Not seeing anything here. No molds here, sir. Nothing out of the norm here, sir. So I guess we did already put it in the mold and we just reloaded the save that was just like slightly after everything. That's so silly. Smoke powder barrel is also awesome. Tell you what, we're going to send that over to Arlac. Don't rest. Um, all right, send to Kalak. All right, Asterion, you're up. Need something? Need you in my party. Yep, let's go. Finally, the team is here, folks. This is the team. Let's go. Back to the thing. Thank you very much for the help, y'all. And I am way behind on tips now. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, so we have got... Let's, let's just check and make sure. It blocked. Oh. Low dejection level. Scimitar mole. Okay, so it is in there. Great. No use. Now we get to properly place that in there. Oh, amazing. I so wish. I so wish I'd thought about that previously, but I didn't, and that's okay. Successfully inserted. There we go. Yay! Um, it is indeed there. So now we get to actually do the proper thing. Now, do I leave one of the characters up here to just throw a bunch of exploding barrels on him? Maybe. Probably not. It's fine. Everything's fine. Forge lever. Go, go, kabang on the crucible. Ding, ding, ding goes the trolley. Clang, clang, clang goes the bell. So now we're about to have a whole situation. Because again... We really tried to do all these different magical things to this monster before, and we're like, oh yeah, we can totally do that. Everything's fine. 
Um, didn't work. Tell you what, didn't work. So that's the lava valve. That's going to be important. I also think... Let's see, Shadow Heart. Do you have any... Do you have any rituals here? Passives. Nope. Uh, cleric. The cantrips. Party inspiration. Channel the building. Um... Guidance, concentration. So I'm going to put that on Damien just for like survival because that's a cantrip. Um, let's get Carlag. You Are you good with anything? Yeah, okay, so you're good to go. Sterian probably doesn't have any rituals. Find familiar is a ritual, but it does it, does it take an act, action slot when it's outside of combat? I'm curious. Anyone know? Does find familiar as a level one ritual take an action? It doesn't take a slot. Oh, that's that's actually great. First of all, let's give our speed with animals thing. Psychotic says no. So let's try it. Let's see. Oh, scratches are familiar. That's so cool. But he doesn't actually die if he dies. I don't think. That's so cool. I had no idea. Oh, I love that. That makes me really happy. Yay. Okay. Last thing is I think Shadow Heart should definitely bless all of us. For her sure. Bonus to attacks and saving rolls. So this does three creatures. This would do four. One, two, three, four. Hashtag bless. Up. Oh. Nice. Okay, good. Now we're good to go. I'm gonna start this battle. We can do it this time, folks. We can really do it this time. Everything is fine. Oh, God. We also got Chelsea XAZ. Chelsea XAZ, you generous mother goose. Again, <laughs> that's really nice. I will always say you don't have to do that. And I'm. this is just your like, you've been scrolling way too long situation. I hope you know you are okay not to do that and i'm just checking in to make sure that you are fine and not using it as like yay dopamine but i really appreciate it chelsea xaz is dropping 125 flipping dollars thank you so 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 very much that is an incredibly generous tip thank you for the generous mother geese in chat chelsea thank you so, yeah so that's the guy we done got a murder um so he's got the melting thing going on now right so originally what i did was like oh man i've really got to tackle this guy as much as i can and we got him down to like half health, but let's let's inspect him real quick for anyone who hasn't seen since the last stream. He's really resistant to all these things. The only thing that he does not have immediate resistance to right now is uh, bludgeoning damage. So theoretically, if I like throw a hammer at him, he's really in trouble. But he's a level eight, which is really strong. He has 18 AC, which means I would have to like, they always roll dice for you when you try to attack. I would have to roll over an 18. It's really wild. Um, So, what I'm going to do now is I need to get him over to this area to attack me and then give him a little squouch with this situation, right? So that's what I learned before from last time. So I think what my best bet is going to be is have someone really strong like Karlak distract him for a minute, then get him to come over here. I'll have Asterion waiting off to the side as a sneaky little lad. Maybe Asterion's the distractor one, because he can shoot from afar and really make it, like, you know, make him pull. Um, but what I will do first is try to uh, curse him. Because cursing him is going to do a lot of benefit if I'm able to... Ooh, actually, I'm going to give him Bane. Bane is going to be a little bit better for us. Um, I'm going to give him Bane. He's got a 95% chance to be hit with Bane, so let's go. Oh, I can hit him with three things. Well, let's we'll hit him three times with Bane. I can just say I'm done. Done. He's baned. Great. He's like, oh, you hurt my feelings, Batman. Um, so Chelsea says, sorry, I've missed the past few streams. That's okay. Um, it's always okay. Uh, Thursday was official pumpkin launch. That's right. The pumpkin spice lattes are back, everyone. And they're better than ever. I don't know. I haven't had one yet. Um, uh, it has been insanely crazier than usual. Hoping to continue th to wind down this weekend while I'm packing. Looking forward to a calm Sunday night. Much love to chat and you, Damien. That is so kind, Chelsea, and I really appreciate it. And I know you work extremely, extremely hard. I just, again, really want to make sure that, like, this is your check-in moment of, like, 
You just tipped $125, which is extremely nice. And you've been working very hard. I just want to make sure you're okay to do that. I know you're an adult. You know what you're doing. But I just want to like, I always like to check in with people. It's nice when people support. It really matters and really helps. Like I'm not looking at that like, no, 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 whatever. It's super nice. And I really appreciate it. But I just want you to make sure you are all taken care of first. Do you know what I mean? That's just all I, that's just all I mean by it. Um, all right, so. If I have Karlak become enraged, I can have her do Furious Throw, which is really good. Bonus action, that's a bonus action too, or Enraged Throw rather. Um, so I am going to have her jump over here first as an action. And I'm gonna have her throw as her starting thing just so we can see what this looks like. Because these great clubs, they don't sell for anything. But like theoretically, they, we could do some good damage to this guy. 55% chance, but like, okay. So it did four damage to him, not very much. And he, fe but he does feel threatened by us, which is nice. So he's gonna come over to where Karlak is now. And that's good. We can also throw something as an extra attack. I mean, what even would we throw right now? And we'll throw the guy a bone. Yeah, come on over here, man. Hey, come over here. Um, so Astarian, your host situation is to use your cunning action dash. Go right over here to do a little to do a little squash if need be. Um, oh wait, I can't jump now. I don't have enough to jump. I should have done cunning action jump situation. Everything's fine, that's fine. Uh, you are going to hide, just stay out of the way. You can't, it didn't work, that's fine. Um, oh, Scratch, wait, can Scratch interact with objects? Do we know? I'm curious, well, let's see. Let's see if Scratch can be a little a little jumpy boy. He, I moved too much and now I can't Scratch. I did not switch back to Druid for this, no. No, I did not. Um, all right, so we did that first little bit there. We blessed up everybody. I also want to, oh, that's concentration. So I've got to keep bless up as a concentration. Bless up. Um, Beacon of Hope is also concentration. Warding Bond is not concentration, but we learned last time that I screwed myself over by doing that. So we're gonna have her. What do I want her to do? I do want her to protect people, but these are all concentration. I need to get less concentration spells. That's that's actually a problem. Um, there. Wait, what? No, I didn't want you to do that. Um, spiritual weapon, Maul. Darth Maul. There you go. Now it's a helpful little guy. Great. So now we've got everybody sort of in the same boat here. I'm going to have her stay off to the side in case someone's on fire and dying. Um, and I want you to give him a bonk. Bonk. There we go. And then eventually when this thing dies, Karlak's gonna throw something else. She's gonna be ready to go. Actually, no, <gasps> we can use this thing. Not enough movement, okay. So we can next time, next time we can use this thing to pull it over. Nope, it's just gonna get hit, that's fine. Um, and it's just gonna stay there, great. Awaken, okay, so now it's in its super cool guy mode. That's always fun. Um, Astarian, we need you to jump over here. He's like, oh yes, wait, no. Wait, hold on, no. Oh god. Um sorry. You give your little jumpies, you give your little jumbos right over here. And we need you to wait right by this thing. Great, 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 great. So now, because Carlock is ready to do the smash, we can do spiritual weapon. Actually, if this walks over here first. Now it can fly over here? Yeah, yeah, it can. I mean, not enough resources. Does it still get hit with lava? No, it's spirit. It doesn't matter. Spirit Halloween. Let's go. Now it can fly. Are you serious? Not enough resources? Not enough re ah. Fine. Breathing. Breathing. Um, he's already been baned. I think it will also be advantageous to not Tasha's hideous laughter. Uh, Blade Ward myself. Actually, mm, yeah. I'm gonna touch a creature to turn it invisible. That's also gonna be beneficial to us. I should probably hold on to that level of spell. 
I will blade ward myself to be super helpful. Um, all right, so I'm off to the side here, ready to help when and if need be. Carlag, time to pull in the guy here. Um, let's have you throw, you know, just for fun. Let's have her throw a smoke powder barrel. We haven't really done that yet. Um, oop. So I'm gonna have her really quickly. Can't reach the destination. Bonus action, there we go. Have you throw. I mean paths interrupted. We mean paths interrupted. I want it to hit the guy. There we go. Dewey. Ooh, wait, did that do 17 to him? No, it did 15 to him. All right, so Carlac. Yes. Didn't mean to end turn. I want you to go back over here, Carlac. And then when it comes to you, we'll be standing right there. And then you're good to go. Oh, I'm so excited. Carlac can really do this. Sterian, we need you to turn invisible in the meantime. Just because, I guess. Tui. Yeah, you should not be attacked right now. Scratch, you are going to jump over here for a morale boost. And also, I think if since Scratch is like we're using Find Familiar for it, Scratch doesn't die if he dies, right? I'm not putting this doggy in mortal peril, right? Um, she should also be helping people with... So we have concentration going on Bless. That's important. We like that. We need that. Um, resistance is another... Yeah, she just has too many... Um, she has too many uh, concentration spells. I didn't even think about that. Um, you're seriously struggling to grasp what's going on in the game. Okay, so Hedy LaCroix, basically, this monster right here, too big, too strong for us to kill. It took us 40 minutes. We got him down to half health. Last stream, um, we died. But if you'll notice, when we pulled this lever before to try to get this forge working, there was a big old smashy piston thing that happened here. So if we get this guy while he's like kind of half melting and, you know, in lava mode to walk on over here, we can go... Um, we can go a little splorch, we can do a little splurp, and that's all it really takes. So that's what we're doing. So now, this guy's mad at Karlak, so he's gonna come over to her and try to hit her. We don't like that, but, oh God, is he too close? Or is he not close enough? That kind of sucks. What are you doing? What kind of thing are you doing? I think he'll still get hit partially because he's like here. There you go. So I'm going to quick save here see what happens no okay so he's still super heated which is nice can you have multiple concentration spells at once no no he's got to concentrate on this just the one thing place. so Karlak is thankfully able to move because he's not quite close enough to her so i'm gonna go right here now we're gonna have astarian pull this lever we still might be too close i don't know i don't know but let's see so he's currently at 277 health. <sighs> Moment of truth. Okay, so it did 126 damage to him, which is really great. And now we get this cool weapon, which is a five to 10 light slashing damage. I mean, if an adamantine weapon hits an object, the hilt hit is always critical. The weapon ignores resistance to slashing damage. Okay, so also Astarian can pick that up now and be really, really uh, overpowered, which is kind of awesome. And we like like we like that. We want the ant. Um, so Starion, you're going to be over here. Can Scratch interact with objects? Did we ever get an answer about that? Because I am very curious if that's the case. Survival is all that matters. Um, so now let's have this spiritual web. It's knocked prone. So we got to give it a good old kabonk here. Miss! You bastard. Where do we go from here? Um, Okay, it's me time now. So let's see what its resistances are now. Okay, so it's only got... Oh, it's it's got still full... It's got still full resist. So what do I do now? Do I just have to get it back up there? Hold on. Oh, I have an idea. He's still right there. I think that might still count. Oh, he's cooled down. Okay, that makes sense. Well, then thanks for the heads up. Here's what I'm gonna do. Karlak, oh, Karlak is in the lava, and we don't <laughs> love that. Oh, and all these guys are showing up. We also don't love that. So what? here's what I'm, what I'm gonna do for me, personally, myself, is I'm gonna go right on over here, keep them alive. 
Starion also definitely is, will die if we let the lava happen, which I don't like very much at all. But it's kind of worth it if we can pull him out later because this is going to be an issue if this guy gets back up. Oh, man, wait. Um, I can't reach this, can I? I can. Great. Lava valve is going again. How many of my people are in there? Hey, Astarian. I am actually very sorry. Um. Oh, no. Um. So she is able to throw some cool little murdery things at these guys. So let's throw, let's throw some stuff. No, why would I do that? We have a crossbow. Why would I just throw it at all those people? Um, who's closest? That one's going to be most annoying for right now. There we go. That's something, I guess. There we go. Now it's dead fully. And I think they do still explode when they are used. Hey, Astarian. I'm real sorry about the thing that happened just now. Um, hope you survive. Hey, Scratch. How you doing? Are you able to pull this lever? Let's pull the lever. Nope. Oh, okay. Should have left Astarian exactly where he was. That's on me, folks. <laughs> That's on me. Then in that case, if Scratch can't do that, we should have Scratch at the ready for battling those guys. Um, okay, okay, great. Um, then, just try to be really smart about this because like, who? Oh, you know what we can do? One of us has a potion of fire resistance somewhere. We can have her throw that on to Asterion. Um, where's the fire resist? Where's the fire resist? Potion of sleep, uh, buh, buh, buh. potion of hill giant strength, potion of fire resistance, there we go. So she is going to take that and she is going to throw that onto our dear boy Asteria so he doesn't get immediately murked by this silly old situation that no one could have seen coming. It's not my fault. There we go. Hey! Wait, why is Asteria there and there? It's like a mirror image situation, huh? Wait, that's all it takes for the time to run out? It's literally timed even if I'm doing a spell? Situation? That's so weird. Is it superheated still? Maybe it's not like superheated until its turn and it has to like get back up. That's so weird. I actually hate that a lot. Um, okay. End turn, I guess. Okay, so it does get back up. As if my hands were full already. Okay, so it is back up. It's not superheated. So what I'm gonna do is this. Oh, it shows the last position the enemy was aware of. I see. Um, well, then, if arrows work for the lever, then I am going to go over here and shoot this right here. Oh, I don't have an action. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, beans. All right, Karlak. Now it's up to you, actually, again, which is kind of sucks because I didn't want you to have to do that. Immune to bludgeoning damage. Okay, because it's not superheated again, which is so weird to me. That's actually really weird to me, but okay. Am I doing something wrong? Like, why is it not superheated? Why is it not in the lava again? Oh, it's turn needs to start in the lava? I guess that's possible. Yeah, that makes sense. If you go for Scratch, I swear to God. Scratch, no! Okay, well, that sort of confirms it. He's a ghost in that way, so... He's not actually in the lava. He looks pretty in the lava. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. So, Starion, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and grab this and get the heck out of Dodge. Melting, great, fine. Um, dash movement. We're good. Oh, did he die? Did he die? He died. No, he didn't. Yes, he did, he's down. Oh God, no. That sucks a lot. Um, all right, I'm gonna hit him. Again, he doesn't do, doesn't get any damage from that. So I'm gonna pull him away into the lava for a minute that when he gets up, he's gonna try to hit us. 
Wow, even with this, um, even with this special little situation, this is tough. Is this Darian dead, dead? No, he's just melting. Um, wait, is he? Asterion is down. Okay, so Asterion is right there. I need to healing word Asterion. There we are. So now that's good. That's good. And he still has bless. Everybody has bless. That's good. We're, we're actually doing okay right now, I think. We got a lot of spell slots left for everybody. It's gonna be fine. Um... I think in the meantime, Karlak should probably try to shoot this guy. Well, that'll blow up Asterion. Great. Great. Okay, so it started its turn, but not in the lava. But now it's going to go to try to hit this thing. Seismic Wrath. That sucks. Okay. Oop. Into the lava you go, please. Don't quake Asterion. Oh, and it ruins his Bless and Bane because she got fully... Oh, my God. Okay. But here's the thing. Is this thing not superheated now? Okay, so now I have a question, y'all. And I am asking for backseat gaming here. He is clearly in the lava. He's got a full-on foot in the lava. It happens. It happens. It happened to him. Um, that's clearly what's going on. So why, then, is he not superheated? Does a turn have to pass this omen? May yeah, maybe that's the move. That would make sense to me. So, um, Starion is not down down yet, which is nice. I guess I have to hit this. He's got to stand there for a full turn. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. And tell you what, we're going to do, um, here's, here's a fun thing. We're going to do frenzy so that we're raging. <laughs> and then we're going to do, oh, I can't do enraged throw. No, I'm going to throw this thing at that thing Dewey, yeah nice that was a good move um all right so with my guy we need to help up shadow heart is that thing still is it still does it still have bane on it this bane is gonna be really important. okay so it doesn't still have bane on it we do need to cast bane on our next turn to fix that. Okay, once again, the lava is gone. Oh my God, Shadow Art is down again. That is wild to me. So I don't think this thing can, can this thing like attack that? No, I'm gonna keep using it as the thing that pulls him in, then it's its, I don't really know what to do at this point. This is really tough. This is really tough. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it very much. Um, the mall blow isn't going to do anything to it, so I think I do just need to teleport away and then hopefully still have the ability to hit this. I don't. I really don't. That's fine. And turn. Asterion um, was downed, so I think you should use a cunning action to disengage. Go back over here. Um... And then I guess I can't heal him as he is now, which is a bummer. Oh, it slammed its own buddy. Scarion is down again. I hate that quake thing. It's killing me. I mean, l quite literally. Um, so I think Karlak maybe should throw a big old healing potion at the boy. To get him back up here. There we go. He's back up. And I can actually use another throw, which is kind of cool. Or, you know what? No, I can shoot this thing. That makes sense to me. There we go. Now I can stop heating its dang metal. I can do an enraged throw. I'm so mad at Astarian. I'm healing him. I'm so mad. Oh, but it makes him prone because I hit him too hard with the heals? Damn it. That's so silly. Um, okay, here's here's what I'm gonna... <laughs> so stupid. Karlag and then Magma Method. I, I need to kill this thing, but if I do more damage, it's gonna hurt. 
Shadow Heart. Um, and I need to bane this guy so we don't all get wrecked immediately. I know, I hear you. Um, I wonder if I have like a bonus attack for him. So I'm gonna help. I don't need to help her up right now. Yes, I do. Help her up. If I have any bonus attacks. Pommel strike. It could do for damage. Let's go. Luck of the Far Realms. Boom, critical hit. That's what I needed. Now it also doesn't explode. I don't know why the other ones exploded. That really was silly. Oh, and I needed to turn on the lava. Okay. Um, 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 um. And I don't have anything from Asterion that can turn on the lava right now because I'm too far away to do a murder hit. Um, but you, you can, you can hit the lava valve. There we go. Lava, go! Oh my god! Son of a bastard! I feel so stupid for doing that. All right, well now you get him up, please. Healing word is a level one spell. That's so stupid. Oh my god. Um, all right, you know what? No, here's what we're gonna do. Everybody needs heals real bad, so let's do that. That was a bit silly. Yes, it was, Orca, thank you. I know. So this thing is again not superheated. It needs to be taking more damage first. Um so stupid. Slam on Magnum Method. Alright, great. Save failed. Now it's walking over there. No, don't walk over there. You don't want to do that. You straight up bastard. I hate this so much. It sucks. You can't hit her. The, the magma is too quick. If we are on turn-based things to the point where like we are fully not able to like, you know, time doesn't matter when it's turn-based, right? So why does it matter when we are dealing with something like lava? That's so silly to me. I actually kind of hate it. There we go. It's superheated now. It's superheated now. That's what you said. I didn't notice it, but you said it and that is correct. Said it and forget it. Um, all right, so I'm going to move Karlak. Where's the best place for Karlak to move? Karlak should move here. And now I need to enrage throw this club. Threat assessment, great. So Karlak is gonna come right here. And even if Karlak gets hurt by the thing, that's kind of just the way it goes, huh? Um, we only have so much dash. I'm gonna throw something again because why not? Um, this warhammer would be nice. Cool. Um, oh my god, we can do it again. Yeah, let's just keep throwing stuff at it. Kinda love that. It's doing it. It's doing it well. Oh, this caravan strong box, which doesn't have anything in it. Yeah, let's just throw it. Nice. Oh, this is all great. We're really doing the thing. Um, so I guess we don't have to worry now about um, that being. Hey, Deckard Games is raiding with a party of 400. What's up, y'all? How are you? Good to see you. Oh man, I know, I know we've known your community for a while. We've had a few raids for you ourselves, but I, I, it's been a minute. Thank you and welcome on in Deck Heart Games. How are you? What were y'all playing? I'm assuming maybe this because we're all kind of addicted and it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. We all just enjoy it. Everything's fine. Um, I'm curious, but welcome on in. I hope y'all had a fantastic, uh, fantastic stream. Um, if y'all don't know me, hi, my name is Damien. Oh, you're playing Uncharted. That's a... You know what? That's on the list. I never played Uncharted and I really, I know that I should. I never went to Obo Jabber. Um, no, that's really cool. So if you don't know me, I'm a voice actor. I'm a Twitch streamer. Um, I, you may also know me from the YouTube channel Smosh. Um, and what else? What else can I say about my life? It's so interesting that you always have to be like, here's my resume kind of as I'm talking to you for the first time. Um, 
but yeah that's me um i stream tuesday thursday sunday uh <laughs> i wish uh i wish i had cooler things to say right now right now we're doing probably the first boss fight in this game that like is not fully tied to just like beating something until it falls down which is so much of the stuff in this game um it is actually instead um we have to like get this guy to land on a certain platform and then we get to merc him and it's pretty cool um so yeah that's that's where we're at i hope you have a lovely day Aaron and are enjoying your time um evoke a healing energy that restores all your allies i mean i feel like karlak is about to get murked if we don't do this are you romancing anyone so vex the best we are romancing karlak she's just so wholesome and sweet Wholesome and sweet, sweet bean, human kind of tiefling. She's just nice. We like her. Um, let's heal everybody we know. Let's do that. That's a good idea. Car uh, deck. I almost called you Carlac Games. Deck Hard Games. Thank you again. It's very sweet to have you here, and I do so appreciate it. I do so appreciate it. All right, now the guys back up and tell you what. He's less than or equal to happy. He's gonna try to come for Carlac, but little does he know. Okay, so she fell down. We don't love that for her, but on the bright side, um, she's gonna be okay because she's not within murdering range. And I think he is. I think he is close enough to get murked by her, which is nice, very nice. So let me save my game real quick, just in case it's not. I don't wanna save scum this battle as best I can but like you never know um I'm gonna throw a bone at this forge lever yeah. wow throwing stuff doesn't work I really should have known that that was kind of silly of me I know that now oh it's not close enough that actually hurts my heart um all right so then here's what we'll do we're gonna have this we're gonna have this little guy this little um mall here go uh kabonk on him from here it knocks him back no it doesn't okay we're good we're good we're good um please be the most threatening one now um i'm also gonna have my wait what does this do again grant an ally plus two on persuasion checks that's kind of awesome i didn't realize we had that um i need to bane this man i need to bane this man like you better not bane me I wouldn't like it very much if you banged me. <laughs> well, too bad, you silly little beans. Bane. Bane, Bane, Bane. Oh, I just need to do the one. Done. Kiwi. Okay, he's, he got Bane. Oh. Uh, cool. Great. Awesome. Sick. Nice. Dope. Um, so, Karlak, you're still very much in danger. We don't love that for you. Um, and we can't really move her anywhere. I hate that. Um, Astarium. It's like, oh, yeah. Uh, is Astarium's new weapon better than the one we got? The Sword of Screams. Who needs a scream and blade when you got an adamantine scimitar? Which, wait, he's not proficient with it? Why? Why would I have done it? Why? But he is a sneaky little stabby boy. Why would a scimitar not be the move for him? Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Um, who cares? Everything's fine. Everything's so normal. And it's so normal how crazy normal I am. Um, then, tell you what, if Karlag is about to get murked, um, we might as well try to heal ourselves in preparation for keeping ourselves alive. Because uh, we're going to have to deal with that very soon. So let's just do another little healing out of a uh, Darien. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, there we go. Cool. Sneaky little stabby boy was my nickname in high school. Why, Potato Peach? Why? I'm a little concerned. You know I support you. A little concerned about, you know, that. This shouldn't, this shouldn't be the case for you. A little nervous about that one. <laughs> um, tell you what, maybe I should make another spooky spiritual weapon to do a murder on him, like, from there. And we'll use, like, uh... Nah, everything's fine. All right, we're just going to keep her sort of in place to keep everyone else alive later. Um, but she should definitely heal herself. 
Preserve life on. Yeah, us two is fine. Cool. Great. All right. She's frenzied. He's not happy. I need her to stay alive. Carlac, no. That was 27 damage. You poor thing. Oh, yep. Walk over there. Wait, is he not superheated anymore? You bastard. He's not superheated anymore. This is the most obnoxious boss fight of all time. All right. So you go do the button. Time to push do my the, luck again. Do the, that all right. You do a button over here. You turn him on for the murders. Ah, I hate this. So question, if he's knocked prone, ooh, oh, he is superheated. Oh, this is good. Starion, you know what to do. I think this might be it for us. I think this might be the move. Is he is very close to that thing. He's got a little toesy on there. That's enough. I think that's enough. Yes, yes. Oh, we did it. Oh, we're such pro elite gamers. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and everyone's alive and no one had a problem with it and everyone's fine. Look at us go. We get the germ skull helm. Attackers can't land critical hits on the wear. That's incredible. We have never, ever achieved an item like that in game. That's so cool. So Carlac needs to go pick up all of her spooky little fancy items. Or her heavy boys, as I like to call them. Um, that's great, which means now we can also get another fancy adamantine adamantine way upon if you are new here welcome on in obviously um and thank you for being here okay. if you're confused about anything i'm happy to explain and get you all caught up but for the most part things should be pretty straightforward we're doing a quest now where you know there's this legendary forge and ooh, you better use this forge and we're like that that sounds great um but um we learned that there's a big old guy that you know is guarding it and that's it he's a big old guy and we don't like that my guess um so that's where we're at um she's not proficient with heavy armor no one is proficient with heavy armor oh that's right she also dropped her weapon that was also a big part of everything i guess shoot um all right carlac you need to finally use your your cool battling weapon again to get your battling weapon away from you um i still can't believe that Asterians, this weapon is worse, but it is, tell you what, it is a light weapon, which means, no, but he can't use a scimitar. How, how do these things look different to you? The sort of screams and the scimitar, how, how do they look different to you? No. Ah. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Zariel is the only heavy army person. Okay, that's fine. Everything's so normal and chill. Um, all right. Time for us to once again do a different weapon in there. We chose, I think we chose medium armor would be best for all of us as a group. I think that's what we, uh, for start, before you made your first time. Nah, Haplu, I, that's not worth it to me. I don't want to do that. TBH, TBH, I just don't want to. I just don't even want to. Um, oh, we need to have a uh, Karlak do this. Nope. We need to have Shadowheart do this because she's the one with all the things. Uh, we wanted to do the um, scale mail because that is... Wait, is a splint medium armor? No, a scale mail is medium armor. Do you have to fight the thing every time? I, I really don't think so. Mithril, says Bahamutering. Um, did I... Wait, did I not bring the Mithril? Do I not have it? Splint is heavy. Okay, scale mail is whatever. Um... Me, do I not have the mithril? I gotta, have the, I gotta have the mithril. I gotta have my mithril. Splint is also armor, not medium. Says PWBK. Oh, it's not medium armor. This. Oh, got it. Got it. No, I hear you. I hear you. Let's check again. Do I have mithril? Nope. You have Mithril. Wait, I think Gale had the Mithril. Oh no. Gale had the Mithril. Asterion had the Mithril. We gotta go back to the camp again. Oh well. You know what? It allows us to. It allows us to do a little bit of a long rest, which is, you know, clearly needed. People used up their spell slots. It's fine. Mithril. Oh, is it spelled Mithril in game? Not Mithril. 
Um, Myth Bill. Nope. Okay, well, no one has it. Clearly, Gale has it. Or it's in camp. I hate it a lot. <laughs> Best be on my way. Let's be on my way. We need to be on my way. On my way. Um, Asterion, wait here. Um, oh my god, once again, I'm behind on tips. I just keep forgetting to read tips, and it's been like that for days. It is, I will say, um, yes. because I'm streaming at a different time, this is, um... <laughs> Darling, I will eventually have to take my uh, second dose of ADHD meds during the stream. Not a bad thing, but just a thing that needs to happen. Um, we got Lucy Voitko What's dropping five fleeping dollars. Thank you very much, Lucy Voitko. And Lucy says, and a quote, there's the mithril. Um, oh, I spelled mithril wrong every single time, but also that's okay. As turns out, we didn't have it anyway, and that's fine. All right, Gail, back you go. Go ahead. I'm and uh, Lucy Voitko says, today is my 30th birthday, and I'm glad I can celebrate with you. Yo, Lucy, 30th birthday, 30 is amazing. I am so I excited for you. And I know it's kind of like big and scary. So you know, when you think about it on paper, you're like, oh, 30, what a big number. It's a big deal. But really, I got great news for you. The 30s are way better than 20s. Something. You know, I don't have that much experience of being in my 30s, but it's great. It's really great. I mean, you you just learn so much about yourself. You grow so very much. You don't have to worry so much about what people think. It's, it's truly just a wonderful, wonderful experience. And so the reason I say this is I want to, you to give yourself the kindness of not having to worry so much about, um, you know, your age. Because guess what? Now you're 30, so you just sort of get to do whatever. You, once again, don't have to worry about like, oh, geez, I hope I don't. You're just, do you're doing great. You're doing great, and I'm stoked for you. So just enjoy it. You know, you are the age you are, right? Um, okay, Shield of Faith is one that I think I don't need at this point. Um, I want to pick something else that's been really good for... Oh, God, we have Animate Dead. We have Animate Dead, and that's kind of cool. Speak with Dead is also kind of important, and it is a ritual. Spirit Guardians is so good. And I know it's also a concentration spell, but it seems like we would probably benefit a lot from having it. I also think... What is Remove Curse? Remove Curse is a level 3... I think we would probably benefit from having a different spell in that vein. Old Person is going to be really good for us, I think. We'll do Remove Curse later. Old Person. Okay, so we got a few level 1s, a couple level 2s, and a couple level 3s. I think that's fine. I think that's a good amount for her. Great. Um, so now to sleep we go. Sleepy little beans we are. Auto select. Go. Nice. Ah. Uh. Rock by baby. Um, Lucy Voidko, happy birthday. We have got Pink Nokia dropping 10 flippin' dollars. Thank you very much, Pink Nokia. I appreciate you oodles. Appreciate you oodles. Um, and Pink Nokia said, wait, hold on. What have, what have I never used as this guy? I've never used improvised melee weapon as a bard. I don't think I'm going to use it because I just, I just want to switch out these two. Oh, wait, not throw. I do use throw. Um, I'm gonna switch out these two so it doesn't matter that there's that little missing part there. Great. Leave camp. All right. Um, Pink Nokia says, I start university tomorrow and I'm so excited and nervous, but this is such a nice way of relaxing for my last free weekend. Always greatly appreciate the little chats in the beginning. Pink Nokia, first of all, thank you so much. You are a Nokia, which means you're literally indestructible. So good for you. You're gonna be just fine. Um, I guess this is, this is life advice time, right? Or, you know, age related advice. So again, starting college definitely feels like, oh man, I'm starting college. What does this mean for me? Is everything going to be different? What do I do? College is great. College is great. And again, I, um, I only went to college for a little bit. Like I'm certainly not the most collegiately educated lad. Um, but what I want to remind you of is that unless someone comes in with a big group of friends and they're, you know, it's their hometown and a lot of people go there, they already know, you're all kind of starting on the same page. And like whatever kind of, you know, issues that you had in college or in high school, rather, where people judged you a certain way or you dressed a certain way because you felt like you had to, 
you can always be who you want, but now especially, you get to sort of have this blank slate, and you get to be a more, you know, uh, earnest version of you if you feel like you weren't doing that before, right? And so I think that's pretty flippin' cool. Um, so that being said, just remember everybody's in the same boat. Nobody really knows what they're doing. Everybody's making new friends, you know, in a way that they didn't expect before. Oh, do we have to turn on the lava for this? Okay, then I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna make the mage hand do that because um I don't want everybody to have to go like walk into the lava. Go turn the lava valve. You did it. Lava is a thing now. Oh god, wait. Oh, okay, I was like shadow heart. Don't you dare. What's melting? That's melting. Great. Um. And now I can swap to this here. And no one's gonna step in the water lava on their own, right? And now we have adamantine scale mail. That sounds really good. We're gonna really like that. It's gonna be sick. How do you do in this game? Asks Duck. Uh, we do quite well on this day. Thank you. Yeah, Mage Hand useful for once, right? He's like, did I do good? Like, yes, Mage Hand, you did good. You really did, don't you worry. You want me to throw this man? Yeah, I, mm, kinda, yeah, I guess. Throw it, throw it, you can do it. I did it! Good job, mage hand. Um, <laughs> and now my work here is done. Yes, it is, mage hand, you sure got it. Um, all right, we got the adamantine, adamantine scale mail. Let's take a look at what that does. So that's an armor class of 16, which is incredible. All incoming damage is reduced by one. When a melee attack hits you, the attacker is sent reeling for two turns. Um, attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. Advantage on stealth checks. Man, armor was the way to go. We should have made that in the helm instead of the scimitar. I mean, lesson learned. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Scratch that. Reverse it. I wonder if I can put that sword into the crucible to be melted down as the the... The weapon, you know what I mean? Because that might be kind of cool. Carlock is also currently using medium armor. I think she would benefit so much from a proper plate mail. The shield is also so good. Oh, man, I mean, that would have been great. I guess I shouldn't have gone for the sword. But you know what? We, we made the choice we made. I'm definitely not going back. Yeah, now Carlock has a 70. And look at our, look at our girl. Girl, you looking good right now. Look at her go. I try it, says Darjez. Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. Let's see if that'll happen. First of all, mold, mold ejection lever. Scale mail mold, great. So Starion, can you put into the crucible? And I really hope you can. It would, you know what? They do a lot of things in this game that you're just like, oh, that was interesting. I'm assuming you could. Can I? Oh, my heart, that sucks. Okay, so last question I'll ask for the sake of backseat gaming. I obviously can't do that now. We found two pieces of mithril. Is there any more mithril in game? Because that was really cool, and I really love that we were able to do that. You put a character in the crucible? I wouldn't. Man, look at our Karlak. You're so fancy right now. You may not get stealth checks or anything, but I'm okay with that. There's no more mithril in the whole game. Oh, that sucks. What a shame, but that's okay. We'll find other cool weapons and armor later. We're not generally hurting for better weapons and armor. It doesn't look like there's anywhere else I can go around this area. So I think I'm just gonna use the platform control and go back up and then we'll continue on the game. All right, yeah, we did. Um, Karlak, are you able to yeet this guy into the sun? Too heavy to throw? Okay, fine. Are we able to like just scoot him here? We can't scoot him. Ah, I just wanted to yeet him into the lava. That's too bad. Where'd you find the two, asked Sugar Iris. So there's one on the path down here when you get to the stairs. If you like hop off to the left, you can sort of see it on the wall. And then there's another one that is, um, before you get to the stairs, there's a platform to the right with a bunch of angry skeleton guys. Um, if you sort of go down and around there where it looks like maybe you're not supposed to go, but you totally can, um, then you can uh, find another spot there. Look at, look at the drip we've all got here now. I've also, I think I'm itching for some like extra goodies. I wanna go somewhere I'm not supposed to go yet in game and just pickpocket something off someone or like command someone to drop something. You know what, we do need to have, um, we need to have Shadowheart learn command. 
Because again, that's always like a low success, but you're able to... Oh, everybody failed nature check. Okay, so the lava is popping. The lava is popping. Um, dangerous for us. So when it says ready to burst, I guess that's our time to like not let ourselves get murdered. I'm, I'm curious how we get past all this. I guess from here I could jump to over there and that's nice. And then Damien could misty step because clearly there's some goodies over there. Oh, but that's the end of the path. So you know what? We should probably just send one very nimble person and ungroup to do it. So I'm going to try that. Let's go. Let's go send one brave hero named me to try to get on over here. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted. Am I not able to go any further than that? Farther, I guess. Oh, that's also a lava elemental. That guy's a hater. Um, tell you what, let's pull focus to over here. Lug of the far realms, let's do a critical hit. Boom. It's not as good as I wanted it to be. So now he'll come over to us so we don't have to fight him in the lava. Cause I'm assuming it's something like that. He could probably, he's probably super fine against, um, he, pro he probably gets healed by lava. Um, regain. Okay. He regains hit points when starting a turn in lava. So we know that's a thing. We do know that's a thing. Um, end your turn. Come on, Shadowheart. You guys can enter too, for sure. Join your battle. Everybody has initiative of zero. Great lava. Okay, so now he's creating his own way to survive. That's not great. Can we hold him as a person? He's not a humanoid. That still hasn't benefited us yet. I do hate that. Um, all right. I want to bless everyone. That's going to be a good way to start. One, two, three, four. Oh, target too far. Come on, man. Um, all right. Well, then I need you to go over here. Can you bless to him right there. Target too far. They're fine. So I'll go right here. So bless, if you don't know, allows you to... You're more likely going to hit on your attacks. You're more likely going to do... Um, you know, succeed on all your, like, wisdom checks. It's just a general little boost to you in this entire in the entire game too many lava creatures they need to you know chill out well i will say this um <laughs> orca we are kind of on their turf um emma dackers is dropping 10 12 thank you very much emma dackers i appreciate y'all have been very generous just lately in general but today it too thank you very much um well, let's see what this person is uh, uh they don't do great against well, they definitely can't be hit with fire. Um, they don't do great against cold. So I guess any of my murder sticks that I cast are going to be fine against them. So um, let's do... Spectral Maul, Spectral Great Axe. They all do the same damage. I'm assuming a Maul is going to be better on this. The bludgeoning. Boom. Do you have any cold arrows? Imp in my head asks. I think we do still have one left over, actually, that I was saving... For just such an occasion. Just such an occasion. Hysterian, do you have the cold arrow? No. Yes. Um, we also need, like, icy bombs of some kind. We have so many, like, poisony things. I forget. Poison for you? How do you feel about that poison? Do you like it? He's got huge poison resistance. Not a good thing for him at all. Um, send to camp. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Smoke powder bomb does force damage. Maybe that's what we should do. But again, he is in, um, he's in lava right now. So it's not really going to help us until he leaves that lava. So maybe we should try to like pull focus over here a little bit. I'm going to do a little sneaky little sneak attack and shoot him. Actually, we have, we have three people's turns before it's his turn right now. So hunting action hide. Okay, didn't work. Great. So Karlach. Again, I don't want her to run right up to him because that's going to be a lot of damage. And he is currently in the lava. So I'm going to have her throw. Hmm. I mean, the world is our oyster here at this point. We got so many things to just throw at him. Okay, it's not great. Did that hurt my spiritual weapon too? That's actually really funny to me. Um, well, sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Sorry it hit you, bud. Um, let's, let's throw another Warhammer. 
I just like that Carlax whole thing right now is like, get him! Oh, I just hit the my own hammer. Well, that's always happening. Um, all right, I'm gonna have him. I don't want him to scoot too much. Concussive smash. Here he goes. Two e and it missed. And now we go over here. Oh, I hope it doesn't hit us. Oh, but it did. Now I'm gonna try again. You better not be right here and get to us in the lava. Oh no! I hope nobody hits it. Okay, so now I'm going to bane this guy, so he has less of a boost on his on his stuff. Bane. So he's also going to be just hurting in general. Throw an apple at him. It is a poison apple. I would otherwise love to do that, but he's immune to the poison stuff right now. Um, and turn. Great. Oh, he just explodes. Oh, that's a whole thing for him. Okay, okay. Saddle heart. Uh, can you survive? Oh, she did not uh, survive any of that. So that's going to be a problem for me. Um, let me do a quick search and see ice arrow arrow of ice. Where are you arrow of ice is on me? So I'm gonna split that um, Split the arrow of ice. I'm gonna have a Starion use one of the arrows of ice Maybe he uses both arrows of ice that would be beneficial for me and for us. That's what we'll do now um, Oops, I can I can say oops Tiana your tip has not been read. I'm definitely behind um, so Emma Dacker is dropping 10 12 saying I hope you're doing well I haven't been able to catch the stream live for a week or so but knowing I could join today has kept me going. I'm really glad to hear it. And again, I really wanted to stream the past couple of days. I'm really, I'm really sorry about that, y'all. Um, uh, got some bad news and working through all the emotions that come with it. Very tired, but happy to be here and thank you. I am sorry to hear that. It is, it's not an easy thing to get news like that. I obviously don't know exactly what your circumstances are, but like, it sucks. It does suck. Um, and I am sorry to hear it. Um, here's hoping that you end up feeling a little bit better very, very soon. He saved on the arrow of ice. Ugh. And now I don't get this bonus attack because I'm not doing the two weapon fighting stuff. I think I have to switch weapons back from the Sword of Screams. Like that's not, that's not great. Um, Karlak. Also, what if you also had the arrow of ice? Wouldn't that be so cool for you if you did? Wouldn't you love that, that we can just do that? Actually, you know what? Carlac is close enough. I think we just need to like start attacking properly. Carlac can definitely do this, like for realsies. All right, so we are going to rage. Go on, rage, Carlac. You got this. Do the battling, and now we can do a reckless attack. That's a huge attack. Boom, 17 damage. We can do another uh, lacerate, which is piercing attack. Or does extra uh, damage on him unless he's immune to bleeding, which he is, and I should have known that, and everything's fine. This thing can fly to like right here and then attack him, I think. There we go. Boom, got him. And so then he does have another turn after me. So my character needs to take down 35 points of damage on him. Otherwise, he's going to try to heal up. Oh, wait a minute. I can use Tasha's hideous laughter. If that works, then he's stuck and knocked prone and he's not going to be able to lava himself. That might be the move. Let me just make sure there's nothing else I need to do instead. So mobile flourish could do up to 24 damage. And then I could do something else on top of that. But realistically, right now, I should probably just do normal stuff. I'm going to try to do... Yeah, I hear you. You're not doing great. I know. Um, I'm going to try to do Tasha City's Laughter. Let's try. Let's go. Three, two, one. 80% chance. Woo! He's down. He's knocked prone, which means every time he tries to get back up, it's going to take a minute on his turn. Okay. So now he's back up and he's not, he's he made lava how does that happen now i legit i'm so mad seven damage this sucks oh my god okay carlac let's try that again you can totally do this you can um Prepare and do a frenzied strike and then a, and a weapon strike. This is all gonna be fine. He made that lava. I know Carlac can, or not Carlac. Um, I know um, Shadowheart can definitely use water to like calm that arm down, but like, reckless attack, let's go. 
That's a lot of damage. We're gonna do frenzied strike is oh wait. Um how many extra attacks do we have? Frenzy strike is a bonus action, so we'll do a main hand weapon attack first. Boom, that's a lot of damage. Finally, frenzied strike. Let's go. So much damage. Karlak, you know we love you. You're our girl. Um, this thing can go bonk bonk. Critical miss. That's awesome that that happened. And now we're back to me. So knocking it prone really didn't do a damn thing. So what I need to do is do a ranged flourish. So, wait, so does ranged flourish allow me to do it twice? It doesn't. So that's not great. And now Karlak is having a bit of a hard time, which is, yeah, it's understandable. Um, and it is back to being full health once again. So I got to do something about this. Hold on. Um, Karlak is having a hard time. I need to throw something to get her up. I wonder actually if there is a way to throw water on this situation. Arrow of lightning. I mean, all these things can be really beneficial later. I'm just trying to like, realistically, I should have just taken it out in one turn if at all possible. I know that's kind of like the obvious move, but still. Karlak is up and she is literally melting and that's not great and we don't love that. That's just kind of how it has to be. Um, Let's do once again so it's Karlak, Shadowheart, this thing, Damien, and then the Lava Elemental. So again, theoretically, I can do this. So Lava Elemental. Its Bane is now gone too because I made it prone, which kind of sucks. Um, it's kind of a huge bummer. Yeah, see, that was a miss. I mean, that's all it takes for us. Um, so she can't do the water thing right now. Um, so here's what I'm going to have her do. I need her to disengage. Oh, she can't disengage. Um, God, this actually super sucks. Does she have water to throw? Do any of us have water to throw? Water of any kind. Search. I have some. So we're going to split this. We're going to give one to her. Two to her. Um, I am assuming potentially that if we throw water on this thing, what's up, Kiana? Good to see you. Welcome on in. Y'all, Kiana, the artist extraordinaire is here. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, so let's see here. I think water is going to help us maybe potentially. So then what I would do is as an extra action, I'm going to drop water on the ground like right next to us flip to one and then i'm gonna have it just sort of like land right there oh whoop. oh i didn't realize dropping it would just do that that actually is great i think that helped hold on it is less resistant to lightning so we also have a lightning arrow kiana the boss that we were um playing against last time that we had such trouble with uh we we took care of it uh, let's just say it's uh, taken care of uh, let's just say we did a little murder at it <laughs> why don't we just you know say that so now this thing is knocked prone because of all the worder which is great which means it might behoove us to once again do fancy damage on it or do bane because it is knocked prone and it is reeling oh it's reeling so what does reeling mean? Because we don't know what this means yet. So let's see. Examine. What does reeling do? Uh, recovering from receiving a terrible blow or hitting a strong metal has n minus one penalty to attack the damage. All right. I think you should murder this one. You know what, Kiana? We were going to try to make friendships with it, but I think you're probably right. Let's do a little bit of murder. Bane. Let's go. No extra targets. Murder. Bane. Oh, it got Bane. Nice. Again, for anyone who doesn't know, Bane makes it a lot more difficult for this thing to land attacks on us. It just does altogether worse on our... God dang it. Uh, opportunity attack. Yeah, obviously. Um, we're going to be doing a Warcaster thing because it's... 
Yeah, because it's a, a, allergic to electricity right now. How does it get 17 turns? I don't love that. All right, so here's what I'm going to do now. Carlac is going to drop this Birdle of Worder, as we said that we can do. She has water too, right? No, is she the one person we didn't give water? Great. Um, so then Astarion is instead going to give us some water. I'm going to give her a little bit of water. It's amazing how useful water is in this game and how little it's been on hand. I think they maybe gave it to us like in the very beginning. God, I can't believe it's trying to heal up again. Um, I think they gave it to us in the very beginning. And then since then, I've just been like, oh yeah, oopsie. I sold it all and now I can't use it. Why do we not? I literally just put it in my inventory. Or did I not? Did I not do that? Is that a funny little trick that I played on myself? I'm always doing tricks. You know what I mean? There it is. Yes, yeah, so we do have it. Great. Um, there it is. Uh, I'm just going to drop this. There we go. So it does do damage to him. That's amazing. So now, time for him to get murked. I mean, this, this whole area is really teaching us how to do proper attacks in this game, right? Because I've been doing everything very, like, basically. Like, I guess I'll hit it till it falls over. And now it's like, oh, actually, maybe I should start uh, murdering it with everything I've got and boosting myself with other characters whose whole thing is, hey, I'm here to boost them. Um, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to do a sneaky little attack, and I'm going to do it with this arrow of lightning because I know now that it takes damage from the lightning because I made it all weird. And I will absolutely miss Carlac. Miss her with that arrow. Miss twice? I've never been angrier. How far in the game are you? So Kiana, we've spent a lot of time. It's been like 50 hours, um, but I'm taking such my sweet time um, that I am like nowhere near what other people could be at. Um, I am like, oh great, now she can create water, cool. Oh, this is what we should be doing. Enemies protect you. They take radiant damage and their movement speed sucks. Um, but it's concentration, so let's go. Um, I would have them take radiant damage. I think it's probably better. Um, these guardians can really save your patoot. Yeah. Um, awesome. And now we're going to group heal everyone just in case. Click confirm. Nice. Okay, great. So yeah, we're still in act one. Um, I'm just playing the absolute hell out of it because I don't want to miss out on anything, you know? You know? Fly, my babies, fly. Um, thank goodness it is my turn next and we still have a chance to kill this lava element. <laughs> Only 12 damage left on that lad. Great, then here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save because it's very possible I could screw this up, but I think I think we can do a ranged flourish. I think we can do it. Let's go. 95% chance to hit. It's only got three. Oh, that's a spiritual weapon. Oh, that was very close. 12%, 12 damage left. We can really do this. No! Oh, it doesn't die yet. Oh, is there anything I can do? Oh, cause it's gonna heal itself back up on this next turn. I might reload. I might save scum this y'all. I, we, I can't I can't do this again. It's back up to 75. I can't I can't do it. I can't I have to save scum this. I'm so sorry. I know a lot of y'all are gonna lose your respect for me. I got I gotta do it. I gotta do it. It had 13 health left. We did everything right. I'm excited to move on to the next part of this game. I just want to do that. I just want to do that. Um, let's see. Hey, so Chelsea XAZ dropping 25 flipping dollars, you generous mother goose. Thank you very much. Um, saying, um, donated to the Maui link in chat as well as got the approvals from work on my match request for previous charities. Hell yeah, Shot I, thought I'd share the news. Chelsea XAZ, I really appreciate that. That's really nice. It's it's also nice to know that like, you know, you, you have tipped me very generously previously, which is very nice and don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. But it's also really cool to see you then put some of that toward the charity that we linked to. Um, I think that's awesome. I think that's really cool and I appreciate you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did it just do the exact same amount of damage you did before? Okay, 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 here's what we do. Here's what we do. Um, here's, here's what we do, here's what we do. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this. It's gonna be fixed, everything's gonna be fine, everything's fine. It did less, I think. Yeah, it did, le it did one less damage. 
which I'm uh, livid about. But Chelsea, thank you very much for the tip. I really appreciate you. Breathe, says TR9. But that's the crazy thing. It does anywhere from 8 to 24 damage. So, like, doing 12 damage to thing, this thing, you got a 50% chance to do that much. So, so why is it so little? Oh. Because it does extra damage to burning targets. You know what? I wonder if there's a way I can safely do my physical damage to it. I'm going to safely do that. Um, you know what? I'm going to do my actual uh, normal murder here. Time for us to do defensive flourish melee. 90% chance to hit. We're going to hit it this time. Boom. It is going to explode when we kill it. I think it explodes when we kill it. That was such little payoff for what we did. Also, why? Oh, why'd that happen? Oh, he's just on fire. Yeah, that'll happen. Got it. He's still on fire too. That's it's gonna happen again. Yeah, that'll happen for sure, for sure. So it only gave us 50 XP. Okay, so he's dead now. Cool. Back up, back up. Here you go, buddy. You're good. You're golden. Maybe we should have him not be on fire anymore. Maybe we can do that. 34 damage. Why? Sorry for the language. Sorry for the loudness. Um. Okay, so there's just a lot of lava over here, and we just got to get them to move. Um. All right, Carlac, up. Everybody, get up. All right, so here's what we do now. God dang it. We have Karlak grab Shadowheart, and then Shadowheart goes over here immediately. We are Shadowheart now, and then we go, woo, we're over here. Look at us go. Okay, now, now we get Damien Beckett. That was so silly. What a silly, goofy move. Great. That was pretty silly. So the whole battle was pointless? Well, not necessarily, no, because... We did want to get over here somehow, and I was going to have to do that as like a solo thing because Damien, uh, the character Damien can teleport. Not the real one. <laughs> That'd be a move that no one, you could never tell anyone about. Um, and so in order to even get past these guys, we would have been in a lot of trouble. Um, I would not have been able to get over there safely by myself. You know what I mean? So I'm going to ungroup. And I'm going to do a little jumpy jump. I'm going to do my little dancey dance. How much XP, XP do we actually get? 50. Not a lot, but it's something, you know? Yeah, how much can I actually go over here? There we go. Where can I jump? Not enough space, not enough space, not enough space. Uh, minus one HP and you're prone. I mean, that's more or less fine. There we go. Okay, cool. So we're over here now. I think we can jump straight over to here, but I'm also curious what might be over here. I mean, this looks like something could be dug up potentially and there's a skeleton over there i mean skeletons that die in lava usually have lots of good treats we know that that's video game law that's video game law right there i'm gonna jump right there anything over here oh um, Amer american halberd very interesting i'm just gonna jump from thing to thing that's a fancy halberd one of our characters to definitely use that see that's why you explore over here there could be so many goodies for us to partake in. Why are you going in the lava? Damn it. Dude. I wonder what Why? All right, Karlak. Show him, show him what time it is. Got his death saving throws over there. Give him some of that heal. Too far. Can't reach target. God dang it, dude. That's stupid. Like a fart and dumb as a butt. Are you able to healing word him from here? No. All right. Well, got to keep Got his death saving throws going on. Um, I'm also gonna ungroup you. Maybe you jump over here, Karlak. How far can you heal the boy? There we go. There we go. Back up he is. Thank you. I, I, do, I do very much wish that if there's like a path that doesn't involve jumping in goddamn lava. Sorry, excuse my language. All right, Shadowheart, you know what time it is. You gotta help out the boy again. Here he goes. Ah, so funny. Immediate death? So I'm just so I'm just stuck in lava forever now. That's the whole thing. Come on, get out, 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 get out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get out, get out, get out. Okay, there he goes. Can Carlac maybe Ungroup. Can maybe she lift him out of the lava before we revive him? Is that the thing we have to do now? No, he's proper dead now, which means we have to revivify him. 
but it's not worth it to revivify him until he gets pulled out of the lava. And we can't pull him out of the lava. Uh, I hate that so much, actually. It's kind of funny how much I do. Ah, there's Shadowheart. No, god damn it. Th there's gotta be a way that they're just like, oh yeah, you can just jump straight from there. There we go. If this skeleton doesn't have the most. It's two gold! I'm a little mad. It's funny how fine everything is. Lava's making me stressed. Yeah, that was stupid. I, I will say this is supposed to mimic D&D. So if a DM did that to me where I'm like, I cross the gorge, they're like, you step into the lava. Mm, sorry, you didn't say that you didn't want to step into the lava. <laughs> I'm just like, what? Revivify. Uh, so Nick, that is, um, you actually get to like heal a character from death if they are like proper dead. Like as long as it's a fresh dead guy, brand new dead guy just dropped, um, then you're fine. Ooh, an adamantine chest. Ooh, this might be worth it. This might be a thing that's worth it. But it is locked, so we're gonna we're gonna pick that up. We're gonna bring it back to Astarian, who's way better at the lock pickings. I do want her to explore and see what else we can find. There could be other goodies. There could be other goodies. Oop, there's a skeleton down there. Yeah, there could definitely be goodies over there. There is a place to stand down here. I'm curious if that's gonna be anything. Um, it's definitely worth looking at for sure. I just like, I really wanna explore everything I can in this game until it's time to like say goodbye to it. I'm not, it, we're so far from that. All right, uh, Karlak, can you jump to over here? Yes, but it will make you prone. I say it's worth it. She can get that health back. Let's try it. Yeah! Ugh. Aim for the bushes. Why not? All right, Carlac, you good? Walk it off. I know you broke both your shins, but you're okay. Adamantine key. Oh, well, then there you go. We don't even have to use the... Uh... We can just open up that chest. What do you got here? What's in the chest? Uh oh The amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the This game is so cool. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. Ah, can thou endure? Didn't we just fight, or didn't we just get rid of like break the curse from? uh Because I was like, when are we gonna use that from? um uh, Shadow Heart, that's so silly. Either give in to the laughter or talk to it. I can fight the urge with wisdom, which she doesn't get a big boost to, or I can use barbarian skill plus wisdom, so I get an advantage because I'm a barbarian, where it says, kill the mirth, resist. I mean, that's kind of sick. We got this. I think we can do it. We have advantage. 16, baby, we're good. Kill the mirth. Sheer unbridled You're just so pissed. Your veins, obliterating the earth to laugh thou hast a will for what is a laugh if not one step toward madness <laughs> thou art the does that mean only only Carlac can use it oh take me home and thou shalt grow with blessings I wonder where home is for him return you where to whom oh wait this is Carlac so she's like return you where I'm just kidding um to my granddaughter, Shira Clavin serves ill martyr she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there. Okay, we haven't been to Worms Crossing yet. We might as well bring it along. Sure, sounds like a quest to me. I also don't trust him even a little bit, like even kind of. Um You feel a chuckle coming on. But like, but you know. Fades. So it gives us shatter. We can we can talk to the amulet as a class action. It allows us to restore our key. So we we keep getting really good items for monks. Uh, it, the game is basically like, hey, we knew a lot of you would not pick monk. Maybe you can though. Maybe if you try, if you try, if you just try it, you should try monk. Like that's clearly what's going on here. Um, okay, so going this route doesn't lead to anything except there's a skeleton over there, which we threw into the lava, so we know that there's nothing really special about that. 
Um, it's a it's a monk though. Monks are super honest. Not when he's like that guy. Like, look, we all have different life experiences. I'll just say this. I've never been trapped in an amulet and waited for someone to have to come along to rescue me and then potentially tried to take over their brain with laughter. You know what I mean? So, like, that's kind of a whole thing. That's kind of like a whole thing to me um, that leads me to believe that maybe, just maybe there's something off about him. And, you know, like, cool. You know, everybody's got, everybody's got their thing. You know, everyone's got some stuff. But, like... A little suspicious. Okay, so now Karlak doesn't have the ability to get back. So, because Damien is dead, we might end up doing a long rest anyway. Because I have to have uh, Withers revive him at this point. So, let's just have... Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, where did you go? Are you on... You're in the lava, dude. Why? How is this okay? How is that okay? That's what's Okay. I was just saying, let's try to beat someone else here. Um, okay, so Karlak, you can also search for a couple things over here. You've got some strengths. You've got some jumps. I do want to see what it what, what is going on underneath that uh, spooky little little hovel that we were in. I wonder if we can go around here. No, there's a chasm. It tells me specifically I can't go through. But yeah, I'm curious what goes on under this little area. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Obviously, that was a whole thing to try to deal with. Uh, don't go in the lava before jumping, you dumb mother father. Okay, I was like, if you end up dying too, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay, everyone's back to being alive, except for my guy. Um, cool. So, Karlak, Karlak, I need you to jump down here. You will be pro- I hate the camera so much sometimes. It really is pretty rough. Okay. Down here, we're good. He's prone, but it's okay. Let's get on with it. Now, what is through here, I wonder? Oh, no, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's literally just nothing. Okay, cool. So here's what we do. We're going to go back to camp for a long rest. <laughs> you cannot fast travel right now. Why? Why can I not fast travel? Does anyone know why that may be? There we go, because everyone was on group. There we go. Okay, so this guy's real dead. Um, Shadowheart, can you bring him back with the help of Withers? Withers does a whole resurrection situation. Ooh, we're gonna need that. Ooh, we're gonna need a little bit of resurrection. Maybe it should be nice if you could. Withers isn't here? Hey, why is Withers not here? Oh, there you go. I bet it is a talking. Okay, I hope it's not too expensive. I know you, it costs money to like revive someone. Then thou must return. This is the price of balance. Two hundred is not so bad. Well, can. Okay. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. The <laughs> You left me in lava! I know, I know, it sucks. I'm sorry. Um, the Metagon Halberd. So, okay. So, I can't believe we survived, sort of. Um, that's pretty cool, right? We can all agree that that's pretty cool. Um, I guess I don't need nine candles. <laughs> Normal bottles, just a bunch of bones. I have not needed any of these books. I guess I can get them from camp later when I do. Um, I can also finally get rid of these, um molds because clearly if there's no more mithril in game what am i even doing now i will say what we didn't do is call in the orcs which i really wanted to do because they have a really good item to uh take if one of them dies or if one of us sort of helps with that situation wink blink um so you know that's a whole thing is the thing i got from the adamantine forge at least good on um, the Damien character? You know what we could do? You know what we could do is, um, there is a different form of bard that uses two weapon fighting as opposed to the one. So eventually there could be better, like, two-handed weapons for us. You know? That could be a whole thing. I suppose. Why can't I pick all these things? It's in the camp, I guess. Oh, it's holding down the wrong thing. Oops. 
Um, all right, cool, 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 cool. Camp. You should send these throwables to camp. We don't need them right now. So that, yeah, that amulet is kind of cool. Sentient amulet. So someone could be wearing it and just talking to it. And the absolute talisman, we haven't used Astarian's like absolute powers really ever. So maybe Astarian would be the one to listen to it and talk to it. We also haven't used the iron flask. You know what might be kind of fun? You know what might be kind of crazy? There is a spot in the Underdark. There's a spot in the Underdark where a uh, beholder or an observer or a watcher, whatever the kind of thing is, is the enemy with a big one eyeball and a bunch of tentacles, whatever. Um, there is a spot where they um, pop up out of nowhere and it became a real problem for us and they killed us almost immediately. I, what we could do potentially is call in the ogres to fight. It's a spectator, okay. Call in the ogres to fight it and then also bring in the own our own iron flask which has something hiding in it and then we could just get experience for days just having uh, three enemies fight each other and whoever's left is who we fight um let's see here um i'm once again very behind with things everybody please give a spicy clever coop welcome to highly and b gifted by tiana thank you very much tiana we got wildflowers garlic puddles shimuri uh just loafing around uh mojo bombadil uh, and then Deckard Games, gifted by Genocide Official. Thank you for doing that. And then Koinu17, The Real Meep, and Kirkchild. Welcome to y'all. Thank you for that. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna try that. It, it's There's no guarantee for it to work. It might be kind of a stupid idea. But I still kind of want to give it a shot. All right, so now that I've done also the, um, the Adamantine Forge and actually used the Forge, um, I know there's like a door that we wanted to bust through. No, we did bust through it. We did that. Um, I'm just curious like what else there is for me to do there or if I should continue on with story stuff Like now that I've gotten the cool weapon and everything beaten that boss and everybody else in the forge is dead Are we good to go? Ooh, there's an exclamation point. What do you want scratch? What do you want boy? Dog wags his tail a small bag clenched between his teeth. Oh, I didn't um do speak with animals. I need to speak with animals Um What's that dope helmet? Yeah, that's true. Hold on my mind. Um, well, in it. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Oh, already he can't speak. What have you got there, Scratch? Oh, it sounded like money. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. That's him. That's very sweet. So yeah, am I um, am I good on that area for now? I'm honestly asking y'all. Oh, he gave us a bone. That's that's really nice. That's really nice, buddy. Thank you. That was very, hey, very thoughtful. You know, it, that's very thoughtful of you. Um, I'm gonna send all these to Astarian. I think these are all gonna be better. Um, I. That's all the forge has to offer. Okay, so we finished the forge, y'all. That's actually really exciting. Pretty cool. Um, okay. There is another Mithra or Is that right, the Mad Bomber Man? Are you sure? Because most people were saying there is only two. It's in the path going down to the to the forge. So, Mad Bomber Man, we did find two, and we did find two in the path going down to the forge. I think... I don't know if you're just... Okay, there's two total. So, yeah, we did find two. We do have two, and we used them both. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, well then, let's go do... What do we want to do first? What do we want to do first? I kind of want to... Just because we've been in the Underdark for so long, I kind of want to go back to, like... Not the mic in the colony. Cellunite Outpost is, like, right where it is. I kind of just want to try that. I know it's silly. I know it's silly. But I want to do battles. Isn't there six molds, says Truce Jellica? Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much at this point, unfortunately. Fortunately, because we did, we did, uh, you know, use up all the mithril, which is what that's used for. So, um, I'm going to cast Featherfall on my people so we can all just jump down easy peasy. No problem. Um, we, everybody join me. We, we petrified drow. Awesome. We got it. Oh, I guess you can just run down like normal. I mean, I guess if that's what you want to do. Oh, well, okay. So this is where um, this beholder thing happened before. Oh my God. 
Hey, this stupid little bush. Well, hello. Oh, hello. Mm, Astarian, darling. Mm. Yes, well, you see. Um, and I know there's one here that's supposed to be actually alive. Unless fast traveling it made it die, as it did with other things. Um, Dragon Egg Mushroom, uh, Dragon Egg Origins, um, Dragon Egg Inquisition, um, Cragged Rock. I'm going to go ahead and enter this area, and hopefully we don't just get murdered right away, because it did... It did petrify us before, which is kind of tough. Featherfall is now off. Okay, man, that's a fast 10 minutes in game. Yeah, that's a whole thing. That's going to be a whole thing. Um, Space Cadet gets, gifting us up to Alistair Thrice. Thank you very much for doing that. Appreciate you. We also got uh, LM Rit dropping six, six, six bucks, bucks, bucks. Thank you very much, LM Rit. Saying a couple days ago, I found out that I got a new job that I get to start very soon. And finally, I have a set day for when I get my braces off. My luck is starting to turn around and I'm happy, excited. Uh, enjoy your day. I am very stoked for you. And that's truly, truly wonderful. I am starting a new job, especially when you've been in a situation of like, God, I need a job. Like, that's just so cool. Um, so congrats. And also, I never had the experience um, of braces, but I can only imagine that it is just a, such a huge game changer to not have to worry about that right now. Okay. Petrified Ray on Damien. So Damien is uh, completely paralyzed. Now this thing just sort of gets to keep going. That's always cool. Love that for me. And now it's in death stage. That's awesome. I love that for me. Um, are you not our friend? Dude, this person sucks. Darn. Um. So what can I... Dude, why does no one else get to go? Like, every new person that pops up, like, is this just like a legendary action thing where it just keeps to keep going? Because I... It's weird to me that I can't, um, can't do anything for anyone. Um, characters that, yeah, what am I supposed to do? Isn't everyone else in combat now? Okay, so Asterion is. All right, so here's what I need to do then. I'm gonna try this. This is gonna be our Pokemon battle mode, okay? Um, I think Karlak is also able to do stuff. Or Shadowheart, rather. We're gonna put that there, and then Astarian has the iron jar that has a spooky little monster in it. So that's cool. Um, I'm going to have him get over here real quick. And Karlak's turn is there. You know what? I'm gonna give the, the horn to Karlak because she'll need to call them in before Shadowheart can. All right. So then. I think we can just use it. I'm so nervous. This is insane. Inspect. Okay, we already know that there's a monster inside. So I guess I just throw it. Maybe I throw it. 12 and paths interrupted. What do you mean? Um, I'm going to get out of the darkness here. There we go. Now I get to throw this spooky old thing. Really epic music for how much we're just getting rocked. Um, okay. Here it is. Go. Okay, let's go. I mean, is path always interrupted because I'm just blind? Is that why it is? Is that the problem? Wait, no, 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 no. God dang it. I didn't want to do that. I'm so mad. <sighs> well, now what? I can't throw it or anything. Back? Damn it. Can't throw through smoke. Okay, well, that was really silly that that whole thing happened. Hunting action hide. Can't do that. Okay, great. Carlac. Um, here's what I need from you. Do the horn. Help us, guys. They've been more and more useless as time has gone on, and so I do sort of get like, hey, maybe it's not the move. Stop your belly, brother. The feast's begun. Oh, she can also throw. So now, actually, we can do this. We can make this happen. We're going to do our Pokemon battle, damn it. It's how I want to do things, and it's how we're going to do things. It's going to work out totally fine. You can throw this iron flask over to here. Ah! 
<laughs> Wait, it's just another spectator at the same level. So now they're just gonna battle each other. So whichever one is left, I'm fine. I'm golden, baby. Um, I will say it's probably a good idea to um, uh, murder some of these mans too. And so it is way 50% versus um, this petrified drow. Oh, Dorn, Dorn is the problem. Can she just reach Dorn normally with her normal attack? Are you able to do that? Not enough movement. Okay, whatever. Um, let's do that then. Piercing shot. Oh, he's got gaping wounds. That made him drop his concentration too. Okay, so now we're doing okay. They're both marked in red with the tracker. Yes, but I don't think they're friends with anyone. Um, including each other. So that's the whole, that's the whole thing. Um, also revivify Damien probably after this turn because otherwise everyone's going to be kind of screwed here spirit guardian until today today they face guardians um okay okay and also you know what spiritual weapon let's go we're gonna always we're always gonna need a good old spiritual weapon mall We'll have it be right here and just murder this guy. That's cool too. Hopefully it's next. It's not. Okay, let's try our Pokemon battle. Let's go. Okay, so they're biting each other now, which is actually kind of sick. Okay, so Astarian, now you can do a murder against this man. Buddy, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Um, let's have you do main end attack, sneak attack. Must have advantage. I guess I can't. I just continuously don't have advantage. Um, I will do piercing strike against him. Get that Dorn, you weak little baby. Ooh, the blast pendant with lightning bolt attack. This is all great. Memory shard. I do feel like maybe this is something where I could have not. Ooh, that's the thing that connects to our icy metal that we found. That's actually awesome. Um, yeah, I feel like this is something where we could have like spoken to him afterwards, but the fact that he was attacking us right off the bat while we're dealing with this other thing, not ideal, not great. Um, go my friends. Yeah, murder these goofs. This is awesome. Look at this Pokemon fight. Um, we got Finley Coded dropping three dollars. Thank you very much, Finley Coded. And Finley Coded says, and I quote, Hi, Damien, been watching the Baldur's Gate VOD and crocheting a Spider-Man beanie for like 48 hours. That's awesome. Um, very autism coded weekend. We love to see it. Um, unless it's coded in my way, which was autistic burnout and I couldn't do a damn thing. Um, uh, can't tune in today for spoilers. I'm not caught up, but I hope you have an amazing stream and a great Sunday. Thank you so much. Please don't watch the last Baldur's Gate I just uploaded because I skipped one to upload. In fact, I should have should have fixed that today, and that's on me. Um, so this is the one I got to do a murder on easily. This is the one that's not our friend. I mean, the other one's not our friend either, but we can definitely just pick off whatever's left in this battle. You know what I mean? Um, all right, Carlac is here, folks. She's she's got us. We know what she's up to. I do want to have her rush headlong in a battle, but I also want her to survive. So this will be important to do. We'll just keep on shooting this specter. I, I do want to have her rage though. If she rages, that'll be good. Um, I'm having so much fun, y'all. Thanks for hanging out today. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Spectator, let's go. Two E, yeah, okay. That's some damage. We did it. Some good damage. All right. Oh, nice. And now that we have a chance properly, we're gonna revivify Damien here and bring him back to here so he can survive and heal up and he's not too close to anything. Great, we're also gonna use um, probably a, a level two healing word on him because that's pretty strong. Ten more health. We're good, baby. 
he is back look at him go ah oh, you love to see it so i think we should cast bane on how many targets do i get i think two targets i'm gonna do it on oh it's not close enough damn i'm gonna have him go over here he's still gonna be in danger but i want him to cast it on bay on, on here on that one and on oh, i can't hit him over there either is that a drow no it's an asterian um i guess everyone else is our friend here kind of um oh that guy there we go Bane on all of them yeah the only one who didn't save is or the only one who did save is the guy that we don't care about as much so that's kind of great um cool great you love to see it oh come on now there's another guy right there <gasps> no me okay chalk is frightened we don't love that all right so starion now should take down who's, who's the new guy what done just woke up yeah hey, he's not great but we'll hamstring him so he doesn't have the ability to do much yeah he's hamstrung nice that makes it so that he can't really move as well as he had before um which is really good for us right now pushing attack on fang yeah good right good luck yeah right good luck can't do that Woo! melts acid arrow i mean see how much damage they're doing to each other and i could have that could have been uh, hard for us and we didn't have to yeah he's just throwing a rock at him maybe do the one that's not paralyzed maybe we focus on that one for a minute though um six damage cool that's always awesome harlag my girl you got this enraged throw what are we gonna throw at him Oh, I don't know. Maybe a flipping gosh dang oil barrel. Um, <laughs> I just, I love throwing in this game. I, I'm so surprised and shocked. I just hadn't really tried it before. And I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked on it. Um, yeah, maybe an oil barrel would be good to throw. I hope it explodes naturally. I hope I don't have to be like, oh, well, you also need to throw fire at it. Um, actually, does anyone know? Do I, am I going to need to throw extra fire at it? in order to even get it to work very curious very curious about that one yes i am going to need to throw fire. oh we'll tell you what i've got a fire arrow to use so this is gonna be cool all right so that's what we're gonna do too heavy to throw no oh too heavy to throw because i didn't pick the the oil barrel um okay paths interrupted that works for me i can throw it like over in here get to those guys yeah there we go nice oh but good news Karlak has a fire arrow we're not gonna use it on our friends necessarily but Just interrupted but there we go that's the area Woo! oh sorry chalk but everyone else is on fire now and actually i'm okay with that it's actually fine for me um range attack on this spectator that'll be fine too oh carlac's a little bit on fire we don't love that usually but that's okay just wanted her to get away from, I, I want everybody to get out of the like way of that laser beam the laser beam yeah hit him with rocks um cool awesome we're doing okay we are doing okay i'm actually really surprised at how flipping okay we're doing um, it's kind of great. Oh, we have a revivify spell. We need to hold on to our level threes for that. Okay, good. Then, then. Reserve life is good. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Um, and then I'm going to have her also get a little bit out of the way of that laser beam. It's just going to be important for us. Now, this fella right here... He's going to have a bit of a hard time. These guys are still baned, which is nice. So I can't do any other concentration spells. I think it's a good idea to do a really cool, strong weapon strike. Bestow curse, giving this one disadvantage. 80% chance to curse it. Sounds good to me. Why do I have to get that close, though? I don't love that I have to go right next to this guy and therefore exit its line of sight if i want to not be straight up cursed 
Let's see if there's a different one I can do. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do um, slashing flourish, which allows me to hit two enemies at once. So it's, ooh, plus bardic inspiration. Yeah, don't mind if I do. This one and 80%, 65%, 80%. I don't like either y'all. Uh, boom, critical hits, baby. Oh, what a beautiful move. What an amazing turn of events. Gonna heal two. Gonna scoot him on down here. Best be on my way. Nice. This guy has been hamstrung. We don't like him. He's probably gonna try to shoot us. He shot Shadowheart and their successful saves and all that good stuff. We're good. Oh no, my guy is almost down again. I don't wanna have to revivify again. Why, why is that so close? Oh, thank goodness he missed. Missed. Oh, that was so close. Okay. Yes, I'm like, don't you get an opportunity attack for any of this, dude? Okay, whoo. Okay, 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 okay. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is so fine. Everything is so fine. Look at us go and everything is fine. I don't have to do the secret on a doo -doo -doo. Um, let's also use arsonist oil wyvern toxin wyvern toxin is good that's what we'll use too that's a bonus action yeah we're gonna use that there wyvern toxin oh but he does have advantage against moy <sighs> i don't have to fight moy i don't want to fight moy but i think i have to fight moy i could do a i could do a flourish to knock him back as a bonus action maybe that's the move no i need to poison him Sorry, I'm very, I'm very indecisive right now. Um, there we go. Wyvern toxin, then stabbies. There we go. And then, oh, I don't have a bonus action because that was my bonus action. Duh, 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 duh. Hit him, Bank. You can do it. That's great too. I really wish you'd done something to the spectator though. That's always nice. Okay, you're all doing it. You're doing it. Look at you go. Everyone's got the juice. Yeah, critical miss. I love that for me. So shock is not doing great. Okay, so my guy is once again about to be uh, dead very soon. Um, but he's got 34, he's got 60 or 29. I think we can probably take down this guy with this turn, which is good because that'll free up shock to go help. There's a lot of enemies over here though. But I, yeah, otherwise, this guy's gonna be causing trouble for us because he's sort of looking our way. So let's do... Reckless attack on this guy. Boom, lots of damage. We're gonna do a frenzied strike on this guy. Boom, lots of damage. And then one last hit with a main hand attack. Oh, so close to him just being toast. Okay, so we need to keep her okay for um, the sake of, you know, reviving people. I will do a level two healing spell on him so he just survives even a little bit. Nice, that's almost a full heal. That's really good. Um, what I might do now then is instead of just letting the... Um, the spiritual weapon do damage up here when someone else is clearly going to take care of it. I'm going to recast. Oh, I can't recast spiritual weapon. Never mind. Then I am going to. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyone else having trouble? No. Okay. Well, then we're just going to hang out for a minute. We're just hanging out. Everything's fine. I think I need to do a proper murder on this guy. Or what is this guy at? Moya's. 20 health left <laughs> we're gonna do this we're gonna we're just gonna kill him it'll benefit us later for sure um defensive flourish melee 80 percent chance to hit let's go i can't believe that missed that's very silly um 80 percent chance to hit let's go okay and it, we dazed it that's always nice this guy's back to like screw us up with a hit on shadow heart but he's still oh god now that guy was back Wounding Ray on Damien, that, that all sucks. Oh God, and he's paralyzed and he's wounded and he's bitten, son of a bastard. Oh, but Asterion did it. Asterion's got him almost down. 
the full death here, which is kind of great. Um, I think who's up after Asterion? Moy is. And then this guy, this guy, and then spiritual weapon, and the spectator, and then Karlak. There's so much time before that spectator has another move. I really think it's going to benefit us to attack Moy. As, as silly as it is, 94% chance. Can we push him? Can we push him? Can we push him? Should he push him? Invalid attack. Oh, we wouldn't be able to push him far enough for him to actually, like, die here. Um, sneak attack. There we go. That's what we got. Yeah, let's take down Moy. I don't, I don't need him here. There we go. Give me all your goodies. You silly beans. Can I flourish on him? I can't. Um, is Asterion's weapon still coated in poison? I don't think it is. We should use some kind of poison on, uh, on him here. Um, poison resist rare roaring thunder acid vial oh we can just throw that okay well so it goes that's all fine wizard main oil uh, wheel of accuracy uh, maybe yeah maybe this is the time where we don't want to miss nope that would have been a long time ago when we started the fight um, okay, well, so it goes. Here's Wonderwall. Good job trying to fight Fank. Look at this incredible Pokemon. Battle. What a perfect way to handle this whole situation. That is, frankly, pretty insane. Yeah, the spectator's down and we all got HP. Now, my guy who was knocked down, Damien down here, did he get experience? I know he's just, uh, I know he got knocked down, but he is still very much alive. Experience is shared. Nice. Nice. I knew that was supposed to be a thing. Um, so we can't really go too many places right now. Oh, maybe you can actually hit this uh, spectator here. Not enough resources. Literally, it literally looks like you do have enough resources. It's saying you do have enough resources. Damn it. Dude, whatever. Dude, whatever. I hate this. All right, fine. Now can you just fly? No, not enough resources movement. All right, whatever. Screw it. Um, Carlac. Um, so she could help up Damien. I know that seems like the thing we would want to do, but like Shadow Hearts right there, she can do that too. Maybe Carlac gets the final impressive hit on this guy here. I say that's the move. <gasps> nice, Carlac. You're our hero. We killed two spectators on this day. We got spectator eyes. We did it. And there's all sorts of goodies up there. Open up. Nope, we don't want to go that far. All right, Karlak, you did it. We also get to shoot who's who's left. We can shoot uh, this guy. Because why not? Okay, well, we didn't hit, so that's why. But we can also enrage throw onto him. Doing an enraged throw would hurt Damien, though. We we learned that now. We know we know this. We know this. So what would be fun to throw? Oh wait, do I still have that big heavy like metal chest? I thought I did. Yes, I do. Oh, but I can't throw it very far. Okay. Enraged throw. What can I throw? Like a book? Now I'll throw a book at him. Get booked, guy. Uh, now he's just knocked prone. I love Carlax so much. So very much. Now, the one problem is that the ogres didn't die, and I definitely did want to steal something from the ogres. If we keep them alive, we can use them again, which is really nice. And Lump the Enlightened has by far the most health there. But, you know, I kind of didn't want to. Whee! Um... We can also cure wounds on him, because why not? Damien's turn. All right. We can't do too much. You only get one use, I believe. Uh, WDH, I'm pretty sure they're like, you can call us three different times. Pretty positive that was a thing that they said. You can call them three times. Sound the sword, uh, they feast on anyone, but if you made a deal with them, they will make an effort to spare. Do I only get to use this the one time? 
It is, says Vic Weave. Uh, in reference to one-time use or third-time use, can you say that specifically in chat, please? Tiarna dropping 369. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Tiarna. Saying, good morning. Just caught up on your uh, jo your recent upload. Sawdust will haunt me. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Um, uh, did I hear you right with the first week of September being the week we are doing a movie night? As always, sending love to the coop. Um, you can keep using it, I think, but they might ask for, for more money or something. You can use it more times, but only if you pass some checks. You can you use it once. You'll need to negotiate a new deal. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to murder them then for sure. Um, I don't have my phone next to me. It's charging. Um, so I'll probably try to, before these guys take their final bow, um, I'm probably going to turn on them because that's just the kind of guy I am. Um, I wonder if there's anything to dip into. You know what? She has poison. I can't dip into the poison because you got that poison. Nah, whatever. Um, I'm going to search the spectator because why not? Nothing in here. Great. Cool. Fine. Um, I'm going to get these things. Thieves of the drows, whatever. Um, all right. None of those things work for me. So that's fine. Everything's fine. Um, oh yeah. That's guy, that guy's back. Oh, he's just right next to those mushrooms. They're just begging for us to hit those mushrooms Ooh, okay lump the enlightened's got her uh oh guys i'm mean, sure the lump the enlightened is fine um <laughs> i mean obviously i'm doing this right now that's gonna be a good idea yeah got him that was fun <laughs> um now can you hide a star yet? damn it no we can't um i'm gonna go right here in case you know we need to murder the our orc friends our ogre friends uh hello <laughs> You made me drop my weapon, you bastard. Oh, man. Don't love that for me. Yeah, get him. All right. So this thing is here now. Our favorite boy. He's so good at existing. Um... I'm not going to use him to attack anyone yet because I sort of need him to be in position for that and to not make trouble for me just yet. Um, Karlak is also doing great and she has to do an attack in order to stay kind of in the game here while raging. So maybe, can she hit from here? He is for sure outside of range. I'm going to scoot her over here. I'm going to do another enraged throw because I just feel like it. God, I love doing enraged throw. Let's try. We, uh, yeah, knocked him on the head with my enraged throw. My favorite thing. <laughs> he's taking so much damage. I might as well just shoot him from here. Ah, uh, he's prone. How could you miss, Carlac? Uh, give it another shot. Come on, give it another shot, Carlac. You're okay. Okay, well that's fine. Shadow hard. You're chilling, right? Everything's fine, right? Um, let's heal everyone because you're about to have to oh that was our level three. Oh no well i guess we have more scrolls of revivify so we'll be fine um everyone's almost out of bless as well i do need to be a little careful about what i do next um i am going to keep her like right over here just to be safe because again we are about to have to fight all of these spooky little guys we're gonna have to fight some spooky little guys um, see, now would be a fun time to, like, have to resurrect dead. You know what I mean? Yeah, we get this iron flask back. That's pretty cool. Is it still worth a lot of money? It's not. It was only worth a bunch of money if we sold it. Okay, well, that's fine. So now, what I think it's time to do, because we're going to have to kill these ogres now that everything's winding down, is I think it's time for me to uh, bane them. We only need to do the three. Oh, they're all too far. Okay, never mind. Um, can I do Tasha Sidious Laughter on him? I can't. Oh, not enough movement. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm just going to get in position again. I feel so silly and frankly pretty rude that I'm doing this, but that's okay. I think it was a really smart move. This guy's back up. He's just having a hard day. He just turned from stone to being alive again. And we just threw a club at him. And frankly, he, he kind of deserves to have his rough day. You know, he's not not the nicest fella. Um, okay, so Astarian dropped his sword. He needs it back. Sort of screams. It's your action to equip it. There you go. And then finally, the blast pendant. That is so cool. 
Um, and then finally, we can do... What can we do? Um, he's only got nine health left. Can I hide now? I sure can't. I could have one step away, but that's fine. Um, Fank is taking damage from that guy. Lumpy Enlightened is damaging that guy, who is now dead. Ah, oh, Lump, you, you sure are looking vulnerable on that ledge right there, my guy. I think it's time. We have enough moves now. Oh, wait. Fank is next. I think we have enough moves now that I, I we, we sort of have to start turning on these guys. Um, and then it's Fank. And it's, uh, so, yeah, it's a full round of us turns, except for these little spooky uh, Dark Elf fellas. Um, Chalk, Fank, and then Arg, who's still later in the rotation. Here we go. Critical hit. Oh, Chalk is just dead. Okay. That's always good. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> hey, everything's fine. Let's all talk about how fun everything is. How fun everything is. Everything is so fine. And everything is fine. And don't worry about it. We throw this at him. No, you know what? I think Carlac can just at this point start making her way to uh, do a murder on the mans. So she can't reach him with attacks, but she can throw an adamantine chest at him. No, she can't. It's too close. Um, she can shoot a fancy arrow at him. Or just an arrow of roaring thunder. Pushing targets back five feet. There we go. If it hits him, it puts him, pushes him back five feet, which... Wait, is that a chasm or would I be able to go down there? I don't think I'd be able to go down there. Yeah, it's a whole thing. I can't kill him because I want to take... actually want to take his stuff. You know what I mean? But like a war pick would be fine, right? 60% war pick? Ooh, there we go. Knocked prone as well. That's always cool. I mean, that's always nice. And I don't feel bad about it, frankly. I don't feel bad because it's 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 not my fault. Um, Arrow of ice. 50%. Chance to be used. You know what? We we don't use ice stuff very much. We we kind of might need to hold on to it. Boom! Yeah. I won't tell you again. Oh yeah, he's really mad that we did that. We're like, sorry, bud. I didn't know. Oops. I think Carlac can just take him down himself. Okay, so is Eric is Eric dead now? Yeah, Eric is dead now. Um, so. Now she can take down Fank if we so choose to have that happen. She could do up to 13 damage, which is great. And I think there might be a bonus action here as well. Um, sorry, and Damien Arzamet. So who's, who's, who's this guy's deal? <sighs> Eight health. I, I hate him, but like, it might be fine to have him for a minute. Let's do a normal old bonk concussion attack. Days and he died. Oh my god, what a way to go. Get a whole chicken. So sad. We never saw it coming. Um Alright, hashtag bless. He's very blessed. I guess I don't have to do any of these fancy attacks either. I can kind of just like mobile flourish. Boom here. Yeah. I got him. Boom. Is he dead? Um, no, he's not. Oh, but it did it did indeed knock him back. And I do have the ability to teleport from here, but I'm not going to enter. This guy's like, what just happened? All right, so we really we really did that whole Pokemon battle situation. And it really kind of worked out. Is anyone else shocked? Because I actually legitimately kind of am. I had no idea that that would in any way benefit us at all. Um, I just thought it'd be a fun thing to try. You know, I was in a, what you call a silly, goofy mood. Um, but that being said, who's up next? Lump the Enlightened? Um, I think maybe. Let's have advantage. How on earth do we still not have advantage against him? That's so silly. Um, if we take, we can take down Chocolate. Oh, we can't take down Chocolate. Um, disadvantage on this guy, but why not? Let's try it. Seven, nice. Now can he hide? Yes, he can. And that would give him advantage. Oh, that would have been nice to do at the beginning of turn. All right, so he's getting back up and he's like, what just happened? So basically, these ogres at the beginning of the game, we stumble upon them and they're like, like, we like eating people. We like working for the bad guys. And we're like, hey, you probably, we don't do that. Um, and he was like, well, then give us more money. And we're like, oh yeah, we can give you way more money. In fact, anyone that we beat up, you can absolutely kill and eat. They're like, that sounds great, which is what they were already doing. Um, so, you know, it's a whole thing. Um, 
but now at this point uh it doesn't serve us to keep them alive and also they are uh they, they suck they do kind of suck they're not very nice um hey and so that's what we wanted we wanted to get the warped headband of intellect which is so broken so take a look at that so it sets the wearer's intelligence score to 17. the enchantment has no effect if their intelligence score is higher without it right so when you have a character like let's see karlak let's examine karlak her intelligence is eight right now she's a barbarian she doesn't need it same with uh the bard that we use uh his intelligence is low a lot of our characters intelligence is low so we have the opportunity to like miss out on a lot of like really good interactions because we just don't have the skills for it yet right Drow and wow. can't believe that actually what worked doing? um that's actually incredible so let's look at you know my main character here we have a 12 intelligence which is not great excuse me so if we were to have 11 intelligence anytime we need to do a certain check where it's like look for arcana or like try to figure out this thing we would just be fine we would be able to do it finally in a way that we never would have been able to before oh it's a shame though that we can't use this this drow hood it's so good okay so what we did find though is a couple things we got this this icy metal um thing there and then this thing here which is like clearly a staff so that's kind of sick um and this is heavy armor can Shadowheart not use heavy armor at all she can attackers can't land critical hits on the wear and she gets resistance to fire damage that's such a good helm I mean my god my god it's good um wow 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 okay so we got a lot of good things also I'm curious about um examine these memory shards as if something is trapped within I'm gonna hold on to that one for sure um these can all go to camp I'm just gonna do some you know little maintenance here we also got the blast pendant I don't even know what that one does necessarily but it seems damn good um amulet of Sylvanas which allows her to do restoration the restoration hasn't been super useful for Karlak. We haven't used it yet. We also have a spectator's eyes. Very rare. It lets you do the ray of fear or wounding ray. I mean, Karlak's never really going to do that. Maybe. I don't know. Like, that's that's so good. I'm curious also what lightning blast does um, as a class action. Oh, let's see here. Um, focus electricity in your veins to strengthen your next lightning spell or cantrip. Okay, so you have to already be like kind of a lightning boy to do that. Okay, which we're not in this case, and that's fine. Um, and he's got shatter and then talk to the amulet and store your chi and all that stuff. So that's, this is all good. This is all fine. Um, we still got the war horn. Oh, I hope they come back. I don't know what happened to them. Um, cool, 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 cool. Um, we're going to do that. Oops. Uh, boop. And then boop as well send to camp there we go yo that was that's awesome this is great i'm stoked personally frankly myself i for me stoked so what mushroom did you side with i sided with um not the not the oh, warlike uh rotund one i sided with the one that's always like singing and going for for peace amongst his people by singing and i'm sure there's going to be a drawback and everything to all of them but like you know it is um okay so we did the stuff with the drow that's a thing and let me now oh and we got it we definitely got to get that um this book back and also techathy this techathy app oil of accuracy dagger all these things all right not bad we don't need them but they're things they're things why not it was an epic battle yeah we literally pokemon that everything that we could do to call in things we did it which is kind of sick um, let's also search the skeleton. Let's go down here and see what else there is. We can't, uh, ooh, alchemist fire. That's good too. Trap. Ooh, okay. That vent is a trap. We need to disarm it. Difficulty class 30. I cancel that, dude. There's no way. Why, why that? Why there? Why is that so hard to do? Just to get some alchemist fire? That's not even that good. Let's get that warhammer back. Check in on this guy. Eh, it's whatever. Chasm Creeper. There's a stone behind there. The crystal. 
I'm so proud of us for surviving all these things. Look at us go. And then I think it's probably time to go. Why can't I grab it? Uh, I think it's probably time for us to go back to um, where we were going originally, like trying to figure out all the, um, ooh, cragged rock, and we can climb down there, eh? Oh, that's how we get around the stuff. I don't really need anything that's like right over here. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what this area has to offer us. Because I know we've been mostly to this area before, but we definitely haven't been to this area with the, um, well, these might be the moon towers we've heard so much about but um yeah I'm, I'm curious let's jump on over to there first all right um let's see here again very slow um <laughs> on the on the tips my apologies uh we have got lidster dropping uh 369 nice um thank you very much lidster Ooh, something to dig out there Reach this. We can't reach this. You're right there, dog. You are literally right there. Hero of Darkness, Grease Bottle. Uh. Um, let's quickly get this on over to uh, Karlak because she's going to need these. And the sword as well because why not? And this wall as well because why not? Also, that halberd. She could probably use it. Uh, send to Karlak. Great. Um, so. Um, Lidster, uh, nice, on the 369, thank you very much, says, uh, hey, Damien and Coop, uh, crazy 24 hours, met a friend yesterday who lives in my apartment complex to find out they are also a sub to the stream, that's so cool, oh, that's wild, that's so funny, even if you know someone in real life and it seems like a good idea, just make sure you, you know, are very careful about that, um, because you're still meeting a stranger, but I think that's really cool, I love that, um, uh, QWQ Wardy and I met because of uh, and became instant friends rescued a kitten outside my apartment last night got any girl name ideas that's so cool I flip and love that um well let's give that a little think let's give a little thinky thing um as we as we fix that weapon and also equip our cool new um amulet circlet situation let's see to find where it is um intelligence um nope um, intel. Warband of intellect. There we go. That's what we need. I want you to have that. There we go. Yeah, so now we have a bunch of intelligence, and it doesn't directly affect us now, but there's just going to be, like, checks that we can use that... Um... Oh, I didn't, um... Oh, no! Wait, I thought I did respond to Tiarnas. That, there was, like, did I hear you the first week of September saying that the, um... First week is going to be movie night, always sending my love to the coop, and I said, I'm not sure... Um, yet if it is the first week, but it is like within the, the earliest week. I think it's like, I have Memorial Day off for a little bit. So basically I said, good morning. Just caught up on your jo uh, jobs, recent upload. Sawdust will haunt me. Got it. Sorry about missing that. Um, so yeah, sometime in September, probably on a Saturday. Yeah, Debs McLeod. Um, I will be doing our movie night stream that I've been talked about, talking about doing for so long. Thank you for your patience. I know it's taken me a long time for all the things that I'm like, you unlocked these incentives during the... The subathon and then i just straight up didn't do them i kind of time got away from me and then i also am not always the best with time management in general and i'm very forgetful um so my apologies but it will happen it's gonna happen oh god more explodies turn-based mode oh is it another one of these monsters things from before that i hate oh no okay spider web we can shoot it's just like a world-based event thing we have to deal with the rumbling every time, but then we can grab all these burlap sacks and stuff like that. In turn, okay. <gasps> what happened to my peoples? Oh, it's the bullet, the thing that we had to fight before. Oh, that's stinky. Don't love that for us. Then I'll tell you what. We're gonna do a ranged mm, defensive flourish. Nope, we can't do that. We're going to cast Bane on it, so it feels so silly. Okay, nope. No, we can't do that either. We're going to go back up here. Scoot one up here, and then do Bane on it. Target is out of sight. Well, then, damn. I guess Damien doesn't get a turn, huh, folks? Huh, folks? That's just the way it is. Just the way it is. The boulder? No, I didn't even know there was Bullywugs in game. Aw, oh, that's, that's a little bit spoilery. No, I haven't fought them yet. I did not have no 
There we go. 48 critical hit. Good lord. We're playing the feud. That's okay. Don't worry about it. But I I did not know they existed in games. So that's a, that's definitely something to look forward to. Um, God, we have Ray of Fear. <laughs> it was incredible. Or Wounding Ray. Good job, Carlac. Who has none, none of the skills to do this. That's so funny. Um, Reckless Attack. Let's do it. Nice. Okay, well, that was a lot easier now that we've leveled up. Ooh, Blood Guzzler Garb. That's disgusting. When an enemy damages the wear, the wear gains wrath for a turn. Okay, so that would be good for a Barbarian, but later when we're not using medium armor on them. So that's fun. There we go. Spiderweb gone. It is. Nothing in the burlap sack. Heavy chest is locked. Astarion, you're up. Ooh, difficulty class 15. Okay, I think we can do this unless we get a nat one, which is always possible, but still. There we go. We made it just enough to 15. That's actually wild to me. Ooh, brow studded leather armor. Stealth plus one. That's actually sick. Oh. But Astarian already has a really good leather armor. Spider silk armor. You gain a plus one bonus to stealth checks. Advantage on constitution saving throws and checks. So unfortunately it looks like what we've already got is better because this has plus one stealth and the other one has plus one to stealth checks and i don't know exactly how that balances out but i do think that it's like it's just it seems to be better as it is so what you gonna do all right let's explore a couple more things and then we are out of here on educating the faithful Ooh, a spooky book spooky little secret little book Okay. Uh, book. Okay, cool. Uh, now we know exactly what's going on. That's great. I love that. If not over, then through. All right. No time to rest. Ragged rock. This actually looks very suspect to me. Um. So here's what I'm gonna do. Probably. I don't trust this even a little bit. So let's all go back up here. So I'll go back, everybody. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> Everything's fine. Hello. Um, I do have a little bit of a, um, a chocolate bar next to me, so I'm going to have a bite of that to get some sugar. Because I want some. All right, so we can do a mobile attack from here. There we go. Mobile attack from here is also a good idea. Quartz stocks are great. Murder. Don't want to deal with them especially if we have to battle something in there every time we would want to do a fight it would just be like oh surprise also you, oops you, you're dying um okay he can definitely shoot farther because he has a longbow nice you do that there we go that's gonna be way more helpful to us in the whole not dying department Ooh. oh there's things down there Oh, that's going to be a cool little spooky little secret. We know that for sure. Um, so thank you again, Tiana. My apologies for that. Lidster says, hey, Damien and Coop. Crazy 24 hours. Oh, what's so crazy? Never a dull moment. Met a friend yesterday. Oh, that was... Okay, got it. I'm so sorry. My brain is just mush. Oh, that's the thing. Um, I It's time to take my next dose of the ADHD med. So tell you what, I'm going to pause for just a couple seconds here. And I will be right back. I'll have like a little bite of snack. Yeah, let's take like a three minute break. I'll be right back. Three minute break. All right, be right back.
Oh, hello. Thank you so much for waiting for me. I appreciate you a lot. We are good to go. I have taken my meds. I had a little snick snack. Um, I think it's all going to be just fine. I can't really see over there, which is, I guess, what all the light spells are for. But let's give it a shot. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to read out a couple tips before I continue on because I've been so um, behind with them. I just, I just want to make sure it's all seen. Um, everybody, please give a spicy. Clever Coop, welcome to Michelangelo, uh, RPG Scott HP, and then the Pepsi Woman. Thank you very much. Appreciate that a lot. Welcome, y'all. We've also got um, Katie Marie dropping 20 bucks. Thank you very much, you generous mother goose. Um, Katie Marie says, and I quote, um, now where, I just saw a skeleton here. Why why can I not get to it? Target is too far. Oh, it's too far. Um, oh, I see. Um, ooh, a dead drought. Let's also check on that. Let's check a couple of the things around here first. Then we'll be good. Katie Marie, thank you very much for the tip. Uh, saying, hey, Damien. Hey, Clever Coop. Thanks for another great stream. I'm loving Baldur's Gate. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I'm also loving Sword AF so much. You're doing an incredible job as a DM, and I'm so invested in the story. Well, that makes me really happy to hear. Thank you. You know, I'm... I definitely still always have my nerves about it a little bit, but I think overall I'm getting a lot more confident, and I'm really happy with everything that we got going on and everything we got planned for y'all, so thank you. Um, very, very, very nice of you. Um, helmet of autonomy, proficiency in wisdom saving throws. That's actually really good too. Um, oh God, that's so, this is so spooky. I haven't gone, I haven't done anything like this before. Let's, let's explore. I mean, that's kind of the point of the game is like, okay, you find a spooky little area and you do it. But Katie Marie, that was very, very sweet of you. And I thank you. The festering grove. Oh wait, what is this? That's a person. Is that a person or an enemy? friend or foe i mean this is this looks like it's about to be a whole thing i just heard a so i'm like uh maybe it's not a friend yeah with those screen okay oh they're quotoas the little fish people these are almost almost what i made the bullywugs in um sword af i almost made them bullywug or i almost made them kuotoa but I made them bullywugs instead. Chance to apply bleeding to targets. Okay, so they look like they generally want to do battles. Um, but they're all level two. So if we can talk to them, that might be nice. There's a couple silver plates I've seen here. So maybe they really like little trinkets. I mean, let's just explore. Let's see what they got. It's Morg C drop in. Six, six, six. Box, box, box. Thank you very much, Morg saying i officially moved into my dorm room on wednesday and i start school tomorrow that's very exciting um still feeling a little bit nervous but overall excited and i know i'll definitely be putting your streaks and vods on in the background streams and vods uh in the background while i get work done that's awesome morg well I'm, I'm glad i can be a little bit of normalcy for you in that situation um and again i mean i said this earlier to someone but like college is great college is really great and I know it's nerve wracking, but it doesn't have to be so scary. Like everybody's kind of on the same page of like being in a very new situation, meeting people for the first time, you know, and you sort of get to make your own way now in terms of um, who you talk to, how you want to be friends with people. Like it's all, it's all doable. It's all good stuff. Um, so I hope you have a wonderful time. Cool drip the zealous. Okay. That's a real, that's a one. We want to talk to him. I will see I will say they all seem a little bit uh angry but they all have talk symbols next to them so we might as well try hey guys oh wait I should also do the short rest song Woo! there we go we're fine now quick save and we're, let's let's go oh Koatoa skirmisher is dead right there is this, is this like a funeral or are they gonna kill him or they did kill him and now they're offering him to someone I don't know hey pool drip to fill your oceans, oh blessed Boal. Did you say boo or Boal? In the deep, a wave of pure devotion washes over you, and with mm. every surge, you feel a presence. Uh oh, he has also been marked with this. Um, Priest, for me, says your God wants 
So that's not going to be that you're not going to do that um but i am curious so with bard and performance i can say you are listening to a falsehood he is not your real god wow i think that's a big that's a big ask to be like actually your entire religious system is wrong and then have me like okay bet but we do get a plus 11 from that right arcana is trying to determine who or what they're talking to that's a plus four this is also a plus four to try to be like get your bearings You're like what have you stumbled upon you know whatever or i guess i'm i do that i'm trying to get my bearings um i might try to do the bard performance and just be like la 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 la, la your god isn't real but i will also say if, if a man popped out of a dead body cut, made out of like a blood and started telling me to like worship him uh, at the very least they've got something kind of correct about their god because he just showed up um let me try this it's only a 10 difficulty to tell them that it's not real why is that okay how's that work and it's a nat 20 anyway critical success okay you i mean you automatically pass it um we got i make legs dropping 1004 i make legs thank you so much i do appreciate you quite a bit then can't work how to do gift subs for my phone whilst i'm traveling so i have my normal two as a tip instead i appreciate that i make legs thank you it's it's a little tricky on phones depending the app has a way to do it but you sort of have to like just freshly enter and then you can sort of see the i don't know i don't know all right let's let's change their religion Not real. yeah poor little you guy sense a flicker of doubt brief but enough for an instant the godly presence falters. oh it's a deep gnome Yay! Um, I could either persuade, which is um, at minimum plus 10, could be up to a plus 14. Excuse me, minimum plus 11 could be up to a plus 14. Intelligence is, oh, now that we have a bunch of intelligence, I can be like logic game away from that. Or I can do, oh, again, performance. Oh, we could just say that we're bull. Yeah. I am bull, Lord of Murder, Viscount of Violence. This one lies because it has, yeah, there's so much of a chance to win at this. Plus guidance. I mean, my God, look at this. It's a 29. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Like, no, I don't. I don't like that. Oh, dude. You feel the presence waver. One moment a god of awesome power, the next. It's a red cap. They're little fairy creatures that play tricks. They like tricks. He's like, mm, I'm very mad at this. This we should probably kill. Don't do anything hasty now. The fish folk got plenty of power. We can share. I think we're probably gonna kill him. Blessed boy. What? Shut it, you. I'm talking to my chosen. Chosen got power. You oh, we're gonna power. kill him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Noella HR, excuse me, Noella RH, thank you for gifting a sub to Craws. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Ooh, so we can either have destroy the pretender god my chosen so we can either have them kill him we don't even know what he's up to or well bow before me to the priest i can be like well why wouldn't you bow before me um i think that's fun it would be fun to continue with this bard situation and be like die but it, i also don't know what he has to offer yet so like why don't i just be like you should bow to me you feel a swell of power again. oh carlock isn't happy that sucks that sucks. I don't want to do that. I make Carlac sad. Now, we it's we said to say that to the priest. It literally specified to say it to the priest, but it made me like, no, no, no. I'm actually gonna save scum that because I don't think that's fair. We said to say that to the priest. I was hoping it'd be like an intimidation thing where it'd be like, you bow to me and. The fact that they all danced to me and then it gave him power, that sucks. 
That sucks. I don't like that. I'm redoing that one. So Ari, I, I definitely wanted it to do a different thing. We told the priest to bow to them. Oh, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm just confused. So I'm just gonna do it properly. Don't do Shut it, you. Destroy the pretend. My chosen. Um, thank you again, I make legs. I appreciate you. You want power, don't you? The difficulty 20, but we've done it every time. Though obviously now it's gonna be harder. 23. Get him. Give me his bones. No, no, no! I'm the Lord of Murder! Me! I also kind of just hate red caps. I say go for it. Oh, he is level five. Oh, that's actually uh kind of a lot. I mean we can do it, no problem. Like it's not a it's not gonna be a problem even a little bit. Um but that's interesting to me. We can bestow curse so he kind of gets screwed over all the time. I kind of think that's a good idea. Because all of our characters get to go first. Or I can bane him. No, I'm gonna bestow curse. He has a disadvantage on everything. There we go. Um He has an attack disadvantage. He has a wisdom disadvantage, strength disadvantage. Um intelligence disadvantage. Uh constitution checks and saving throws. Um yeah, I'm gonna give him a. Uh... No, I'm not gonna do any of those. I'm just gonna do something easier. It makes so much more sense if you toss this hideous laughter on him. Saved. Ooh. 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 Earns. Okay. All right, Carlac. Here's what we need to do. You need to jump on over there and do a sweet, sweet little murder. Tui. Knees high. Come on down. And it's murder time. Nice. And more murder. Nice. You did it. We love you. You're perfect. Don't ever change. Um, I'm gonna have a starion go over here. Sneak, sneak attack on Guau. Oh, so fancy. Such a fancy attack, isn't it? And then finally, we got uh, Shadow Heart. You can do 14 damage, right? You can do that. You can do a little murder on him. Um, I guess not with your main attack. Can you do it with Sacred Flame? Could do it. It's a cantrip. Guiding Bolt? Could do it. Let's try it. Ah, oh, it's a miss. It always misses. Guiding Bolt always misses. Hunter's Mark. There we go. Oh, oh, these guys are our friends. I was about to say like, oh no, they're about to hurt us. Like, no, they were good. Who all? How dare you do that to our dear girl? She took so much damage from that. And they're all missing too. God, part of me would rather fight these guys. We did it. 705 experience from that? That's awesome. And now we get to be friends with fish people and we don't have to deal with goo all. Ugh. Got a bone Malachi supply pack. Yeah, I didn't even have anything. Stupid little doofus. Doofy little doofy. Oh, we are gonna take that guy's head. That does kind of suck. Um, well, now we get to be friends with everybody and they're clapping for us. Oh, I love it. But we did tell them that we were God. I guess we did tell them that we are God, which is maybe not ideal our fish in a chest okay maybe not the nicest thing we could have done in fact it is pretty messed up in a lot of ways um but there's got to be some goodies here for us to snag yeah that's got to be a secret path down there yep there's a chest over there so we're for sure gonna do that i mean we're for sure gonna do that do we not get god powers now no and i don't think we'd want them i don't think we'd want them given everything we're going through here and how we got you know that favor from all them that's kind of suck um, so let's talk to their leader and then we'll go get that secret chest behind the the door there. Um What's up, leader guy? Uh pool drip the zealous. This is such a cool little like inconsequential little area. The pretender we knew in our hearts the god Boal 
was false. Were you? Because you were just dancing from around you, your dead friend. We see you. We know you by your true name, Ma Klumpa. Praise Ma Klumpa. <laughs> That's what such a funny line. Commandment of I great love that. God. Um. Well, we're also gonna try to trade with him. Um, Foxtail Faye is dropping six, six, six bucks, 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 sixty-nine cents. Nice. Uh, thank you very much. Saying, uh, nice with a smiley face. <laughs> thank you so very much. I greatly appreciate that. Ooh, the sickle of Bual, which gives you Bual's blessing. I mean, obviously, I need to look at what the hell that is. As long as there are Kuotoa to worship Bual, and there are, but no, they think Bual is dead. Um, then we get advantage while using this sickle, which is interesting, but not too many people in our party would use a sickle. That would be a druid thing, and most druids do better anyway with, like, um, you know, the, the weapons we got. Um, let's barter. So I guess we don't need that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say no more blood rituals. You test. Yeah. There are other ways of showing devotion. True, and definitely not blood rituals for sure. Perhaps no matter your glory will be sung. Great Maglumpa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you guys like singing now, that's pretty cool. Can I trade with anyone else? You did it. Uh, so they all have the trade option, but then it just boots me out of their um, conversation checks like as soon as I'm in it. Um, okay, so we're going to check this other chest here too. Hopefully it's not just another starfish. That would be nice. Uh, honestly, y'all, yeah, I'd say probably Praise McLoompa. I was going to say that for sure earlier, but now at this point, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable just saying Praise McLoompa. Do you have God powers now? No, not at all. We just stopped them from worshiping a weird little A situation, I guess. And that's always nice to not have to worry about. Oop, survival check. Uh, dirt mound. There we go. Let's go with digging. Um, we got a non dropping three dollars. Um, I greatly appreciate you. Oh, was nothing in there? Weird. Or did I get something out of there? I don't think I got anything. Hmm. Um, so, uh, thank you very much for that anonymous to whomever you may be. Um, hi, Damien. I just want to quickly say thank you for being unapolog uh, unapologetically you and open with your neurodivergentness. I've recently been diagnosed and learning more about myself. My boyfriend, however, has said I shouldn't make it my whole personality. Lol. Uh, well, Anand, I don't, I don't know you and your situation, but um, thank you very much, uh, Gano Barmender. Drop in six, 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 bucks, 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 saying praise Maklumpa. You know, honestly, praise Maklumpa. Um, so here's the deal. When you have been diagnosed with something that makes you aware of the fact that you are neurodivergent, whether it's ADHD or autism or OCD or whatever it may be, there is going to be a couple different paths you can take. Some people are like, they kind of mourn things and they're like very worried and sad. They're like, oh no, I have OCD. When in reality it's like, no, you've always had OCD. You just are now aware of it and you have sort of like a game plan on how to like notice when that affects your life and what to do about it, right? Um, and then other people go full tilt and like own it. Like I'm somebody that definitely more owns it. I'm like, hey, this is great. This is great that I now know this about myself and like, oh, I'm sorry I did that. You know what it's probably tied to? This thing about me, but I am gonna try to make it better still. You know, it's it's not an excuse. It's, it's just a way that you can sort of like be aware of yourself and it's still your responsibility to try to like, you know, help figure things out if something about that is making it hard for you to be with a partner or something like that. So that being said, when someone says you shouldn't make it my whole, your whole personality, there's a lot going into that, right? And I don't know because I don't have context. I don't know exactly what position you're in right now. For some people, you know, I do know that like every other sentence out of their mouth is like, oh, because, blah, 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 because autistic, because blah, 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 autistic. And I, I imagine for other people, it might be a little bit difficult to like hear that all the time. Um, but at the same time, because it's so new for you and it's just a part of yourself that you're just learning about and just learning how to accept, it'd be nice if you were the, given the grace to like 
take some time and figure things out and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? It's 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 like there's a little bit of a, a balance to it, right? Um, and it's it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to find the exact way you want to go about that for the time being. But you shouldn't feel ashamed ever of owning it and letting it be a part of you know your life and what you want to talk about. You know, um, that's just kind of how yeah, that's just how it works, says Katie Marie. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, Katie Marie. No, that you bring up a very good point. It's not that it's your personality. It's that it colors every aspect of who you are. That's a way better way of putting it, Katie Marie. So thank you for that. Um, oh, come on. Poor Carla. Well, at least she landed in an exploded potion. That's kind of sick. Oh, we need to uh, disarm that too. Um, yeah, that's just kind of how it is. So like, you know, maybe it's going to be something for your partner to realize that like, hey, actually, you know, if this bugs you, that's something we kind of have to talk about because, you know... Um, but point being, you know, I'm very glad that you seem to be embracing it for yourself as well. You deserve to be able to. Um, oh, it's a second. Oh, I have to unlock it now, now that I've, um, yeah, uh, still done that. Um, you know, it's still something you deserve to be able to be comfortable enough uh, talking about. Slippery chain shirt. When you hear a creature, it, it automatically disengages and won't trigger opportunity attacks. Great. So you can heal someone and then get the heck out of dodge. Um... Yeah, sometimes people don't understand the joy in finding self-discovery. Yeah, and I, you know what? That is kind of the neurodivergent experience, right? Where, like, something that is so big for you about, like, discovering who you are and why it's going to change sort of the way you interact with things and understand the world and yourself. That's a big deal. It's like kind of going, kind of like going through your whole life without wearing glasses and then being like, oh my God, I needed glasses. Just a little bit of accommodation so I could, you know, navigate things in a different way. And then you get them, you're probably going to be talking about glasses for a minute because you're just like, my God, everything's beautiful. My God, I can really see all the nature. Wow, everything's pretty. So, like, why wouldn't you... Why wouldn't you do that? You should be allowed to do that without fear. Um, so I really hope that doesn't become too, too much of a difficult thing between you and your partner. And if it does, then you have a conversation about it. Yeah, praise... Uh, all right. We should be able to grab these couple extra things here. There is a light beam right there, which tells me that I probably need to dig. If ever I've seen it, if ever I've seen a, a, a spot that needs to be dugged. Ooh, the subject where, 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 where is it? Oh, message in a bottle. But again, you know, even being neurospicy myself, I have had people bring up things in conversation where it's like it is like every other second like it's every other second and even for me who deals with very similar things and can relate it was just like okay like this is kind of a lot so i don't think you're doing that and even if you are doing that right now like guess what that's okay bro failed oh no we all failed survival what is about to happen at us oh no um but yeah that's okay that's okay to do because you're just learning this thing about yourself you're just learning this thing about yourself you should be able to have the time and the space to be like Wow, isn't this crazy? Isn't this an entirely new way to think about my life experience? Looky there, you know? Ooh, scroll of banishment. Banishment is cool. Temporarily banish your target to another plane of existence. Yeah, it's just like, um, you're not wanted here. And then they're just gone forever. This looks like it's about to be something. And the fact that we all failed perception, I'm like, is this a... Is this a trap? <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Ecstasy of murder. That's a, re that's a weird little... Roll right there. Let's read it, I guess. Once Ball's favor has uh, quickened within one of his beloved murderers, the bliss of his love is nigh indescribable, for he blesses his loyal with a new sensation, a mindless, instinctual, primal sensation. I did think Bual sounded like Ball. That made sense. Um, divine essence can almost be tasted. Forsake all other hedonisms, acolytes, for nothing can compare. Until the true ecstasies of murder, I'll show you, initiates. This scroll contains a prayer. You must say after a kill, calling forth the Lord's disgrace to find its course in your body. Oh, I guess we are supposed to maybe say that prayer after we done murdered that other guy. Um, I guess that's another, yet another entirely missed quest by us doing not exactly the same order of things. Or maybe we can do it again later. And then through that, say a prayer, I guess. All right, well, that's a whole thing. 
Um, I do want to see if I usually when there's light just chilling right there. That, that's a diggable spot. I don't know for sure, but I kind of want to try it. Nothing interesting buried here. There's nothing interesting buried here. Um, no, that was probably just me me to get to the glory of murder the happy times. Happy, happy, happy murder times. All right, I think we're ready to leave this weird little fish area. Oh, it's just them again yelling. I was like, uh oh. So I guess I really can maybe summon Ball or Bail after a kill. Um, message in a bottle. That's right. That's right. Um, curled paper. A note written in a childish hand. Dad, sorry I stopped writing. We ran out of paper on the road. I got this from the druids. Maybe that's why they're so mad at us. I hope this can find you. Zevlor, who we know, got says you got lost and that our old house is gone, but I read a book that says all rivers find their way into the sticks. When you get it, can you write me back in Baldur's Gate or maybe come visit? I'll write again when I have more paper. Donnie. Okay, so that could de that's definitely someone we know from like either the Druid or Tiefling camp. Probably the Tiefling camp. And he did say something about Zevlor. So Zevlor is almost certainly not the one that we give it to, but maybe he would know who it goes to. I don't think it's Halzen because Halzen would, you know, it was a very familiar way to be like, oh yeah, the Druids are mad at us, but Halzen is a Druid. So I don't know if that's how they would really say that. Um, okay. Interesting. Cool. Um, we got Ashley Hearts, you dropping. Oh, beans? Ashley Hearts you, this is a very generous tip. Drop in 2666. Thank you so much for that. That is very generous and sweet of you. Um, and I greatly appreciate that. Can't reach destination. Okay, well, fine. We'll do this. Um, thank you so much, Ashley Hearts you. Ashley Hearts you says, Hey, my dude, I know you don't drink, but while I'm watching your stream and failing miserably, uh, but I am while watching your stream and failing miserably at playing Baldur's Gate 3, so cheers. Hey, you don't have to judge your drinkiness based on me. Have, a, have fun. Have your fun. Have a drink. Sounds great. Um, order some Mexican on me because where I live in Texas, Tex-Mex is the only Mexican food they offer and it is decidedly gross by... I feel like Tex-Mex Tex -Mex can hit. It's not ideal. I'll take a mom and pop Mexican, you know, restaurant any day. But Tex-Mex... Tex-Mex can be passable. But I guess you would know. You live there. So I'm not going to tell you about your own experience. Um, thank you so much. That's really sweet because I won't be um, streaming for two, 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 two much longer. And I did think about maybe ordering Mexican food tonight. So it's kind of awesome that you said that. And now I know that I will and should. Um, so thank you truly for that. Um, that was real nice of you. Something is going to blow me up. Is it? Are there bugs? Is, is this bugs here? Sylvan stone? We do need that. That's going to be a big thing. Half this drought bomb is crushed. Must have fallen pretty high up. Oh, so he fell from really high up. That is interesting to me. What, what's what's what what's what what'd you find is it that is that a thing to find i hate how hard it is sometimes to see what they're talking about or is sylvan stone what they're talking about the fates manifested this yes the fates wanted me to have good mexican food oh i wonder they said he fell from really high up i wonder if i'm supposed to go all the way up there and is that a thing that was highlighted or does it just look pretty i might have to i might be supposed to jump up on all the things that's not a word did all the things that aren't words too high it says too high they says can you believe this <laughs> too high they says do you know who it's not too high for carla our girl oh wait well 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 carla you're good at the jumping you've got a lot of strength in fact, we could always use hill giant strength for her, too. This is a good time for Featherfall. You know what? I think that's probably a really good idea, too. I think you're probably right. These things have stayed interesting. There we go. All right, Carlac. Be on. Get on back down over here. Um. Oh, come on, I don't be here. Uh, investigation check. I wonder if some of them are like, wait, but I, I literally can't see which ones they're pointing to. Oh, maybe up there. Okay, got it. Yeah, maybe that's how I go. Um, all right. As 
It's also so weird that they can follow us by jumping, but I can't jump on my own. A little weird. A little goofy. Goofy little goober situation. We can't get there. Of course you can. It's right there. Come on. Oh, I guess I just have to jump to right there. And someone else can maybe grab it later. There we go. Okay, cool. Lots of Sylvan Stones and some kind of... Ooh! Those mushroom circles, they teleport you to places. That's a big deal. Investigation failed. Investigation successful. Secret wall. Secret wall. This is really cool. I love this a lot. I love this a lot. Um, let's go straight on through that secret wall. So the way you do that, I've learned, is you just literally you click on the other side and you go, nope. A different mushroom circle. Now this one is clearly Fey coded, right? Now it does suck that everyone else is um, not with us at this point. I guess legitimately they just couldn't make it down there. I'm gonna have you ungroup. I'm gonna have you on. Uh, I'm gonna have you float. Shadowheart. I'm, I'm gonna have you ungroup as well. You should group up with Shadowheart. There we go. So Damien and Astarian down here. Um, I know I can misty step. But I am concerned about how much I can actually do that. Can I go all the way up here? Target out of sight, out of sight, out of space. Whoop, whoop. There we go. And I, I think then I'm able to actually jump properly. Oh, it's still too high. Damn it. No. That's so silly. Misty Step is fine with a short rest. Yeah, we can do another short rest on him. We can do that a couple more times. That's so funny. Yeah, short rest. You got it, buddy. Um, yeah, yeah. come on. Up there. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Woo! Ah, I love it. All right, so now you're gonna also go over here. We're gonna want to explore that other space too, but for now we can group up with them. Um, we can group up with them. Okay, so now Astarian, you're the last one, buddy. Go check out the mushrooms at the top, says Old Man Whistler. What do you mean? How do you mean? Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Is there? Check out the mushrooms at the top. There. Oh, oh, that's a whole thing. I mean, I, yeah, I guess I'll just go back for it. Unless I'm looking at the wrong thing, but this seems like a whole situation. Um, click on them. Okay, I'll check it out in a minute. Cause these actually, yeah, these do look special right here. So I guess maybe we'll have a Starian do that. A Starian, you can totally do this. Uh, the mushroom circle. But won't that won't that second one teleport me away? Cause I, I'm or the first one teleport me away? Cause that's what happened last time, and I'm really wanting to not have that happen just yet. Um, you know what Astarian needs? We need to give him a potion of hill giant strength. The blue one connects you to the bottom if you want to take Astarian. Oh, uh, well, you know what I could do instead? Potion of hill giant strength. Twenty-one strength, which means his jumps are crazy. He's playing crazy taxi. You're doing crazy taxi. Go on up there, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Really strong Astarian moves. That's my way of doing it. That's my way of doing it. And now we're golden. Now we're here. Yes, now we're here. Group all. Great. We did it. Uh, group all's drag race. Um, We've got... Uh, Thank you again, Ashley Hartsey. That was very sweet. We got a lovely Mackenzie dropping three dollars. Thank you very much, lovely Mackenzie. And lovely Mackenzie says, um, hey, Damien, just want to say thank you for being an inspiration. I really appreciate that. Thank you. That was very sweet. I'm, I'm just a normal old person, but if I can help you with anything at all by existing, that's very sweet, and I will happily take the dang compliment, and I thank you. Thank you. Starry Undiscovered Leg Day. Yes, actually, I was thinking of working my dummy thick thighs. Is that a problem, darling? <laughs> okay, where is this going to take us? Overgrown tunnel. This is so cool. Experiences. Experiences. I love everything about this. Pork loin, whole chicken, and a cleaver. That's usually good. This doesn't seem witchy at all with the skulls and the fey magic and all that. I'm sure it's actually great that the skulls and candles and earthen bottles are here with a cleaver and a bunch of dead meat. Um, I, I think that's so cool that that's happening. I mean, we might as well take it. Pork loin. I love barns. Dead chicken with a candle. Very normal. Very normal. Is it the hag's place? I think it could be related to it, but I certainly don't think it's 
the thing. It doesn't look like the thing to me. Um, so let's see here. Okay, so we got more we got more jumpy situations, huh? Starian, oh, you lead the way this time, you big old beefy old beef thighs. You old beef thighs, man. Oh, guess not. Maybe not. We do jumps. No, no, no. Maybe we do hmm. We mushroom our way up elsewhere. Okay, y'all. So I am going to... Um, oh, wait a minute. This door. Okay, so that's the same kind of door that the hag had previously. And we know what that means. False door, baby. Yep, there we go. Wait, what do you mean can't get there? What do you mean can't get there? I can get there. I can get there. I can do it. Uh, Lovely Mackenzie says, did this uh, not show my whole message? I guess not. No. That's all that we've got right here um, for, the, for the message. If there is more, please let me know, and I would love to hear it. Okay, we're going to shoot the door now. I can't speak to the door like I thought I'd be able to. Um, how about Arlac? Attention. You got some beefy weaponry. Lockpicking impossible. Okay. Astarion's got fire, and I know it's afraid of fire. We knew that from last time. Medium toughness. Okay, it doesn't love that. Huh. Bethany says, were you able to see mine? It must not be working. There's a couple... There's a couple that are, like, not really working right now. I don't know, Bethany11. I'm sorry. I actually wasn't able to see you. Um, okay, I am going to go ahead and uh, ask for backseat gaming now. What do I miss? What am I missing here? You still have one of the hag's masks. Oh, I do. Oh, I would have never, I would have never seen that. Oh, Bethany's was the in chat donation. So Bethany, I appreciate it. And I will do my best to go back and look. The difficult thing about the like in chat donations is they, um, they don't, they go so quickly because I'm reading chat through a different service and I'm checking chat itself um, and all that good stuff. So it is a little tough sometimes when someone does the chat message because it's very easy to miss. It's not saying that I'm not trying to look at it, but um, can you write your chat in message? Yes, of course, lovely Mackenzie. And also, if you want to make sure it gets seen, because again, it's in chat and it might be a little bit difficult to see, um, message it to one of the mods. Um, the mods will absolutely make sure it gets seen, uh, such as Wayward Jaybird. Oh, uh, Bethany's message said, I just want to say thank you, Damien. I recently lost my cat, who I love dearly. Watching you and Smosh has been one of my comforts. I, first of all, I really appreciate you. Oh, losing a pet is so hard and cats are just such sweet animals that I know you really connect to. Um, I am so sorry. That is extremely difficult and I'm very sorry to hear that you're going through that. Please, please, please take care of yourself. Find fun little ways to honor your cat and, you know, go visit some memories around the house maybe. But I, I am deeply sorry that you're dealing with that because that really, really sucks. Um, please be so sweet to yourself. Please be so, so, so sweet to yourself. Um, and good luck. Thank you for the message as well. Um, okay, great. So we have the mask now. We're good to go. We're good to go. Don't touch me. How silly. How silly that we didn't know that. I love that they're friends. I love that they're friends. Back to leaving camp now. All right. So now, so when we talk to, or do we actually have to put on the damn mask? Fucking impossible. I guess I'll put it on. Didn't work great for us last time we saw someone who had uh, that on. You know what I mean? It wasn't great for them. It was really not great for them at all, even a little bit. They really, uh, they kind of turned crazy. They kind of turned crazy. Oh, and I also didn't use the memory shard. Look at it. Dull crystal. But now we have all this intelligence. Try to focus, try to determine its function because we have Arcana and we get extra from intelligence. So smart, we're so smart now. Add a bonus from Guidance, we should be able to do this. We got a plus, minimum of plus five, up to plus nine. There we go, that's the move. You heard it's like described before. A memory shard used to store brief mental impressions from the user's mind. Ooh. I'm going to gently probe the thoughts with it. Why not? We got Chris Biggs dropping 25 flipping dollars. Thank you very much, Chris Biggs. I appreciate you saying, um, that's very generous tip. Saying, uh, a damnation. <laughs> that's funny. Um, 
Yeah, damnation for some foods and to support. I appreciate it. Thank you. Usually I say we're not calling them donations because I'm not like a charitable entity and it's just you tipping me. But a damnation is a very funny name, so I'll take it. Thank you very much. Uh, get it? Because you're Damien. It's a t I guess it'd be a dip or a, a, a dip, demip or a tamian. Um, okay, I'll go back to lurking now. This counts as my social interaction for the day. Hell yeah, it does. You did a great job. Um, Chris Biggs, I appreciate you. That was very sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Oh, that one. No, we got to undo it. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not letting that one happen on this cool memory brain. <laughs> I'm going to save scum. We're going to get the story we want to get. We don't have to get the best item all the time. We didn't end up making that dude drop his weapon to get an even better item. It's fine. I just want to do this. It's going to be cool. Um, also, we got a lot of new followers today. A lot of new people watching too. So welcome on in and thank you for doing that. Um, it's lovely it's like to see you and meet you. Before. Gently probe the thoughts within. Very is good. Isn't it? The crystals glow swells. Swollen little glow depths. crystals. You are transported somewhere deep, loud, and hot as the hells themselves. Within okay. the underdark's bowels, beyond an ancient stronghold. Hovers a giant hammer waiting to fall. An echoing clang, and you're back to yourself. I guess that would have helped us would before. Have sense of a place, a grand forge. Because we already did the grand forge and we're fine, so we didn't need to know that and everything's fine. So now I'm going to equip the witch mask and hopefully survive that, because again, wasn't great before. Oh, I get uncanny sight. Nice. So now can I just walk on through? Oh, I can. Can everyone else? Yeah, nice. Okay, so this is going to be a whole thing. Another witch battle? There's no way this is the same witch battle, is it? This can't be the same area. There just has to be more witches, right? I'm very curious. Just so we don't waste time, I'm going to allow for the backseat gaming. Is this uh, the same witch battle? Is this is this wasting my time? You have it already mapped? I do. Oh, it's the same area. That's so strange to me. Okay, well, it's still cool that we did all the things. It's still cool that we did that. And so that's the only benefit of going to this area in the first place. That was all that there was. All right, well, that's a bit of a waste of time. Everything's fine. <laughs> Are we really at 17? Nat ones. It helps you get past all the traps. Uh, okay, so I found it backwards. And there's multiple entrances to the Underdark. This is one of them. Okay, well, everything's fine. <laughs> huh? It's, tell you what, it's not a waste of time if you have fun. And I'm having a great time, everyone. Nothing's wrong now. So now we get to get this Sylvan Stone and then teleport to the bottom. And it will be great. Ooh, any goodies up here? Probably not. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now we get to explore whatever that city is down there. Still a cool discovery. Yeah, and we still have to do all the things with the Gyanki Kresh. There's just so much to do. A full message from lovely Mackenzie. Um, thank you for being an inspiration. I hit affiliate after two months of streaming, and I'm so happy because I thought it would take months. You and Smosh have helped me through dark times. Uh, lovely Mackenzie, major congratulations to you. You've got a lot to be proud of. Um, making affiliate is not easy, and so I really hope you're proud of yourself. That definitely speaks to your hard work doesn't happen for everybody you know even if they do work hard but the hard work has to be part of it so i'm really stoked for you um and i hope you're feeling good about yourself did you want to equip the hag mask i sure did i've got my beautiful little circlet now um so thank you very much um hey we got a story brook ending i know brooke what's up brooke uh thank you for dropping six 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 box 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 and 66 cents nice uh thank you so much saying Hey, Damien, Shane, Chelsea, and I were hanging out and saw you were streaming and wanted to say hi. Also, Shane says, Damien is a bona fide booty shaking balloon boy. Yeah, you know, Shane, Shane do be saying that all the time, every day. Um, I have no idea what it means, but I think it's a high compliment. We hope you're doing well. Thanks, y'all. Hi, if you're still watching. So just giving context to everyone else, um, Shane and Chelsea, uh, not the Shane you know from Smosh, a different Shane who I've known for many, many years. Um, Shane and Chelsea are engaged to be wed. Um, and I will be the, um, oh, hello. What is this? Arcane turret. That's not great. It's going to be a whole thing. 
Um, it's going to try to shoot at me, but it's not good at lightning. Okay, we can definitely take this thing down. Um, so Shane and Chelsea are going to be married, and I'm going to be um, the minister for their wedding. Um, and then Brooke is the maid of honor, and then Brooke and I are singing a duet for Shane and Chelsea's... I think it's for the first dance. Um, I don't know exactly, but that's uh, pretty neat and pretty wild, and it's coming up pretty soon. Holy crap. And I'm sure y'all are more nervous than I am. Ha <laughs> ha. Not enough movement. Okay, shoot. So we have this arcane terror situation. Is it better if I hide against the wall? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna be safe if I hide against the wall. Let me do a blade ward on myself, and then we're good. Oop. Next, I wonder. Um, she should, uh, oh God, she's almost out of spell charges. We need to do a rest for everybody. Wait, where's, where's Asterion? Trust me. No, okay, so they're all just sitting right there. Got it. Get on with it. Um, we need to bless everyone else. Here, and then here, and then here, er, here. Wait. Everyone's blessed. Nice. Hashtag blows. Up. There we go. Okay, so now I think Carlac can probably go lay some smack down. Lay down the smack down on this fella here. What's this? Disadvantage. That's fine. Oh, it's it's sturdy. Oh wait, what does sturdy mean? Oh, sturdy just means uh it's rather strong. Only a hit that deals at least ten damage can damage it. Okay, we'll tell you what, bud. Tell you what, little champion. Um, asking ye shall receive. Oh, 10 damage is our max for a ranged attack. Why not try? All right, still sturdy. All right, fine. Everything's fine. It's cool. A stallion can do way more than 10 damage with a shot. It's an advantage against the target. Can you hide? You can hide. Excellent work. Now you can't have disadvantage. Again, I'm hidden, so why am I not? Why don't I have disadvantage? Or why do I have disadvantage? That's very silly. Well, his ranged attack could hit. We don't know. Okay, none of it's hitting. Fireball. Oh, I think it's uh, immune. Great, everything's fine. Who cares? Damn, don't shoot my baby. Carlock, you good? Everything fine? Yeah, you're good. She's good. Dude, she's chilling. Everything's fine. Um, all right, anything around here I need to check out? More bullywug trumpets. Oh my god, these things are like a mess. These things are real strong. I don't love that. Cunning action dash. Dash tag bless. Um, oh wait, he has the ability to do shatter once for short rest. I mean, that'll do, that'll do the damage for you right there. Yeah, 13 damage on him. Nice. Um, and now that my ranged attack can also do way more damage. Uh, mobile flourish. Shoot him. I really don't have enough movement to do a ranged attack on him? I don't get, I guess he is pretty far. Okay, fine. Then I guess I will simply try to normal shoot him. I can't do that either. I will wait. Everything's fine. Guide me. Let's try this way. Okay, we're in the arcane tower and i feel like this is going to be important so let me ask y'all this because i entered arcane tower i am going to need a long rest soon there is some stuff going down i'm going to need a long rest is that going to do the thing where it screws me up because oh you didn't rest soon enough you did a whole thing where you didn't rest soon enough uh oh is that what's happening now because i didn't rest soon enough or i like this is not time sensitive okay great come on 10 damage ah come on 10 damage Ah! Fine. And Carlac is just getting rocked. But uh, hey, that armor, that armor sure is great on her. And now she can do this whole situation. Do a little jumpy. Do a little jumpy. And now her main hand attack is much more likely to do proper damage to it. But it didn't though. Is that the thing? Okay, but it didn't. <laughs> fun, fun, fun for all of us. But now my range sneak attack is doable because there's an enemy engaged with it. Are you serious? This is wild to me. Very, very quiet. Just have to keep going. Mobile flourish range. Let's go. Still? Are you serious, Jimmy? I can't believe that right there. Uh, I can't teleport to him. No. There we go. Now I can teleport to him. 
And now I can do damage sometimes, I guess. It's resistant to most damages, but it's sturdy. So if, if you don't do more than 10 damage in one hit, it doesn't count as doing any damage. That's the problem. So I keep doing damage that clearly rolls it a nine or less. There we go. So that one did 14 damage and that counted. So now we're good. Oh, we all leveled up. Except for Astarian. Sorry, why did Astarian level up? That sucks. Aw, oh, buddy. Poor little guy. He's so left out, dude. It sucks, dude. Excellent turn, I guess. Good turn, yeah. Great. Who, who's, whose turn is it? Exit turn, base mode. Okay, so now we're all back to being good. Poor Astarian didn't get his special little murder, murder points. He didn't get any murder points. Oh, yeah. so. I mean, that really sucks. Oh, I hate that for him. We'll see all the... I suppose I found a thing. This looks very trappish. There's a campfire. That's nice. Shattered anvil. Heavy chest. Okay. Locked heavy chest. Let's let's lock the chest. Maybe he'll get murder points for this one. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, we did it. Um, do you get any points for that, Asterion? Special hammer called Skybreaker? That's sick. You get Searing Smite as an evocation spell. This is the most dwarven thing I've ever seen. There were for sure dwarves here. Letter to Irre. Okay, so we gotta get a star in the level up. We gotta do a special little extra damage on this guy over here. Arcane turret and whatnot. Um, so we're gonna have a Starian, like, hide. It's probably really close. I would agree, it's probably really close. Everyone's survival failed! That's awesome. I love that there's something that's just gonna happen and we don't know what. Send a camp. Great. <laughs> Letter to Ir. I don't know if you're coming back or if you'll even read this message. But if you do come back, would you wait for me? I'll only be gone a few ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but Bernard to fill these holes. I don't know how much longer I can take that. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been if I'd only been less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions, my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns, waking up next to you. Despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, you wait. I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. A few sentences, a pendulum alone, a different hand. I waited. I waited until Tarsic. I'll always wait for you, but you didn't come. <gasps> Oh, that's so sad. I hope he's not dead, but I don't know who these characters are. If they could be. Um, we've got a hammer for one of these folks. Maybe that could be nice. Oh, we still didn't fuse together those other weapons. All right, so let's check that out real quick. So hammer for potentially her. Drow studded leather armor. That's so good. I just wish it was good for us. Um, we can deposit this to camp. Slippery chain shirt. Also very good, but not good for us in this way. Send a camp. Um, Nettie's gloves. I'm gonna combine. Oh wait, did does he have? No, we have both parts. Okay, great. Let's let's combine real quick, and then we'll level up. Progress. Oh, interesting. Luck and Lofi says he's close, but if you're ever close with one of these characters and you can't find other enemies, you can go to camp, have them leave your party, and then join, and then they will also level up. That's actually super great to know. Thank you. Um, all right, let's fuse these things and see what we get. At this point, it's been so long, we may not even get something good. Oh, there was something else. Icy metal, icy held. Is there... Oh, I wonder where we find the third thing. That's too bad. Hope it's not anything we sold. I guess we haven't been selling much stuff lately anyway, so whatever. We got, uh, Nemean Lion dropping. Six, 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 box, box, box. Thank you very much, Nemean Lion. West of the Mykonid Village. Oh, well, there you go. Um... Me and Lion says, finally caught a stream on my birthday and was able to sub earlier. Hey, happy 26th birthday. 26 is an amazing year. Um, can't wait to not be insured. Lol, have fun in the Underdark. I got my TPK my first time there. TPK is a D&D term for y'all. Um, total party kill. Search your inventory for Icy. I don't think I have it from anyone else, but we can try it. Um, nope. Um, all right. West of the Mykonid Village. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to search for that then. Um... But yeah, that's that's uh happy happy birthday to you. Birthdays are wonderful. 
Birthdays are flipping wonderful. 26 is a great year. You got so much to learn, so much to experience, and everything's awesome. Let's have advantage against the target. Well, then let's uh, let's battle it. Battle it. Go. Uh, sturdy. Um, okay. Well, let's go turn based then. Turn burst base mode. You can't just keep shooting me. That's rude. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bane this thing. Bane this thing, Batman. Hey, it is. Ah, oh, it's. Wait. Okay, it saved its fail on Bane, so it has been Bane. Great. In turn. Um, now, Astarian, you get to try to sneaky boy attack it. No, someone else has to try to attack it first, and then you get to sneaky boy attack it. Um, I'm gonna do reckless attack from Carlock. Oh, level up. There we go. That worked. He leveled up. That's awesome. Branding Smite. We're gonna do a long rest on this anyway, so why not? Melee Branding Smite. Super strong. God, that flipping kills me, dude. I hate that so much. Good job, Astarion. You're a very good boy. You did it. You're gonna do Sacred Flame. Let's go. Ah! No murder points for you. No murder points for you. Um, alright. One more. Sacred Flame. Let's try it again. Same thing twice. There we go. That worked. Oh, now it's, it says it's alive again, which is weird. I guess we can just smash it while it's down and then we'll level up everybody. Never mind. Okay. Oh yeah. We can just break it while it's down. That turned it off and now we can just destroy it. Now we can just straight up destroy it. Yeah. Do a murder. Do a murder. You're fine. You're fine. Cool. I wonder what we get for actually killing it though. Maybe it's not a good thing, but I'm I'm curious. Nice critical hit. Wait, it's still considered alive at this point. So I guess we just break it more and more. Let's try it. Flourish and turn. Was it just back up? Oh, it's just off balance. Interesting. Environmental turn. Yeah. So it's just stuck and it has temporary hit. Oh, she would have temporary hit points. No one else does. Um, off balance. Oh, critical hit. So it just keeps coming back to life. I don't think there's any way it can not be murdered fully. Um, so in a second, we are going to go back to camp and level all our peoples up. This is a cool thing. This ornate door. This is an arcane tower. I don't know a single thing that's in here, and I'm really excited to explore. Um, there's stuff over here, too. Y'all said that um, going west of the Myconid village had the extra part of that icy thing. I'm curious to know if that's worth it um we don't have a quick travel thing quite yet so i'm not going to use that um but eventually if it's west of the mic and village i would probably oh maybe it's even down here at that spot, spot we didn't um look at um i'm, I'm very 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 curious um, so let's go back to camp exit turn base uh long rested camp you get a purple weapon Ooh. okay interesting interesting uh, I don't think I'll be streaming too much longer today just because I do have some errands to do. Um, it does make something cool if you combine it. So that's, I mean, that's generally the goal and I do appreciate that. My hope is that that is the case, but yeah. Okay, so extra bard stuff. Ooh, I've got extra features, extra subclass fe features. These are all really good things. So I can pick a new level three spell. We have fear, we have feign death, glyph of warding, hypnotic pattern, plant growth is very interesting to me. Speak with dead is something that is just going to sort of keep coming up, huh? Um, knock is important. Invisibility is important. En enhance ability is important. Detect thoughts. Battle of daggers. Calm emotions. Um, I think... Stinking gas spells. Um, they're easier to hit and can't move if they're afraid. Feign death. Of a warning. I really don't, um... I really don't know which one to go for for these level threes. He's still in Act 1. What's up, Austin? Yeah, we're taking our sweet time in Act 1. I am very, very, very much uh, doing so. Because um, I won't. Give nice creatures that can see the pattern. So that would also include my friends. So I definitely don't want to do that. Detect an image so frightening it makes targets drop everything and become fearful. If they drop things, that might be kind of cool. Because then we can get some goodies. But it is another concentration. These are all concentration spells. Damn. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, yes, all shops do refresh when characters level up. I am aware of that one. Speak with the Dead is also good. 
we might as well just have that on hand just in case oh shoot i didn't swap out all the other things damn it oh hold on. shadow heart you level up everything's fine do it level six cleric that's great pretty great prepare spells um what do we not need hold person has been so disappointing for us oh she knows speak with dead too damn it hold person has been disappointing because it always has to be a humanoid so i'm like oh i've got to make sure um you know we stop this big old monster that's coming our way and then hold person happens it's like well you're not really a person you know when you think about it you're not really a person i was like damn it arlac tell me she gets a feat or something for level six she deserves it Ooh, we get more uh chances to do our rages there and she also gets mindless rage your rage becomes all consuming and repelling outside influence when frenzied you can't be charmed frightened or calmed emotions um that's actually kind of awesome and then finally asterion ah oh boy level up way past cool oh uh, we can change his skills okay oh we would swap out deception persuasion for like for what acrobatics we don't really need acrobatics we haven't really needed that so far perception might be better than deception you know what? yeah we've already got some some charming lads we've also got a performance lad i think we can do persuasion and and perception just in case because you know people walk by and it's just like a normal um you know it's this whole situation of being like oh, perception failed as you just walk into a room and it's like mm, it'd be nice to not have to worry about that all right so that wasn't the fanciest level up but that's okay um i am gonna look up the icy combination thing oh i left my phone i left my phone elsewhere when i grabbed that snack shoot shoot um but that's okay speak with dead is not a ritual oh it is a ritual oh so outside of actions i can just do it that's actually kind of great that's kind of great um i'm also going to um quickly look for the traveler's chest here and see if if i have the icy thing quote unquote in there um because i know that's the third part of the weapon it sure would be nice to be able to find it oh that's right i can't search in here so stupid that i can't do that i don't even know what i'm looking for uh, i don't know what i would be looking for in terms of icy things to combine with other things because i don't think it's a special colored item either well, let's see it would probably be like another stick of some kind hmm you know what to those who actually did know exactly what to do you don't have it yet says klondike okay klondike thank you very much um so that being said what i'm thinking is there's a specific spot to oh man by asterion's elixir of hill giant strength you will be missed um what i'm thinking being illicit oh um so about your our tadpole powers you really did it huh not worried about adding more illithid into the mix well what can i say you look fine you look fine smell fine you smell fine seem fine you seem fine and yet mm. you're more mind flyer than ever well i hope you don't expect we'll me fix to follow it. your lead in this um it's your choice no, not at all. Good. Yeah. And you know, keep an eye on Starion yourself. is a voice that he wants to do leaky, that. Shout. We don't yeah. know what these tadpoles are capable of. Yeah, very much so. Um, so maybe a Starion down the road, but not not her. She doesn't want that. That's okay. All right, time for us to heal on up. Um, so Nimi and Lion, I hope you have a fantastic birthday. Um. Let's see here. We got Anon dropping six, six, six bucks, bucks, bucks. Thank you very much, Anon. Whomever you may be saying, thank you for the kind words and messages in chat. I won't go into all the details because this is not one of the subreddit videos. I entirely respect that. Yep, live your life, keep your privacy. Um, it's definitely, I'm definitely on a self-discovery journey and working through it. Uh, and it's nice to know that others can have experience similar. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, it's not, what you're experiencing and talking about is not, that crazy of a thing like i think a lot of people have gone through sort of similar things where it's like oh you know does someone understand me in this specific aspect of my life and you know what if something is a change for you and you're with a partner as much as you oh hello counter charm interesting um as much as you want to always you know feel like they're there and they should be there for you 
a change is also a change for them you know so as long as they're not making it like about them they're allowed to have you know a little bit of time to adjust to some things you know you and any ally allies within nine meters have advantage or saving throws against charms and being frightened okay so that's another class action that we got a little class action lawsuit cool um so now we leave camp after resting here's bugs and vanished i'm sorry austin yeah we have the owl bear and it's great I'm kidding it's just it's it's normal you're not missing too much it's just a sweet little bean all right so somebody said that um and i did specifically ask for this the um the other icy piece that i want is west of the myconid colony so are you talking about sort of near this quest marker or are you talking about more like in this little spooky area that i have not been in here yet that's what i'm asking and i am allowing backseat gaming for this one because i don't want to spend a bunch of time searching for it we're not going to be streaming for too much longer um all right let's hear attic lesbian is dropping 369 nice uh thank you very much attic lesbian saying don't have much to give at the moment well you never have to and it's very sweet of you to have done that but you never have to so thank you truly thank you but again you don't have to do that um let's see okay it's in the spooky area i haven't explored it thank you um so i'm gonna go from there i'm gonna start over here and go from there um uh wondering what your dream dice might be i make custom resin dice and i would love to send you a set I'm loving Sword AF in your streams here. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. Um, I don't, um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I haven't thought about, um, what my dream, like, resin dice would be. And it's very nice of you to offer, and I will, I appreciate that, and I would certainly take you up on it. I think I would just need maybe some time to think about that, because I haven't before, and I'm not creative in that kind of design way. So, if you're comfortable waiting a little bit, um, would you mind waiting a little bit so that, um, we can we can sort of talk about it later would that be okay um that's very sweet of you though thank you truly 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 all right so i need to go actually this way i need to go back down this way to the spooky area I, in which i have not explored um thank you very much y'all uh hey we got the devil may sing dropping 25 flipping gift subs what are you even doing that's really really nice of you beyond generous um i appreciate that a lot um the devil may sing oh this is the area we didn't go down of course because i think things started exploding as we walked down that'll do it um the devil may sing is giving to uh logic mech ducky vt gabis 13 pauper j glicks uh moon with a bunch of numbers call me fatty um the hasselhoff yup yup deceived cashew chamomile luck and lo-fi walnut ship samantha skidmore rp jeep that's funny uh the mad dad k angel um it is what it is rika slayer uh prodigal soul it's fine 157 cassie dylas or delas handy first yugi ro and then uh lord of zagot thank you so much for that sub bomb that is very 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 nice um welcome to all the newbies welcome back to so many of you is okay, so that's not the thing we needed it could it be on the mic and it i'm just gonna search everything here in this spooky area upon which i have not explored a dead dwarrier None of these are spooky things that I need. Okay. I don't love the little mist hanging in the air. That looks a little bit um foreboding. And the fact that there's a, even a spot over here makes me think that there could be something going on. It's going to be like, perception check. You failed it. Ooh, can I jump to places? I don't even see where I would jump, but can I? Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, hello? A death? It just says death. Death. Yeah, so I don't want to jump uh, just off a cliff. That's generally something I don't want to do. Um, okay. We're going to find it. We're going to find this thing. A third part of a cool weapon, and I want that. Rogue's Morsel. Could be down here. Could be anywhere, really. Oh, I mean, this looks like a executed Eve Gnome. I mean, they could have something spooky on them. That could be important. More mushrooms. And also, now we can use the speak with the dead situation. First, I'm going to steal. Okay. Not you. <gasps> Short sword of first blood. Deals an additional one, additional one to eight piercing damage to targets that still have all their hit points. That's kind of sick. That's kind of great. Um, ooh, there's little tracks down here. That could also be where 
the stuff we need is just gonna explore all of it you know all right um let's try speak with dead because it's a ritual and then it doesn't have to use a spell slot hey man what are you up to what are you feeling what are you thinking the corpse uh, the devil may sing thank you again very much that was very sweet of you noella rh is dropping six 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 bucks 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 69 cents thank you very much can we climb these we can't climb these no, no, no. um let's see here i'm gonna cast feather fall on everybody because we deserve it it's another ritual i didn't even think about that god we can just be doing this all the time you love to see it um, oh, I guess there was a, just a spot right there. Oh, okay. Nothing on you. Nothing on you. Nothing on you. Oh. Crooked wand to fireball. There's a catch. Single use. That's really funny. Hold on. Um, so first of all, Noella says, D Hi, Damien. I think you're great. I appreciate you, Noella. That's very nice. Um, my spouse started enjoying uh, Baldur's Gate 3 while we watched your stream, so I just got it for him. That's so sweet. Thanks for always being a bright spot in my day. Oh, I love that. I hope y'all can have some fun time playing together and it doesn't consume one of your lives too much. You know, that can always be a thing. Um, but I think that's great. That's truly wonderful. I'm happy to hear it. Oh, wait, can we move the wheelbarrow? Anything under the wheelbarrow? Can I dig under the wheelbarrow? Nothing interesting buried here. Nothing interesting. Um, that looks like a caved-in kind of cave situation. I am very curious if it is a caved-in kind of cave situation. Carlax, right? I guess there maybe isn't anything in there. It just sort of looks like a there's a little bit of flavor to it. There's a little bit of flavor to it. Can't reach the destination. Okay. Can you ride in the wheelbarrow? If you're good, well, we'll see about next year. Um, I guess not. Um, right. well dig under there. There's got to be something cool hidden go. under a little wheelbarrow. No use digging here. No use digging here. All right. Okay, so I'm starting to get a little bit lost, and I think we're doubling back into a place we've been before. Where is the third icy piece that we have not found before? Does anyone have any insight on where that is? Again, I am turning on Backseat Gaming because I am long. Um, and we have now explored this area that was not there. Um, could be back up here. Could be around there. Nearer to the marker on the top left. So you're talking like up and about over here. So tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go on the map. So are you talking like it's over here, like closer to the beach, beach, or should I be over there where? Oh, that quest went away. We were supposed to look for that lady's husband, and that quest fully went away. Is that what it was? A drow has it west of the myconids. There's a big tree. That's some helpful right there. Um, there's a big. tree three you say okay um okay well then i'm just gonna shoot north from here and maybe one of the that looks kind of tree-ish that looks tree-ish no the husband is the marker oh got it good i'm glad i didn't uh, destroy that um this map is so pretty it is pretty it's a little hard to navigate sometimes but i think maybe that's the point that also looks like a big tree that's a big tree right there let's let's go give it a shot the map is huge you haven't uncovered it on the map yet aha so it's sort of in that west area that I haven't explored. Oh, is it like over here? Let's try that. Let's go a little west. Why not? Well, I see why not, because there's not really a way to get there. That's fine. Everything's fine. Um, we know we destroyed all these things. Yes, says Demonacha. Okay. Oh, that's this is where we need to go. All right, I guess we'll just watch our characters as they figure out how to get there now. That's funny. <laughs> um okay devil may saying thank you again for that that was really really nice um yozora As asedia dropping 569 nice uh thank you very much yozora i appreciate that um thank you there's no message to that so i'm just gonna say thank you that's very very sweet of you i very much appreciate it you should mind my staff very very kind of you dread hollow oh man this is where all the good stuff happens for sure we know that Couple, uh, a quick save successful. Um, that's a skeleton. Oh, a hook horror. Hey, that's a new kind of thing that we haven't seen before. That's kind of a whole thing. 
Um, very curious what the hell that's going to mean for us. Um, let's... I'm going to inspect it real quick, examine it. It has multi-attack if the target is prone. So we don't want to be prone. We don't want that to happen. Um, all right, so it's just a spooky little guy. It's just a spooky little guy. Let's do a murder at it. I think that's probably fine. We'll probably be okay. Um, what if we do a sneaky little... Oh, well... <laughs> We'll never know. <laughs> um, mobile flourish range. Okay, it's a disadvantage because it's outside of our normal scope. Let me go this far and see if that's any better for me. Mobile flourish range. Not bad. You can do it. Critical hit. Boom, baby. And now we also get to teleport to it, which is just a delay. Oh, but now it's literally too far because we hit it too far. That's actually extremely silly. Um, and this is also all too far. Well, this is stupid. Um, we have all these opportunities. Oh, wait, being level six, we can now do two flourishes and a move with an extra attack. That's actually really sick. Um, so we may not be able to hit it from here, but if we shoot an arrow of fire right there, um, it, it will maybe hit. Because it can, it can uh, yeah, there we go. What? Oh, it's just, I'm trying to singe its little toesies and that didn't work. Shoot. Let's turn someone inside out. Right, story. Yes, yes, darling. Mm -hmm. Here. I'm sorry, I'm going to shoot you from above. Um, normal shooty attack. 65%, let's go. Critical hit. Amazing. Fuck yeah. Arlock with the potty link. Ow. Um, she could be she more over she... here. And then tell you what. Oop, what did we succeed on? What did you succeed on? What's going on? What was about to murder us? I hate that. I hate that noise when you can't see anything. It really does suck. Um, all right, Carlac, you're just gonna have to chill for a minute. Let's do. Let's do nothing, I guess. All right, and now we've got um, Shadow Heart. I do think it's probably a good idea to have her bless some of our folks. We can only we can only reach Astarian and myself, and then her Carlex is gonna feel. Check the combat log to see what it was. Let's see. Um, it didn't it didn't show me what it was, so I guess I must have failed on it. That makes sense. Hunter's Mark, I can cast on that, so we do more damage to it. Nice. Oh wait, the Susser Bloom. We needed to find that bloom. Oh, we needed that for a different quest. And it was like, I don't even, we failed a nature check and we didn't reload. So it was just kind of like, oh yeah, we don't even know where we would find a Suser Bloom. We need that Suser Bloom and we don't have it. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this the drow that I would need to find? Ilro the Forgotten. Great. It is weird to me that there's like no um, friendship moves for the drow right now. Maybe if I were a drow, it'd be different. But like so many of them have just been absolutely rocking us and there's just not much i can do um uh-oh not great <laughs> so we're not doing great here carlac is hypnotized what does that mean i so i can help her to undo that got it who's whose turn would be next uh it'd be another hook horror and then carlac oh wait um philro the forgotten is the one that is um doing the hypnosis stuff where are you where are you philro can I hit you from here? I hit you from here? I don't I do have advan disadvantage. That's not gonna work. Um hamstring shot versus flourish. Or brace. Piercing strike for gaping wounds. Uh, can I shatter him? Nope, 45 damage. Alright, let's do a let's do a hamstring shot. Let's try it. Ah, critical miss! That sucks. I sure would want to have hit him. <laughs> now they see me. Bummer, we have not done that. So I am, wait, oh, he's not hypnotized, great. Well, that's good, because now we can do a bunch of cool damaging stuff. Um, mobile flourish, ranged. We hit him? Target too far, pads interrupted. All right, so let's just do a normal melee defensive flourish. So he's no longer hypnotized, which was a weird thing that was happening anyway. Um, 
now we'll do another defensive flourish on this guy wait it was ranged Aw, oh, damn it that's not what i wanted to do shoot dazed okay we're, we're good damn shadow heart is just so squishy on this he's gonna pounce on a starion oh man this is really wild firebolt on shadow heart yeah she's she's having a hard time shadow heart is back up which is nice um healing everyone for 15 is also good so we're gonna need to do that um preserve life nice and everyone is still blessed which is great um spiritual weapon we can have a mall show up where can we have it show up next to him next to our guy yes we can and now we can knock him down that's actually great um i am gonna get her away from this fight though another little pound situation don't hurt a starion he's our special guy um all right now I do want to do a proper murder on them again. Slashing flourish range. That allows us to shoot two enemies. I want to do that and then that. There we go. Tui, tui. Nice. Pretty good. And I can do another slashing flourish ranged, which is really great. Um, tui, tui. Tui, tui. Nice. We've done some good damage just now. I feel pretty stoked that that happened. Um, bonus action, bonus action. Okay, great. Starion, you don't have advantage on these guys, but you can do a nice little murder. Um, no, I don't have any of that. Okay, great. I keep, I keep trying. I know I keep trying. Main hand attack. Also, think with the weapon we just got, um, the new short sword, it might actually behoove us to try to, um, do an extra little murder on uh, or have a Starion go back to two weapon fighting. That could be the move. Um, concussive smash on him. Yes, stop hypnotizing us yes he's dazed nice this will be nice to just have up there to constantly hit him whenever he needs to that goes in the dark calling reinforcements no don't do that i don't like that at all like even the odds. hey carlac here's what you're gonna do you're gonna frenzy you're back with us so good to have you back carlac okay we're gonna do a little bit of a, a little, little, little bit of frenzy attack um extra little damage extra little damage and an extra little damage yes you got a hook who knew that that's what they would drop crazy to me that that happened mirror image oh i hate that he's such a jerk dude <gasps> no no an extra little spooky guy just showed up we don't want that even a little bit um okay okay we need to do extra damage to him right off the bat this is a cantrip so that'll just sort of happen saved Ah. come on dude 60% every time I should have hit him by now there we go nice sorry I picked this up oh boy wow. okay. um okay so Astarian if he comes up here will actually be able to do a lot better um cunning action dash which means he gets extra movement we gotta go way the hell up here and start doing some murder. He's gonna be hard to hit because he has a mirror image up now, which is really rough. Um, hey, we got Spacey Sev dropping 30 flipping dollars, you generous mother goose. Thank you so much. Spacey Sev, uh, thank you very much. Says, uh, your girl's got a date with sushi, honey meat, and a pumpkin spice candle. <gasps> Woo! That sounds like a perfect night, but I just wanted to wish you a happy night. Yours is such a calming presence. Thank you. So, excuse me, sorry for the burp. Is that calming? Was that nice? Um, did you like that I did that? Um, uh, you are such a calming presence, so thank you a million times for that. I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you saying that. Um, it is it is lovely to have you here in chat, and I hope you have a great time. And again, someone said something about drinking before, like, hey, I know you don't drink, but like, you know, I hope you have a, I hope you know it's fine that I'm enjoying my drink. So th that's not a judgment thing for me. And also, when I don't drink, like. It's not a matter of like, uh oh, I can't. This is going to be dangerous. You should be concerned if you ever see me out in public deciding to finally have a drink. Like, that's all fine. It's just more a matter of like, I drank um, with an ex that I had during quarantine. Like, it was kind of a thing that we did like a lot just because it was like, oh, it would be cute to play like a drinking game to this movie. 
and then eventually I was like, uh, um, you know, it's probably not super healthy to continually do this. And then when we broke up, I was like, yeah, I actually don't really care to drink. Um, so that's all it really is. Um, okay. So that, yeah, that's, that was the whole thing. Um, so yeah, you enjoy your drink. I don't care. Um, I hope you have a great time and have fun with it. Nice. Is he down? Oh, he's so close to being down. Damn. Wait, we can do it again. We're going to do another arrow of rolling thunder. So even if it's not going to hit him, the area of effect will. <gasps> Ooh. Yes. Kill a creature with falling damage. That's awesome. And I think the thing that he resurrected is also now dead, which is great. Which means I think we can just go get to get the goodies that he had. Yeah, it, it really sucks that this drow didn't um, try at all to, like, talk to us. He, we literally there we go icy crystal that's what we needed now we get all the good icy stuff and that's kind of awesome waypoint discovery oh no i don't want to i don't want to talk to the man i don't want to fight that guy the hook over not before i do all the cool stuff i wanted to do let's go over here everyone let's go over here um let's explore up there first or are we gonna have a starry and sneak to like spice up that waypoint all right so now we can do a combined situation so let's combine this with this and this What's going to be morning frost? It's a very rare quarter staff. Heart of ice. When dealing cold damage, the wielder deals an additional cold damage. Um, insidious cold. Uh, it can inflict chill on them. You also get ray of frost. That's so good. And I think when we do, when and if, because I am enjoying Bard, when and if we do eventually go back to Druid, that's kind of awesome. That's kind of huge. Um... All right, I'm going to ungroup. Starion, I need you. Be a sneaky little guy. And go explore this area and not be caught and not be caught. That's going to be so important that you don't be caught. Ancient sigil circle. There we go. Nice. So we discovered it. Now it's proper. We're good. Starion, I need you to group back up. And also, okay. now that... Damien exists with the, with the little spooky speak speak to dead people thing. I do want to know what he's up to. I'm going to be like, hey, why did you do that? any of that? Maybe he's not going to want to talk to us, though, because we did just kill him. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Mm. Glowing tree. What is it? It steals the weave. Protects me from the other. From the haters. What other Sargrim Dorn? Oh no, we kill them, dude. We also already used that. Only one of us may find. Well, um, you lived among those creatures. Oh, so he would eat a bunch of dead gnomes that were fed to him by hook hoverers. Also, who are you? You get five questions before a dead person falls back over. So I'm just like, eh. who's this guy again? For some reason, I just don't remember him. Uh, initial reality, he's not any. Like, we literally just showed up and he was like, get him. And we're like, all right. Like, bet. Why? But okay. Um, wait, can she do an animate? Dead. We haven't used her anime dead stuff yet. That's what it is. Interesting. Um, I do want to get that thing from that tree because that's going to allow us to do that one quest I couldn't do before. We needed to use a, a forge to make a different special weapon. And it was like, ooh, sorry, so sorry. You can't. You don't have this. Oh, a tattered scroll. It was like, ooh, you don't have um a special like thing from a special tree. Is getting drained. So Sir Flower, anti-magic. Oh, interesting. So that's why it didn't allow us to cast spells at certain points here. Can't cast spells, flower field. So I guess maybe we should probably do that uh, that other quest as quickly as we can. We'll, we'll grab all these other things. And then we'll do that quest. And then I'm gonna call it a stream because I need to eat, I need to finish laundry. Um, tattered scroll, we'll read that too. Grilled ribs, yes, 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 I want those grilled ribs. Oh, the anti-magic field is still fret is it still going or no no they're fine it's just hard because i'm holding it so you know oh no they keep getting um refreshed with it well yeah we'll deal with that in a minute here let's 
keeps reapplying that situation to me. Half eaten gnome. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, that was a whole bummer, huh? Um, when it's stuck, if we also raised him back from the dead, we're like, good news. You're actually going to be fine. But, but, but also, oops. Surprise. Okay, so we know that there's stuff to do here with the Susu tree. Exploring over here is a thing. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this on my map as just something to do. Alt. There we go. Um, something to do. Exclamation point. Great, 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 great. Um, also, maybe that gnome has something to say for us before we go. So we're going to do that. We're going to talk to the gnome. Oh, I can't cast. It can't cast magic. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. Everything's fine. Animal carcass. What's up here? Glad it's an animal and not another gnome. Um, open crate. Got that. Uh, burlap sack. We're golden. Anything else over here? Oh, there's a, uh, is that a, is that a book? Nope. Can't read that. All right. So we're going to go back to, where's waypoint? Um, the Blighted Village, because there was a thing where there is a forge, and we need to go find the forge with the with the sur sur tree. Um, search the cellar, find the cellar. There's a thing in the well, hidden goblin stash, something to do. Um, okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's search the cellar again. That's a thing. That's a thing for us for sure. Oh, sunlight, you said. Yeah, no, right? Crazy. Um, Song of Rest. At least Bardic music is not a spell. That's cool. Party press, let's go. Okay, let's go. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Ah, uh, yes, I wonder exactly what it is. Oh, my yes. So this is what we needed. The melting furnace, we needed a sur sur tree. I'm curious about this now. Can I use this right now? Bellows. Okay, so melting furnace plus... Oh, plus what? Does anyone know what we do here? Because it was the Surser tree thing, right? It was the whole Surser tree thing. Is that what we put there? You need the bark, not the flower? Oh, man! Matt goes, lol, 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 lol. Okay, thank you. Um, Was I in the right place then, though? Then why would I also... Wh okay, so is there a thing that I need to carry the Surser flower for? Or should I take it back to... Should I send it back to camp? Because right now, obviously, that... Kinda sucks. Um, right place, yes, just did the wrong thing. Okay. Um let me send that back to send it to camp. Um, yeah, because obviously that is a bummer. Um That was a huge bummer there. Send to camp. Uh Sir Sir Bloom is for a different quest. You don't need the flower on this quest. Okay. That's cool. Um, I also think maybe it's time for me to um switch bard classes because that will allow me to do all these different like light finesse weapons for my bard crooked wand of fireballs i don't trust that even a little bit where is the flower do i not have it anymore where'd it go did it did it leave me when i picked it up and left that's that's very weird Okay, well, that's going, which is, neat, which is neat. I need to go get that bark, though. Didn't you send it to camp? Did I? Did I do it just now? Okay, cool. Um, well, then let's travel back to the Surser Tree. Initiative? Oh, man, this thing already wants to fight me, dude. Got so many haters everywhere in the world, dude. I sure wish I didn't, dude. Defense of Flourish range. Um, all right, well, then pop on over there. Go ahead and do your defensive flourish, right? You do your thing. Dewey, nice. You should do a second one. Nope, second one doesn't work as well, I guess. Um, mobile flourish range. Sus tree. That's ridiculous, and I appreciate it. To me. Um, all right. Now it's your turn to do a sweet, sweet murder. Um, bless all your friends. Hashtag bless them. Have a spiritual weapon over here too. Well, we don't need it right now. Enter. Black. Over here. Do a little murder. Mysterious Besta dropping five dollars in Twitch chat. Thank you so much. Saying uh, thanks for being a caring entertainer. Was Sefi also asking who was going to Pax West? You go. Uh, Sefi was asking who was going to Pax West. You going? 
Um, probably not. I've had, it's a little bit late in the game, unfortunately, because I didn't plan on going. And then since then, I've had a couple different companies be like, hey man, are you gonna be there? And I'm like, well, damn, like I could have been if you'd hit me up at all sooner. I definitely could have planned for that. I just, I, I can't, I don't have, I don't have the ability now. So, you know, um, but now that, you know, Smosh is, you know, focusing a lot more on game stuff and all that, all those goodies, um, it's, it's possible I could end up doing some, um, some more con stuff here and there, you know, there was a time where I didn't as much just because we, it, it was a pandemic and all that good stuff and it didn't make sense. Um, all right. So, oh, there's nothing on the hook for it to grab. I can't, there's nothing to loot. Oh, there it is. Another hook. Thank goodness. There's another hook. Um, all right. So this is a tree. Um, another Surster Bloom. Maybe I send that to camp too. I'm assuming I can just get the bark by like hitting it with a knife, right? Can't I? Or do I have to really work on Is there a specific spot to get the Surster bark? I guess is what I'm asking. Climb the tree for the bark. Okay, cool. Oh, stick insect. I do see your tip. I just haven't gotten it to it yet. I'm so sorry. It does usually take me a minute or two to get to them. Um, what do you mean initiative five? What's battling me? Where is, oh, you bastard. Defensive flourish range with a disadvantage. So instead of that, I'm gonna do an arrow of darkness. Oh, it still sucks, doesn't it? Um, what's, what do we do now? Oil of sharpness, attack mode, oil of combustion. I'm just gonna do a normal, I'm gonna do a mobile flourish range. No, defensive flourish range. That's what we're doing. Nope. Uh, defensive flourish range, there we go. 42%, do you believe in me? I sure don't. <laughs> okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, very much disadvantage to hit him there. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, it's very oh, it's very yeah. There we go. That's some real damage right there. Radio, no. Stereo should be high. Harlag, you can also do a murder from over there because you have shooty gun weapons, right? You can do this kind of shooty gun. To it. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Damn. Huh? <laughs> Cersor Bloom. And then we send the Cersor Bloom to camp. There we go. Yep, that's the move. All right, so then let's get up here. Let's get up here. And then we'll murder those guys. Anything else over here that we'd need? Little blooms here and there, but nothing too crazy. There's the bark. We need that bark, baby. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Yeah, he's not doing so hot, for sure. There's your bloom. You need to go to the, you need to also go to camp. It's summertime and your parents don't have the ability to hang out with you right now because they work. So why don't you go to camp? Um, all right, silver tree bark. Sister tree bark. Updated, finish the masterwork weapon. Hell yeah, that's the move. We're doing it. We're really doing it. Um, what is over here? Maybe nothing. And that's the mushroom place where we need to help out that guy. Um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get us back to that location. We'll help out the mushroom guy at some point, I'm sure. Um, and then we'll probably call it a stream because we're coming up on six hours here and I got some errands to do. I got some voice acting. I gotta have a proper meal. Um, let's see here. Uh, we've got Stick Insect dropping 1666. Nice, that's my birth year. Um, thank you so much, Stick Insect. I really appreciate that. that that's very generous of you. Um, and they say a little thank you from one of my doggies. Oh, your doggy understands currency. That's pretty cool. Um, thank you so much. She's super afraid of thunderstorms, but really calmed down tonight, chilling while watching your stream, tilting her little head when you do different voices and thank you from a sleepy owner. It's 3.30 a.m. here. I appreciate that. That's very sweet. Um, well, thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Um, I also don't know, do I have the melting, fancy melting furnace? Okay. Now for, wait, what did he say now for a great sword? Blacksmith fellows. Um, uh, finish the masterwork weapon. Um, now we need to head back to the forge. Is there is there any weapon that I, that I put in here? It's, it's any weapon, or what am I what am I missing? Because I don't want to do anything wrong here. Um, 
dagger, dagger, sickle, or great sword. Is it any dagger or sickle or great sword? Um, I was trying to concentrate. Sorry, and you don't have to hide anymore, my guy. A basic dagger or a basic sickle or a basic great sword. Mm, let me think about this. Uh, dagger might be the move because I think we do want to switch him back to two handed. We could do great sword, but we would need to come back to. Oh, wait, that's a No, that's a short sword. Uh, we would need to come back from camp. Um, I think we found a sickle recently, but it doesn't really matter. So dagger, great sword. We have enough good two handed weapons. We don't really have any fancy, fancy daggers. We certainly don't have any fancy sickles, but we don't really use them. So I think I think the move is um, probably a dagger. I say probably dagger. And dagger. All right, great. All right, what now? I don't think that. Um, dagger. Is it a fancy boy? It's an offering. Hey, smart poppy says I have to go to sleep soon to make sure I get up uh, for the for my orientation for my PhD tomorrow. But thanks for all the laughs and great story. See you on Tuesday. That's so cool. Good luck. It's a big accomplishment. No wonder you need sleep. I wish you well. Good luck. You got this, smart poppy. And thank you again, stick insect. That was very nice. Um, Susser dagger silences targets on hit. Okay, so you know what? That's gonna be really great, great against uh, like assassinating um like mages right so we're gonna give this to astarian and then this scimitar which he can't use which drives me batty um you know what we can do if we switch my guy back to being two-handed instead of just one-handed for his weaponry um we could use this thing which is really good because <laughs> the hit is always critical from this thing which is really good um, and then also this thing. We could use both of them. And then we can give Asterion a dagger. Or actually, Asterion could use this too. 7 to 19. You know what? That might be really... How that would give Asterion a lot of opportunities to be like super assassin boy because it's all about the first mind. hit, um, right? Short sort of first blood. Let's um, send to Asterion. Asterion, so instead of Sword of Screams, you should have Short Sword of First Blood. And then this fancy Susser dagger. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Yes. And now he's back to having both again. Isn't that something? Those are both really strong. And so now for me, um, as the Damien character... What to do? We have, I'm going to sort this by type to see what kind of weapons we got here. So this Sword of Screams is a rapier with finesse, but it's not light. So we do need it to be light. So we have the Adamantine Scimitar, which again, I'd be sad to let go. But having a seven... Well, actually, does it have to be light? Yeah, it does. Um, it does have to be light, but we also have other weapons, right? Yeah, we do. I wish we could do the Falar Alave as well, because that's fancy. 9 to 18 versus 9 to 14. And this allows me to do better performance, but like, when have I used it? I also haven't used its performance aspect a single time. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going to keep this here for now, and then maybe we'll switch my character's class next time. What weapon is always a, a crit? Asks uh, Recline. It is this, the Adamantine Scimitar. Um, pretty fancy, pretty fancy. I sure wish... You know what I could have done? Oh my god, I could have just made two of them. That would have been bonkers. That would have been absolutely bonkers. Is there any other weapon I can do here as like a light weapon? Dagger, ritual dagger, plus one dagger. Uh, sister dagger, which is already equipped. Um, the short sword of first blood is also great. I could have done that. Skybreaker is cool, though it's not ideal as a bard. Anyway. Um, all right, y'all. We're going to go back to camp for a long rest. Um... And then we're going to call it a night on that stream. We also got a few more new subscribers. We've got uh, Da Menma, uh, or Da Menma, Atreyu5652, Rainbow Cat, Nip KV, Slimy Leech, and then Bethany11, gifted by Genocide Official. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, y'all. 
and i'll of course be reading out all the resubscribers hey if you're new here and you had fun today and which i certainly did so i hope you did too um i am a voice actor twitch streamer um i you may also know me from the youtube channel smosh and i stream tuesday thursday and sunday uh and that's very fun for me and i enjoy it um oh sort of screams is actually even better than this but oh well um so yeah that's that's me <laughs> um uh i also tend to add extra streams here and there when i so feel like it because why not um and also in addition to that i've started uploading all of my streams to the youtubes um they are usually a little far behind compared to everything else but it's certainly better than nothing huh um so that's me um i hope we get to see you again but if not if this is not your cup of tea that is also okay um send that to camp there we go nice 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 uh we're gonna sort by type there we go cool um so yeah um also the last stream i uploaded was out of order so i might private it again upload the proper stream immediately after this and then make that one available again afterwards um all right y'all we're gonna call that a stream i will of course read out all the resubscribers as i always do at the end of stream um before i go uh wait just said cross sync in progress oh screw it i made the mistake it is what it is um but thanks for popping in and if you're like oh I need to catch up i don't get any i don't understand any of the things that's going on um well that's okay that's what the vods are for um thank you so much for the tips today y'all thank you for the subscriptions ak ak jack subscribing for the first time a very spicy clever coop welcome to you thank you so much um all right time to read out all the resubscribers here um again you don't have to tip you don't have to subscribe or do any of those things i like to talk to chat for the people do that free anyway because you shouldn't have to feel like a monetary need in order to do things here um that being said when people do that it's very nice and it helps support me and so i do shout it out and say thank you so a very warm and spicy welcome back and thank you to rose jean for their 35th month Co commander red for their second alley cat for their 55th nicholas burngrove for their one year clever anniversary. nicholas burngrove welcome back here's to 10,000 more years thank you so much dan bayer for their fourth uh brundun for their fifth apaka Apocalypso for their second. We got Anonymous gifting to the J Tubes for their second. Thank you for doing that, Anonymous. Welcome back to J Tubes. Genocide official giving to Orca S. Or Orcas. Uh, thank you very much for that. And welcome back. Bex Fall for their 15th. It's Amber for their 33rd. SSJ Katie for their 10th. Rarest Oleander for their fourth. Uh, Wild Lexi appeared for their second. Tiana gifting to Evie Squeevy for their second. Thank you very much for doing that. Jupiter Knox for their second. Abby Roars at a tier two for their 31st abby roars thank you for the extra bit of support i greatly appreciate you and very very nice um luke ribeiro for their 21st s anxious or z anxious excuse me for their second brook creativity for their second tiana gives me evil ben for their 34th thank you tiana welcome back evil ben sci-fi theater for their 32nd ren bell for their 22nd brian but no b for their fourth um uh thank you very much uh pate for their second kyle for their 11th Royale for their 13th, uh, T Goria 91 for their 10th, and then Awin for their fourth. That is lovely. Thank you. Oh, and Mysterious Besta in chat saying, uh, thanks to the Clever Coop for being such a welcoming community. Thank you very much. They're also dropping a tip of five dollars. Um, excuse me, I greatly appreciate that. Again, y'all, if you do choose to tip in Twitch chat, that is totally fine, but there's a high chance of me missing it because it does sort of go away as soon as other people comment. Um, Dirk Dursky says, Oh no, the stream is ending. I just got here. I'm sorry, Dirk. Um, I would love for you to catch the next one. Again, stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, or the VODs I'm slowly uploading onto YouTube. There's also VODs on Twitch, but I know some people have talked about feeling better about the, the YouTube um, uh, flipping uh, uh, interface. There we go. Um, you know what? You guys remember when I appeared on that board game show before? Um, uh, tabletop B&B &B, uh, &B Tabletop. Uh, that's run by my friend Kyle usually got a bunch of voice actors as a guest they are streaming right now and i would love to send a bunch of viewers to them even if you have to go like immediately after it's always nice to send some some love their way so i'm gonna go ahead and do that um let's raid today let's see um pigeon swarm raid exclamation mark. so let's copy and paste this message into their chat once we get there um, again, even if you got to go, it, it's just always lovely to drop in a bunch of people uh, for funsies. All right, let's see. Uh, show is about to start. Okay, so their show is about to start. So I think it'd be really fun to like start it off and have them be like, whoa, I guess we got to start now. This is wild because they're sort of in their like, you know, beginning the stream soon thing. 
All right, Clever Coop, as I always say, whether you tip, you subscribe, you throw bits my way, or you just support me by watching with your eyeballs, I so, so, so appreciate you. I love this community, and I could not and would not want to do this without you. I have plans Monday night with a friend, which I'm very excited to do, but also I'm always like, oh, I don't get to add another stream. So I'll see y'all Tuesday. Um, and until next time, Clever Coop, you are dismissed. <laughs> Bye, everyone.